It's 7 a.m. Do you know where your chat window is? Okay, if you can see and hear me, please say... The light's justice has failed. <laughs> I don't know why you'd say that, but if the light's justice has failed, then... I'll know that you can see me. And hear me. The light's justice has failed? Okay. Well, actually, I don't know if that's excellent, but that does mean that works. Okay. Sorry, I didn't want to keep you waiting any longer for this premium title crawl content. Uh, as you can see, the, the chat doesn't work. I don't know why. I can still see what you guys are saying, but it's not actually showing up, and I don't know why. So I'm going to try and fix that. Please understanding. Okay, that kind of worked. How come that worked and the other ones didn't? Hang on. Well, it's just really small. This time for sure. What if I refresh it? Refreshed? Refreshed! Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Okay, so I, I didn't do anything differently, but... I pressed a button that said refresh, and now it works. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Refreshed. <laughs> okay. I'm recording. You can hear me. We're refreshed. <laughs> I think that means we can start. Oh, pupil, you're gonna be seeing him today. A hard-working apprentice, studying magic under the Master Sale. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, so I'm just gonna pull up the map of the desert treasure needed for ancient magic, and then we'll go ahead and start. So our plan today is, uh, we just finished Erica Root yesterday, we start with the Reunion map. Is this FF7? Then I think we're gonna try and play up until Darkling Woods. And then Darkling Woods is probably where we'll pick things up either tomorrow or next week. Currently it says tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. I had to go shopping yesterday for a flower, it's not a dress, flower robe. you be very busy, okay. I know that sounds kind of ominous. Why would I need grass type clothing? I hate grass types. A $2 microtransaction from Silver. You're going to be promoting Garrick? When? You'll have to stay too. Mm. Thank you for the microtransaction. Will one more stream be enough, or do you think you'll need to? I think one's probably enough, right? Because I think our Yuin trading arc might actually just be our playthrough of Tower of Volney. F E Wiki Fire Emblem. Is that gonna work? And I don't think we're going to do Lag Do Ruins. Lag Do Ruins, I think, is just too much. Is it chapter 15 or chapter 14? F E 8, chapter 14? It's 
scorched sand. That's what I want. Okay, I see the treasures. So, warp staff, silence, body ring, worm slayer, killer ball, the swift soul, eclipse, medicine's tome, which is what we really want, and the silver card. There we go. Okay. We're ready to start. I am a shaman. I guess I could have just checked here. Chapter 15, Scorched Sand. Princess Erica, are you well? Oh no. She's gone mute. Princess Erica! Oh, Seth? Yes, it's me. Please, you must rest. If we continue like this, you'll... No, it's alright. We're all suffering. We're still completely surrounded by Grotto's army, but at least we got a $2 microtransaction from Nick Bailey. How's it going? Hope the level ups don't suck. Well, except for Vanessa's, they've actually been pretty good. Garrick is absolutely juiced. Cormag is also pretty good. It's really, at this point, just Vanessa who's hopeless. A uh, Ford too, but he's built Ford tough at least. Uh. We may all die at any moment. I can't lose focus now. Has anything changed? Unfortunately, no. On every front, our forces meet with defeat upon defeat. Ralston's knights are scattered and worn, and the enemy is closing in around them. And this accursed sand. I don't like sand. Most of our units can't get proper footing and are being slowed down. Mounted units are having the worst time as their movement is severely limited. Princess Erica, I ask that you leave for safety. We'll use flying units and magic users to hold the foe here. Good idea. It's not explained in this game, but magic users are actually unimpeded by sand. And in the Tellius games they explain it's because the magic users have spirits in their employ who sweep the sand away in front of them. It's like that Disney animation with Mickey and the brooms. So flying units obviously don't care about the sand, and magic users also don't. No, I will not retreat. If I give up now, my brother would not forgive me. I am the princess of Renee. I will fight, either to victory or to death. Victory or death was an FE7 map. Brother, I... Walter, you should stop playing around. If you don't finish off Erica's forces swiftly. Her brother's left the capital. He should be arriving here shortly. You don't want to be fighting her still when he arrives. Trust me. We are equals in Grotto's army. Would you like me to assist? All you need to do is vanish, you disgusting old man. <laughs> Erica's mine. I won't let you have her. She's so strong. So beautiful. She's the prey I've dreamed of. <laughs> Your fangs are still sharp, eh? Good. Very good. I wonder if these are the bad guys. Ah, Walter. You're a beast. You're bound to no country. You care nothing for friend or foe. Kill a man, claim a woman, you live for nothing more. You wretched beast! That's your strength. That's what makes you stronger than any man alive. A beast acts without remorse. Man's morality cannot win. It's nature's way. The stage is all yours, Walter. He's a theater major. Do not fail to get the girl's bracelet. Our master demands it. Our master? I thought Vigard was dead. What are these guys talking about? The time is nigh, Erica. Come to me. Pick units. Five dollar microtransaction from the Dylan. Mm. Who says, I don't like sand. It impedes movement and hides items everywhere. 
Does anybody actually like desert maps? I'm not sure. Garrick is the desert tiger, though, so he's also unimpeded by sand. That's actually not true. Are you going to show the ridiculous Erica I trust you moment? I don't think so, because I think it switches to... Ephraim's perspective, so we don't get the absurd I trust you moment. We just get Super Sigma Leon, who's probably more fun and makes for a more believable story, but the Erica I trust you is very funny. Looks good to me. Except for Vanessa, I guess we'll deploy her. Let's do a little inventory management. I mean, we don't need... We don't need member card, do we? Let's put it in the convoy. We can get whatever we want out of the convoy at any point. Sale. Sure, we only have three fire tome uses. I'm not sure how much Sale is going to be doing. Light and shine. Sure. Do we have any other light tomes? No. Oh, we do have an energy ring. What do we need the... You're confused. Is it pronounced... Lion or... Or Ly... Well, spelled with a Y, so I think it's Lion. That's Leon. Apparently it's Leon. Joshua... Hey, we've got the S-rank weapons. He can't even use it. It really feels like he should be the one to use it, though, right? He should use it to kill... Kalik? Sure. We'll do it for the theming. He's probably close to S as well, yeah. Deposit this. 22 Thunder Tomes, definitely enough. Natasha's fine. Garrick. <laughs> I don't see enough hand axes here. I don't know if it's going to be Garrick versus Grotto again, so. This is probably enough. Tethys is fine. Vanessa. Please deposit the Hummerin Spear, or the Hummerin Staff. Oh, so bad. Give Arthur the Physics Staff Sally has, Sally can't use it. But what if he gets Staff Rank? Can Arthur use it? Arthur has, they both have C, right? There's a Sleep Guy? Okay. Two Restores. All three of us have Restore, okay. Can Arthur use Physic? He can't either. What? Uh, Inez, whatever. Longbow utility. Cormag does have the Axe Rubies, the Iron Lance, the Kill Lance, the Javelin, and the Short Spear. Looks good. I think we're all set. Check map. So we start up here, and then Ephraim and the boys come from down here. It's a couple enemy wyvern riders. No dragon spear for Cormag? Maybe we'll give him the dragon spear. Hang on. Yeah, he's got the Philly shield. Oh, it only protects them from arrows. So he's actually still vulnerable to the Dragon Spear, right? So we should give him the Dragon Spear. 
this guy's kind of scary. Might injure its wielder. Uh-oh. And Kalik, I believe, has the Hoplon Guard, right? Yeah. So you can't actually crit him. Check Volter's spear. Or, check Volter's speed. Half strength. You're a beast, Volter! So we would need his 11 con. Not weighed down by spear, not weighed down by either. So we need 20 speed to not get doubled. Or we need 21 speed to not get doubled. He only has 53 HP though. You can steal Hoplon Guard, there's no way we're fast enough. He has 19 speed. I don't know if Renek has enough speed. He might though. Okay, before I forget, let's just put the Dragon Spear on Cormag. What about Seth? Is he fast enough? Well, he's not a, he's not a thief. We're not going to 17 speed at base. It's not enough. Alright, let's check for stealables. Well, I mean, that's a steel sword and a steel bow. There we go. This guiding ring is stealable. Who would we even use that on? I don't know. <laughs> That's I guess we technically can steal it, but I won't I won't lose sleep over not getting that. Yuan, we already have like three guiding rings. Dragon axe. So we can actually get the dragon axe. If we force that guy to hand axe us, so we can keep that in mind, but that's not a stealable. Any stat boosters? No, that's it. So just keep in mind that we want to bait this guy, and then kill him. I think that's it. So, our other goal is Cormag here is level 17, and he needs to promote to fight Volter. Just like Charmeleon needed to promote to fight Aerodactyl. And Volter and Aerodactyl are both flyers, so they're basically the same character. I also have to get him an Elysian Whip. Does he even need the Axe Reaver? There's like not any axes here that he's going to be facing. Just give him the Elysian Whip in that slot, right? There's the guy with the Devil Axe. Well, he's going to have help there. He's not going to be all alone. We do have this energy ring. I don't know who we're going to use it on. I don't think anybody actually needs it now. Ford the Feeble. <laughs> Beware of the Eclipse Shaman. I'll be careful. Alright. I. Th oh, let's actually change our positions, right? So what do we actually do... We could very easily do Garrick versus Grotto, right? He's literally right here. Garrick versus Grotto. But we really need to get. XP on Cormag. And Cormag, because he's a flyer, one of the 
pretty much so the two downsides of flyers are they're weak to arrows and they're also they cannot benefit from terrain so normally what you would do is put a strong enemy on this fort or strong unit on this fort and have him fight everyone but even if we put Cormag on the fort he doesn't actually get the massive benefit from the fort it could just be Garrick versus Grotto and then Garrick versus Grotto, I don't think, kills everyone. So then we could have Cormag mop things up. These trees give a void. They're actually forests, so... Could go ahead and put Joshua there. I don't think Garrick can reach this because of the desert, so he would need to be dropped there. Which we could do. Maybe that's what we do. And then do Garrick versus Grotto for a bit. The hit show. This is probably fine. And I don't think there's any time pressure here. Player phase. Defeat enemy. None pizza with left 46. We're just short. just have Garrick versus Grotto happen. He just do it himself. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hit him once. Just once. Okay, that's... Garrick versus Grotto 2. <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> Feeling sick? <laughs> By the way, if you weren't here yesterday, feast your eyes on this. All natural, baby. We used one Draco shield. But aside from that, all natural. No stat boosters on this sheet. Crazy. Garrick versus Grotto 2. He also has Esrek axes already. This guy... We want to be on the edge of his range, so we get hand axed. I'm feeling a Cormag level here. Wow, we double him. Okay, we want to not double him, so let's use Arter. Perfect. <laughs> oh no, I'm at weapon trying. Oh, I doubled him anyway. But now I'm at Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. I guess the Berserker could crit us. That's a little scary, actually. Uh, disclaimer about the secret spreadsheet. So, if you'd like to participate in the secret spreadsheet today, same place as yesterday, you'll have to join the Discord, link in the description. And then in the channel discussion channel, should find a link to the sacred spreadsheet. Uh, please add everything new to Magvel Memes 2. Uh, just so that it's easier to find the new stuff that's been added. Possibly your screening of Garrick vs. Grotto 2, the movie poster. Garrick vs. Grotto 1 actually got really bad reviews. People said it was boring because they already knew what was going to happen. Obviously Garrick just kills everyone. So, like, the protagonist was never in any danger. Wow. Joshua of Gehenna? This is sand. Oh, it's not desert. I think we're just chilling in the forest, right? Dance and equip an axe reaver? That seems kind of sad. Dance and just fly south? We can fight that one guy. And that'll make a move as well. Sure. Okay. 
Can I do both? No, I can't. Item. Actually weighs us down less. Sure. Can I put... Uh, Erica can't reach the forest. Great Lord. What do these guys do? I don't think they do anything. I think we just chill. Maybe Vanessa... Well, Vanessa can't really go hunting for stuff yet because she'll just die. Oh, we can put Seth on the edge of this guy's range. That's a good idea. And there's no way he gets crit. It's probably fine. Oh, we have to go save that village. Ouch. Great Swordmaster. You didn't even double him! Are you kidding me? Okay, level. Are we sure this guy has holy blood? Hello? Don't just stand there. Okay, yeah, well... You didn't even one-round him! You didn't even one-shot him! Come on, Cormag. Yeah, this is good. Don't crit me? Okay. That's really scary. That's really scary. Well, this guy's gonna try and destroy this village, but... We can just save it with Ephraim, right? We also just kill this guy. Ephraim comes, like, next turn, right? I, I don't think we have to worry about it. There's no... There's... We don't need to worry about it. Just in case. Until Kaga. Come on, bro. Okay, can we... Can we... Can, our hit rate is 62. They're also on a forest, right? So we'll just kill this guy so he doesn't attack us. Great sword master, by the way. At least when we get S rank swords, we do get five more crit. Yeah, he's on a forest. Okay, if we're on a forest, this is so scary. He could crit us. We hit him again? Then how much damage do we do with Thunder? 22. How much damage do we deal with Shine? 22. Longbow? Maybe. 16. That's not enough, he still doesn't die. He does die. Could also just kill him, right? Killed! <laughs> you think you can stand up to Seth the Slayer? But I wanted that XP in my other units. This guy has bad growths. That's what I was told on Game Facts, anyway. Do you guys know this guy has six stars? He has never gotten a bad level up. <laughs> He's only level 6! <laughs> the Hero of Rene. Okay, let's make sure that Tethys doesn't die, right? Maybe we have to physique Joshua? I should get attacked. Okay, Erica hiding on the forest? Or just backing up? I think we just back up.
Garrick versus Grotto. Let's make sure that we have the Hand Axe in our secondary slot. This guy can only reach there. Let me just rescue. And now we're safe? Yeah. Make sure we're also not in range of these mercenaries, right? They can... Okay, yeah, there's no way. She's too small. Natasha can physic... Joshua. And then, I guess I'll just put Erica on this forest, and she'll- she might be an XP thief, hopefully not. And I'll just move Saleh out of range of this guy. He doesn't get chopped. Great job, Inez, so far, really helping us out. What do we do with Cormag? If Cormag attacks this guy, can the Axe Fighter reach him? Actually can't. Welcome to the desert. That seems pretty good. What if I javelin him? No. Kill Wyvern Riders? Hopefully they attack, uh... Oh wow, nice attack. This guy's pretty good! Three more levels till we get... Wyvern Knight? And once we get Wyvernet, we get plus three speed, so we're gonna double everything. It's probably fine. Oh, hey! Good timing. That building beyond the dunes is Jehenna Hall. I expect that's where we'll find Erica and her companions. Friends. Title of our series, right? Friends. Why does he just say friends? <laughs> it's time we rescue Erica. I'll need all your strength. Do you guys know this is a JRPG protagonist? Of course, your highness. I've pledged my service and my axe. You shall have both. Princess Erica. She's a friend of Prince... Leon? Lion? It's spelled with a Y. So it looks like Lion. That's Leon. That's Leon. I'll do what I can to help you. I feel like that is what Prince Leon would want. My brother's with them! We must trust in their strength. Let us hurry! Hold on, Erica! I, the divine Larachelle, will lay waste to our enemies! <laughs> You said it! I don't really blame him. What's he really supposed to say? <laughs> Seems like I still can't escape. This isn't FE5. I'm not getting paid nearly enough for this. I'll do my best. The enemy's numbers are great, but we do not need to face them alone. We must move quickly to join forces with Erica and her company. I'm sure Inez will be there waiting for us. Let's move! I guess we don't get to choose our deploys. That he could crit us! Oh, we're fine. Unfortunately, we don't get wreck it Ross. I guess he just wasn't deployed. Nice accuracy. But we did get the important unit, which is... Okay, this is fine, right? Okay, literally zero hit. Come on, bro. Alright. You think you could stand up to Joshua of Jehenna? You probably can. Don't forget the guiding ring. I won't forget, but I probably won't get it. Will they? Oh. Not doubled? Not doubled! Who 
I'm sure this guy's a sword master. Hey, we wouldn't have missed if we had that earlier. Ouch. Bro, you promote double him. Are we sure this guy's holy blood? Yeah, that's kind of like ambush spawns. <laughs> okay, Garrick versus Grotto too. I would be shocked if Garrick versus Grotto too. <laughs> he one rounds this guy, <laughs> but my hand axe broke. It's fine. Now we can feed the kill to Gormag. Uh oh, reinforcements. Okay, well, this was scary. Oh, we're not in support range. But we are from here. Hey, we got him. Are we in range of these other guys? It's that guy who we can just kill. And that guy... Well, I can't kill both of them. You can be in range of one of them, right? It's not that big of a deal. You can also just do this. Move loot down and then move Archer down, which I think might make more sense. But then we're going to be in range of these guys. We can kill some of them. We'll figure it out, okay? We'll figure it out. Uh, loot probably also could have just attacked and killed them, right? That maybe is what I should have done. <laughs> that maybe was the more obvious solution. Hey, Arter level. We want magic, we want speed. Hey, that's pretty good. 24 res, by the way. What is her movement range? We actually can do this. Well, hopefully we hit this. That's unfortunate. I know she's in range of a Wyvern Rider, it's fine. There's no way she dies to just one. Cormag level! We want strength, we want speed. What do we get? Not speed? The more important one. We only have 19 strength. This guy's pretty good. This guy's pretty good! 17 speed Cormag is, is very good. I'm not sure how far above average that is. I don't, I'm not even sure if it is above average. I think it is, though. It's pretty good. You're too Still slow. doubled by Vaulter? Yeah, but once we promote, we get plus three. We just need... They have to have four more than us. So if we get to 21, he doesn't double us. And we get three from promotion. Did he get a speed wing? Oh, he did. Yeah, so he, he does have one speed wing. But this is still good. Yeah, let's make sure Tethys doesn't die. <laughs> this is a little scary. So we can only kill one of these. This one has a javelin. We should probably kill this. So this guy's the threat. Which is no problem. There's no way Tethys dies. There's no way. This guy, Reacher? There's no way Tethys dies. So we're most scared of uh, Vanessa dying. If Vanessa goes over here and chucks a javelin, is she in range of these guys? She is not? Assuming she can actually kill this guy. Use the spear, right? 
Okay, it also gives us more hit. That's good. Well, it's the true hit system. There we go. Okay, I almost had a heart attack. And we checked, she's not in range of either of these guys, because it's the desert. So both these guys are just going to die to Garrick. Okay, how do we deal with these guys? Let's kill this guy. Seems good to me. You think you can stand up to Joshua of Johanna? Why didn't you crit him the first time? Come on. Let's heal Natasha so she doesn't die in one more hit. Good thing I checked the tiles after the attack. Well, I'd say that it just worked out, but part of the reason why they didn't move to attack us earlier was because they couldn't reach us. So it's, it's partially luck and it's partially my intuition, okay? We'll call it that. What do these guys have? Steel lances and javelins, whatever. Inez will probably shoot them. Let's just stay here. Seth can just deal with it, right? Where's my javelin? Dude, where's my javelin? Well, that guy doesn't have a javelin. That guy does. Just a quick an iron lance. It's probably fine. Derek could do anything? I don't think so. I think he just sits here. And hopefully these enemies don't attack. Actually, let's not have her sit there. Because we want them to attack Joshua. So, just back up. Guess we should probably move. He doesn't need a physique. He's fine. Maybe it's physic. Nobody else needed healing. Okay. North side done. Let's talk about this other army. 27. Oh. Marshall is our only healer down here. So if she gets damaged, that's kind of a problem. Well, we have 20 resistance, so I think we can just kill this guy, right? <laughs> World first Lara Shell combat. No! The animations! I messed up. Hey, we got a Luna. Oh, it was a huge mistake. Hey, an actually good flyer, Tana. Renak doesn't really have anything to do. 17 speed, so he can't actually steal the guard. But I think... I don't know if thieves are actually better at finding treasure in this game, but maybe they are. We can't reach the... Oh, we're one short of reaching the fort. Lara Shell on the fort, right? Like, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? This guy's kind of scary, right? No, they only have 20 speed. What are they gonna do? 23 speed, that doesn't double us. Okay, it does. But we're gonna get a speed level. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Let's just do that. Next turn, I guess. And we want to make sure that Ephraim is in support range. So I think we just move Ephraim up like a little bit. Tana can get this village, which I think is a master seal, right? Jehenna Hall has fallen. I wonder what's become of Queen Ismair. You there, take this and do some good with it. Call me you. Master seal.
I guess we'll also move Amelia forward. Does she... There's no way she can actually reach anyone. Dazla. He doesn't even have a weapon. <laughs> Just put him in the corner. He can support Renette. <laughs> I don't think Deuce has anything to do. Uh, maybe he has weapons to give to someone? I don't think so. Like, maybe he should give a hand axe to Dazla, like, just in case? It's probably fine. Alright. So I guess we can talk about Noel. We're here on the infamous Scorch Sands desert map. Here we've got some plain tiles, so we've got grassy plains surrounding a grassy Noel. Who's this guy? It's Noel! Why did I say, who's this guy? I just said it's Noel, so... <laughs> We're here on Scorch Sands, the infamous desert map. But it's not all desert. There's actually some grassy plain tiles here. Surrounding... This grassy Noel! It's Noel! If you do Ephraim Root, he normally joins you with a... I guess I'll say that later. Gonna be honest here. This guy's stats are... I think I would just describe them as hopeless. For this point in the game, there's pretty much nothing this guy can do. He is a shaman, which means he uses dark magic. He does have 1-2 range. Which allows you to, if you're good at the game, always avoid a counterattack, right? This guy's a shaman, which means that he uses dark magic. Magic has perpetual 1 2 range. You can almost always avoid a counterattack. You better hope that you do, because if this guy ever gets touched, uh, he gets doubled, and either of the two hits will kill him. This man has literally zero luck. People clown on luck all the time, but let me tell you, when you have zero luck... ...versus 24 luck, you really feel it. When I... When I say that res is the most useless stat, I'm not kidding. I think people just hate luck because it doesn't feel very impactful. But if, but if all of your units had zero luck, you would probably have, but if all of your units had zero luck, you would constantly face two to 7% crit chances. And over the course of a map, you would probably have one or two units just eat random crits and die. Whereas if all of your units had zero res, I don't think anything would change. Ever played it? Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia? Good game, by the way. Hilarious thing about that... Hilarious thing about that game, where almost all of your units have zero res, the Mage Killer unit doesn't even have res. They just have a skill that halves magic damage. You could just give Noel the Hoplon Guard that you get on this map, and then that negates his crit weakness, but that's still a weakness he has to deal with that other units don't, so that is a downside. Twelve magic is okay, I guess, but eight speed is atrocious. Two def is a joke, and ten res is useless. Even though ten res is quite good, it's still useless.
Let's get the wiki. In, in terms of the grass growing on this grassy knoll, it's definitely pre-buff growth. Magic 50, that's alright. Speed 35, that's not alright. On Erica's route, he only has Flux and Nosferatu's in, in his inventory. On Erica's route, he only has Flux and Nosferatu in his inventory. But on Ephraim's route... Where's his master? Wait, he's, he comes with a guiding ring, right? Maybe I'm just crazy. Something we haven't mentioned yet is that Dark Magic... It's not that bad, but... It's definitely not as good as it was in FE7. Flux is still pretty decent, but the main draw of Dark Magic in FE7 was the Nutso Luna Tome that you would use to one-shot the final boss, and Luna in this game got absolutely murdered. So, you still have Flux, which is Evil Thunder. That's pretty good. And Nosferatu does have its healing effect, uh, although it weighs you down a zillion and you'll get doubled, but you were getting doubled anyway, so maybe that's not a downside. It's not as much of a selling point as it was before. It's fine. Noel himself is bad. What you might notice about Noel is that even though he is a base class. What you might notice about Noel is, even though he's a base class, he is level 10. And he starts right next to a village that gives you a promotion item. Which sort of makes him another one of Sacred Stones' build your own pre-promotes. Noel has two choices. He can either go Druid or he could go Summoner. Druid Noel is horrendous. Legitimately one star. Awful. You get anima magic, which is useless, and you get stabs, so you just become a really, really late game E rank staff bot. Horrible. Noel himself is really, really bad. And you might think. Okay, well, if Noel himself is bad, then Noel is just one star, right? This is the Noel review. You might be thinking, okay, well, it's kind of weird phrasing, saying Noel himself is one star. Who else would you be talking about? This is the Noel review, right? So Noel is one star. Wait, what? What's that behind you? Oh, it's a ghost! More accurately, it's a phantom. Because Noel has one other promotion choice. Don't go Druid. You gotta summon. Summoner Noel! Summoner Noel! He's four stars! Oh! <laughs> Summoner is a very unique, very powerful class that they have never given to players again. <laughs> for good reason. Promoted to Summoner, he gets that same beautiful E rank stabs as Druid. Have fun using heal. But you also get the incredibly powerful Summon Command. So what Summon does is it allows you to summon a spooky phantom. 
uh, that has axes of various ranks. Uh, they scale with your summoner level, so they get stronger as you increase... They scale with your summoner's level, so they get better axes and better stats as you level up your summoner. Summoning also gives you 10 XP, by the way. But the stats of the Phantom are mostly irrelevant. <laughs> They're very, very bad at fighting. But one of their stats is actually very relevant. It's that one of their stats is HP. That HP being 1. So when you summon a Phantom, enemies see oh, a 1 HP enemy. Oh, I, I gotta kill them. I gotta attack them. Oh, which makes summoners beacons. They have gigatons. And they'll make all enemies near them attack them. Although the druid... Although the summoner itself only has 6 moves because it's an infantry unit. The phantom's 5 move then gives the summoner a an effective range of 11. Where they can sort of influence things. Phantoms also have flying movement, by the way. Well, they can't really do that much with that. It just helps them soar over mountains to maybe bait things that way. Phantoms can't rescue, but they actually can take drop. Doesn't come up that often, but it's useful to know that. this guy. Are we sure that this guy's Noel the Nerd? Other things to say about phantoms. I'm not sure. Danny Phantom? Well, obviously we're just going to edit that in. I think so. I guess we can say this. The Phantom also acts independently of the Summoner. So, if for some reason your Phantom doesn't die, maybe it dodged, which means you get two distractions for free. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so I think I said that before you typed that, right? The Phantom also acts independently of the Summoner, of course. So... You can spend one turn summoning, and then if your phantom happens to not die, which might happen, maybe it dodges, in which case you get to distract two enemies, or more, then your summoner can do something else. They can use their heal staff, or if your summoner is a trained Yuan, maybe they can actually fight. Oh yeah. Important to mention that you can only summon one phantom at a time, so you can't actually amass a whole army, but hey, the amass mechanic in magic just makes one token anyway, right? Great mechanic, great flavor. Pretty difficult, pretty difficult to overstate how busted summoning is. It's a mechanic that they have never given to the player again in this capacity. In Fates, the Machinist, I think, class? I played in Japanese. I guess, I think they're called Machinists in English. The guy with glasses is a Machinist. You can duplicate yourself, but it's not really a Phantom, because the most important part of Phantoms is that they're disposable, and the duplicate... If it dies, you also die, so it's more like Meepo than a phantom. The closest thing to summoners is in Engage, one of the pay to win emblems from the pay to win game heroes, her engage skill, so her ultimate, is one summon. <laughs> 
And that summon is a little beefier than the phantoms you get in this game. But I think it is kind of fair to think of summoners in this game having a Fire Emblem Engage ultimate skill every turn. <laughs> The Lin Ring also kind of gives you phantoms, but those can't move, so I don't think it's the same. I think that's everything for phantoms. What's his title? Ooh. about this. What about the Noel Darkness Watcher? Darkness Watcher. Are we sure this guy's a researcher? His hands look kind of weird. This support list is horrible. I don't really know what to say. Supports are bad, and his personal darkness affinity is also kind of whatever. He could just be a support bot, though, because he himself doesn't do anything. It's his phantoms that do all the work. Mention the mighty eclipse dome? No. Now I thought that null four stars would be uncontroversial. Is it broken? Oh, it's not broken, it's just not showing. Okay, there we go. Repeat that. Now I thought that, no four stars, would be uncontroversial. I mean, that's why I made that graphic. I make them all before doing the playthrough, although I, I have played this game in the past. I think he's four stars, and I'm the one making the video. And whether you agree with me or not, probably depends on which of these videos you've watched. So I would say watch them both, and then decide who you agree with. Probably the str- the strongest argument against four stars would probably be that, although summons are ridiculously strong and you can do a bunch of things with them, you could also just javelin the entire enemy army to death. <laughs> and a phantom baiting an attack is an enemy that's not getting killed by Seth. So that's very true. 
Why even use any other units? Why even play the game? Just use Seth. Sounds like a fun time. Anything else? I think that's almost everything. Do you guys know that this was actually the first Fire Emblem game to have gacha pull mechanics? There is a chance, uh, one in slightly over 8,000, whenever you summon a phantom, that you might get. Danny Phantom! Whoa! And then you win the game! Are we sure this guy's four stars and not five? That's probably the end. Guys, I got a shiny Phantom! Guess we could mention stealing loot. Oh, I guess you should be careful not to kill enemies with droppable items with your phantom, because then there's no way to get the item off of your phantom. Phantoms can't trade. But you're probably never attacking with phantoms anyway, aside from the chip stuff. I think that's everything. Feel free to wage the Knoll Wars in the comments. I won't stop you, but I also can't be convinced otherwise. Knoll the Necromancer. Well, actually, Necromancer is a different class. Four stars. All right, to the corner with you. Please read this, phantoms get a chance of better access through level up. I said this already. I said they get stronger. I think we're done. Okay, we've done everything. Great job, Inez! Okay, hopefully nobody dies this turn. Well, we know that Garrett can't die. Eric versus Grotto with a fresh hand axe. Level up coming. You think you could stand up to Garrick the Gallant? More speed? We don't really need it, but I'll take it. Amazing. Hey, defense is good. Not save you. And we got res. No crits, but that's fine. Okay. No crits, that's fine. Great sword master. My iron sword use great sword master. <laughs> we sure this guy is holy blood? Okay, well this crit actually matters because we don't kill him. <laughs> at least we doubled him. Oh, at least we missed him. <laughs> Zero crits. And we missed him. Crit this guy. Come on. Kalik handed out Hoplon guards to all his lackeys. Wow, this guy's terrible. What? Get doubled. We definitely double this guy as well. 
Oh, more reinforce. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Joshua the Josher, stop joshing me. Crit these guys. Well, I guess this guy does one more damage, but this guy has better hit rate, so I guess we'll kill this guy. Great Swordmaster. Alright, what do we do here? We should probably put Amelia on the floor. So let's see what... This movement. How much damage do we deal? 22. We can't actually see their hit rate on me, which is what I'm concerned with. We can do... Amelia first, and then La Rochelle? That guy can also reach. And we do get... No, we, there's, this guy definitely gets weighed down, right? Con 9? No, weight 9. He doesn't get weighed down. So he does double us. We'll do that last, okay? We'll do that last. Cormag versus these wyverns, I guess? Can we get in range of both? Yes, we can. The Dragon Spear! Really wish I had a. God, these guys are so weak. Should have given this guy a javelin, and then I could just camp on the tree. Five damage. Anything we can do about these guys? Like, do we really care? Like, they're so weak. With a dance, we could probably do something, right? Garrick's in the desert. Garrick has nobody else to even fight. Surely that lets us... Yep. You think you can stand up to Garrick the Gallant? Oh yeah, that's actually a gate. put Natasha there. We know she doesn't get doubled. And no one else gets one-rounded or anything close, so I think that's fine. She's gonna get attacked there. We're probably going to attack Erica, who has... a Lance Reaver equipped, so they won't attack Erica. There we go, okay. Joshua's fighting this guy. The rune sword. Everyone's chilling over here. I don't think any of these units do anything. So maybe they can just go hunting in the desert for items. Tana can kill this guy, right? Yeah. It's kinda scary. can't reach the forest, right? Because he's in the desert? Yeah, he can't. Javelin? He doesn't double us if we have the javelin, right? We actually have good stats. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Let's just javelin him. And then we can kill him next turn. That's fine. Thunder Fury? Blessed Blade of the Windseeker? Too bad we don't have that.
This is one, two, this is three tiles, and we have... 30 uses. Okay, I don't think any of these guys do anything. I think we're done over there. Vanessa, I guess, can retreat. Once we clear these reinforcements, we can start. Okay, well, Vanessa can actually give Seth a javelin, right? That would probably be the most useful thing she can do. But then she would get attacked by both of those. No, she can Kanto one back, right? Yes. Let's just make sure we have an Iron Lance equipped in case. And then we should be able to Kanto back one, right? Yes, look at that! Five stars! Five stars for sure. Okay. Time to test. Time to test. Don't tell Kaga. We probably should be doing this with Amelia. Ouch. Guess we can physic him. Great Swordmaster. We got one crit so far? Alright, what's their hit rate on us? That's... <laughs> you think you can stand up to Lara Shell of the Lab? Excellent. I guess that's not a crit. She just flicks her hand like that. Mage Knight! I wish we had a Thunder Tome. Thirteen damage. Ouch. Ten damage. Ouch. Actually, kind of hurts. Very sad that I think they should have just made light magic itself effective against monsters. It would have been so much more useful. There's no way, Cormac. That's a lot of damage. You think you can stand up to Cormag the Cremator? Great Swordmaster, huh? That's a lot of damage. Uh, we literally one-shot him. That's pretty good. Cormag's in Eclipse range? Oh no! Great Swordmaster. Great Swordmaster. Bugged Rom? What's going on? We definitely double this guy. Nice hit rate. You think you can stand up to Lara Shell of the Lab? I'm a monster! I'm a monster! <laughs> Great Swordmaster. It's from <laughs> Fire Emblem Heroes. I think this guy doubles us. Great hit rate. No, they doubled us! Oh, we're fine. Wish we had Thunder Tome. <laughs> Okay, the basic Mage Knight animation is too fancy. <laughs> Didn't expect that voice clip. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh no, Pegasus Knights! Okay, so our limiting factor down here is that <laughs> we're gonna run out of Thunder Tomes. We're already level 20. Hopefully there's no... There's definitely... Reinforcements from down here, right? I feel like there is. This guy also has huge range, right? Oh, actually, not that much. We 
do have Glepnir and Garm in our inventory. Paladins show up from the back? Okay. Have this guy fight Kalik. The Cormag is like dying. What's this guy's range? Oh, that guy's a ton of range. That's scary. That guy can go up to there. Which I do want. And I can't get shot. So we want to move Cormag there. So, one southwest of that, but he's like almost dead, so we have to heal him. We don't need the dragon spear anymore. That reaches, right? Physic! Turn eight reinforcements at Ephraim's rear. Okay. Three turns. What level is Tana? Tana the Talented? Level 18. Tana the Talented? save you. My boss is a mage. What is he gonna do? Okay, can we buy Thundertones? We can even buy Divines! Oh, they actually sell Flux now. Okay, Secret Shopper Vanessa, maybe. So what else is she going to do? You think you can stand up to Garrick the Gallant? So is there just like a crit aura? He makes everyone else crit, but not himself? Okay, I want to go shopping with Vanessa. We have to make sure she doesn't die to this guy. So this guy's a steel and he has 24 attack. There's no way we get doubled. I don't think we get one shot. Well, we have 20 HP, so we need 5 defense. We have 7. Okay, so we don't get one shot. Hooray. Iron Lance. Oh, we also need to actually... take these items, right? So that she can actually deliver them. I need thunder. I just need two thunders, actually. <laughs> and then we'll get the silver card and then get the discount. Joshua does need to be healed before taking on Kalik. He also needs the S rank weapon, right? Oh, he has it. Okay. But Natasha is all the way over here. We'll move her eventually. Uh, we probably don't want to move him into just range of a mage, right? We could we could have our mage killers. What if they these Pegasi attack us? That's fine. We don't care. And Seth is dealing with these guys, right? Seth only has 17 HP. Can they reach the? Oh, let's just put him on the tree. Okay. That seems good to me. I 
Hotel Kaga. And this whole area is clear, so we'll just, I think, move all these guys up. Because we want them to be clear of the Paladin reinforcements. We don't really care about the Paladin reinforcements, we can just kill them, but we gotta get our vulnerable units out of the way. Okay. So, our main concern is this guy. Unfortunately, we don't one-shot. How's this? Yes. What if we just doubled this Myrmidon with our general? The Reggie Leaf definitely does kill, but we can't even reach. That Javelin hit rate is so bad. Amelia doesn't get doubled, though, because she's a sweet three speed. I think Fort does have terrain penalties. But even with terrain penalties, we should be able to just Regileaf them. The issue is that then Ephraim's there, and Ephraim's level 20, and he's an XP thief. Let's just hit the Javelin, right? That seems like the best strategy. It's even higher than 59% chance. Yeah, easy. So now Amelia might get attacked, but like, that's fine. Well, that's unfortunate. We're just getting more chip. That's unfortunate. Uh, we kind of have to stay here to support. So hopefully they don't attack Ephraim, because then that's just wasting XP, but we'll just go ahead and equip a Javelin. Do we just retreat? If we retreat, we lose the support. It's the f this fire support's really important. Can these three guys together kill Ephraim? There's no way, right? This guy's 23 speed. Oh, he doubles us. But he dies to our counterattack, right? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I saved, right? Yeah, we're okay. Move here, Joshua. Right. Okay, still choosing to attack Lab Rochelle. Labrachelle is weirdly behind on skill levels. I mean, it only matters because that guy's insanely fast. Why did you attack me? I guess if we get another secret book, we'll give it to Labrachelle, but she doesn't really need it. Magic is super accurate. It's just this enemy is insanely dodgy. Okay, they just ran away. What? They hit me! That's a lot of damage. It's basically zero hit. I mean, we're gonna heal from the fort anyway. I'm not worried. Scared of this, but... Okay, so Vanessa does actually get a lot of dodges. Okay. Here we go! We did it! Two speed! Ouch. Didn't even kill him. Plus two speed, Vanessa. Now, now we're only minus seven. Ooh, 
we're going to get Vanessa to level 20, I think. The only way she can be redeemed. Well, I mean, check out this level up. Here's our strength and our speed. We got speed. The best stat for generals, of course. I think the only way she can be redeemed, it's impossible, by the way, at this point, statistically, but if she gets a perfect level up, we'll forgive her. We've never seen a perfect level up. If she gets every single stat, we'll forgive her. I think that's actually more likely than what's actually happened to her so far. hit rate get doubled <laughs> oh no I don't have a ranged weapon Ouch. does that actually save them I think they still die okay is Amelia your fastest unit? She might be? It also might be Garrick. It's not Joshua. <laughs> I think it's- yeah, Amelia's 24. And Garrick only has 22. Yeah, Amelia's our fastest unit. Oh, there's a sleep staff? That's a physic. This guy's a sleep staff. It's good to me. Uh, but then we're in range of a bunch of stuff. I mean, we could kill him and then move Lab Rochelle onto the fort, right? You can't steal staffs in this game, no. But we won't have the support. We can just wait. We're not in a rush. We're only scared of this ranger, right? Maybe I should have equipped a javelin. You think you can stand up to Amelia the Awful? Great swordmaster. How's the paladin looking? Ooh, Silver Lance. Might actually hit us. Could have killed this guy with that for my guess. You think you can stand up to La Rochelle of the lab? You thought wrong. You thought wrong. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I guess we can build a support by actually being next to her. Uh, we need to heal Cormag. We also need to heal Joshua. Oh, we, we have the staff here. Okay, these physics staffs are very useful. Is that an actual quote of hers from Heroes? Yes. <laughs> I spent like 20 minutes trying to find it. It's from her Halloween skin. She actually does say that. Okay, that other guy has a javelin, so I'll need a short spear to counter him. Well, I may as well do it from range, right? We gotta get our promotion two more levels before we can fight Aerodactyl. Uh, we wanted our mage killers, right? Okay, look at this planning. Look at this planning. I'm making sure that I'm at weapon triangle disadvantage. <laughs> what?
What's Garrick doing? I guess Garrick versus Grotto, like just in case. Uh, Seth is kind of like dying. We gotta get all the hidden items, which is kind of annoying. But we can do that, like, last. There's no time pressure or anything. Oh, he has an enemy here. Hey, imagine having an actual strength stat. That's pretty good. Kill the Peg Knight next to Vanessa. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Kalik doesn't move, so that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna look at the treasure map. Everyone loves hidden desert items. Well, I mean, we do love the items. Body rings, silence, warp, worm slayer, killer bow, swift soul. They're like all over the place. There's some just north of the village here. So maybe Noel, Noel did you get it? No. I don't know if Renak actually has increased treasure find. I mean, that might just be a coincidence. <laughs> Worm Slayer to the right. Uh, noth nothing else we can really get. Let's move stuff up so we don't get wrecked by these paladins. Renak is 100% fine? Okay. So maybe we'll just, uh... Have Vanessa airdrop Renak to all the places he needs to be. That'll be her job. Don't thieves, rogues, and assassins automatically find the... It depends on the game. Even in Tellius, they don't. What are we doing with our dancer? I guess we're moving Natasha up, because Natasha needs to support Joshua during his fight with Kalik. Where's my res? Do we need healing? We're all okay. I guess Tana does. She's fine. And then maybe Tethys can help Cormag. Uh, are there reinforcements from the top left? I would guess yes, right? This guy does double us, but we kill him on our... Oh, we... oh he got healed. We sh Oh, we don't kill this guy. Hello? Well, I wish we had one more strength. more chip XP. That was close. I mean, we wouldn't have died. We do have to worry about these incoming paladins. I think it's next turn. The only ones from the left are some shamans from the north and fort guys. Okay, that's fine. We didn't double them. Hello? We don't have two range equipped. Uh, did we take any damage there? Break yourselves upon my body! Sleep staff. The sleep staff! 25% though. Sleep staff. Oh, okay. Not Cormag the Comatose. Paladin's next turn? Paladin's next turn. So we want to get Ephraim out of here. Or just put him on the fort. If we kill this guy, we can put Lab Rochelle on the fort. He doesn't die! It's 38, right? Paladin has a ton of move, right? Oh, no, it doesn't even get there. This guy's only alive because we missed before, right? We got him. 
We got him. Lab level? The lab level! We want magic, we want speed. <laughs> I'm a monster! I'm a monster! <laughs> Lab levels, 20 magic, 20 speed, level 2 mage knight. All natural. All natural, no supplements. Oh, actually we used an angelic rope, that's fine. I guess we could just have Lab Rochelle on the fort kill all the paladins, right? The, the, what are the paladins going to do? If I... I have a ton of health. If I swoop in and kill this guy, that's the sleep guy. The paladin can reach me. The paladin has a silver lance. Thirty-one attack, and what's our defense? We only have fourteen defense. We're fine, right? There's no way we die. There's no way we die. Oops, Elkaga. Uh, I should make sure we actually kill this guy. Uh, yep. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's not an issue. It's basically 100. Okay, we got him. I think we double him. Amend! Yay! I guess we don't get the sleep staff. That's fine. There's no bows, right? Okay, yeah, there's no bows. I guess I can damage this guy, and then maybe Cormag can kill them? Maybe they'll attack Lab Rochelle? Like, I'm, I'm not really concerned. When are we promoting Garrick? Oh, I see. I don't think we're going to be promoting loot. We're minus five on skill. We don't need skill, okay? We have luck. We don't need skill. That's good. Okay, so we're getting ready for the showdown with Kalik. I, I guess... Garrick just moves south. Like, sure. Hey, we get the second support with Garrick. We'll just... Garrick the bodyguard. Let's just get the support. Like, I don't want to kill this guy. Let's just do it. Chief, the truth is, you and I, we were abandoned by our parents. Oh, I see. Um... I wandered about with little Ewan in tow. We had- he had no idea what was happening. I was a child myself with no job. Went to bed hungry every night, and our clothes were rags. It's important to have some slow scenes in your movie, so... In between Garrick mowing down hordes of enemies with the hand axe, you have to have these somber moments of character development for the supporting cast. Then one day I said to myself, We cannot go on like this! I watched a dancer on a street corner and memorized all of her moves. Plagiarism! I wasn't a very coordinated child and it was so difficult. I didn't have real shoes, so my feet were a mess of blisters. I fell so many times, I was covered in cuts and bruises. It was painful, and miserable, and very, very difficult. But I never cried. Because if I were to cry, he would cry. And I loved seeing Ewan's smiling face. I wanted him to smile all the time. So I worked hard so he could. Pethos. <laughs> what a sad and miserable tale. I'm sorry. I was reminded of it all just recently, and I was overcome with emotion. But that's how I earned the dancing skills and physique I have now. The physics staff. 
All of the hard work I did back then has made me the woman I am today. What do you say to that? I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> so before you met up with us, the two of you had a rough time of it, did you? Okay, that's enough. The past is the past. You mustn't tell anyone about this. I don't share this story with others. I only told you because you're the chief. A story of toil and a hardship doesn't quite fit my mysterious image, does it? You know what I'd like? For you to tell me more about you. Sure. Another time, though, okay? Maybe in Garrick vs. Grotto 3. Alright, let's see this thing through to the end. If we do our best, good things will come of it, and then better things after that. Right, Chief? Right, Tethys. You be careful. <laughs> of course, and you too, Chief. Support level B! Friendship forged. I don't really think he has to be careful. He has 20 defense. And she talks about good things coming to people. I mean, when you have 22 luck, yeah, I guess you might think that good things happen to you. Okay, there's a... Worm Slayer here. Can Renak reach? Not. Big smooth. Dazla? No? Dusel in the desert. Flyers can find it, I think. Am I even in the tiles? I think I am. Only Dazla and... Tana were. Whoops. Not a big deal. Anyone can except the phantoms? Okay. Can't actually move any... Well, we can move, a... we can move one tile closer. That still doesn't let us fight Kalik next turn. What are these guys doing? Uh, maybe there's dialogue between Erica and her brother. There probably is, so I guess we'll just move him down. Oh, not impeded by the sand. He's magic. I can't reach anything. Phantoms can pick up items too? Okay, well we definitely don't want that. Good, this is what we wanted. Oh, the dodge is perfect. There's no way this Silver Lance guy kills us. I didn't check if he doubles us. There's no way he doubles us. There's no way. It's a 0% chance. It's a lot of damage. We didn't even kill him. One, one hit. Okay. Cormag the Conqueror. We want strength. We want speed. We really want speed. Cormag the Conqueror. And we got A-rank lances! I don't counter this guy. Maybe we should have given him a horse slayer. Paladin. Not the eclipse! Not the eclipse! Don't look into it! Don't look- Oh, we're fine. Oh, magic. What are we gonna do? Your magic shall not save you. The pal didn't even move. Oh no, shamans! Okay, that's a lot of reinforcements. So that's why we're removing all of these guys. <laughs> Let's not mess this one up. Kaga. Okay. Hey, Sala can actually heal him. At one range. The Paladin still hasn't moved. Yeah. Great mobility and he doesn't move. Maybe it's zone-based, I would guess. 
I'm telling Cog I asked you not to! Lab Rochelle on this fort. So we can support from here. And I don't think anybody reaches there, not even the Paladin. Nope, so that's perfect. If I go here, what's this guy's range? Okay, we're not in that guy's range, that's good. We're in range of two Wyvern Knights and this guy. If this guy didn't attack us. Dragon Spear? I think we can take all three. We're fine. We'll just put Amelia on this fort. They might attack her. One, two, three. Sixteen fire uses. We never delivered those tomes! 16 fire uses for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're probably fine. I don't even think they can all reach us this turn. So Vanessa has the tomes. Desert movement range. Desert movement range. Can we reach... Yeah, that's right next to it. The desert. Let's make sure we're not actually in range of anyone. It's gonna be tricky. I think that's fine. Right there, right? Yep. I don't think the paladin can reach us. The paladin can reach us. So we have to stop one short. We should be okay. We're still in the desert? This is a really long map. It's only been, uh... Two hours? That's not bad. You can kill the shaman, right? Great sword master. He did die. great sword master. Your magic shall not save you. What's the demon king gonna do? I don't know if we can actually reach him next turn. This guy's the worst sword master ever. Gotta steer clear of all these enemies. Very scary. Good thing we started moving. Renak, I, he should find this item here. Yep. I think we're just gonna drop him on where all the items are. Just gonna move the rest of our units. Oh, Dusel in the desert. <laughs> we'll have Garrick here just in case he needs to help. Literally zero hit? We definitely double this guy, right? He has a steel axe. You think you can stand up to Lara Shell of the lab? You thought wrong. You thought wrong. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. 
I don't think we double this guy. I thought wrong. <laughs> I thought wrong. Oh, yeah, a steel sword. I'm a monster. He's a monster. I really need a. I really need a thunder tongue. What are my opinions on this desert map? I I think it's fine because it's only like half desert, and it's interesting that you have both of your armies reunite here with two bosses. Good thing we leveled up this character. Were the barrier boosts worth it? I think so. I'm gonna run out of magic. This is good, this is what we wanted. We're mostly scared of Cormag dying here. Because if that Silver Lance guy... Uh oh well that's fine. That actually might be good. I don't know if we can still suffer from success. That's really bad. We could get Silver Lance now. I think we actually want to miss this guy. But the Silver Lance guy didn't even move last turn. That's fine. Uh oh, the Silver Lance. The Silver Lance! The Silver Lance! Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Last. My brother would never have gone out like this. Go back. Well, we know that we don't want to... <laughs> He can't quite handle it. Oh, what a terrible vision of what would have happened if we'd done that move. Good thing we didn't do that. I don't even think we lost any good RNG. You're telling Kaga I told you not to! Too spicy for McCormack. Right? We probably actually would have been fine with an Iron Lance, right? We just need to not kill them. Let's do that last. We're chilling. We know that Vanessa is trying to deliver this Thunder Tome. With bad news you told Kaga- I told you not to! Habibi, welcome. Gotta make sure we're not in this paladin's range, because he's just gonna kill us. So, one north of the de desert, that should be fine. We healed Cormag. Dusel in the desert, pretty sad. Renak finds this. And then Tana takes him to the next one, which is over here. And Noel, no Noel in the desert. These guys just move south. Guess we can just put Inez here. I'm sorry, Cheese, but you're telling Koga? Well, that's fine. You can tell Koga. Hey, maybe we'll crit him this time. We are a sword master, after all. What about Kago, the basket? It's the same thing, right? We got speed. Oh, it's even worse. Great sword. We're benching this dude for sure. We're benching this dude for sure. He's gonna get his story battle against Kalik, and then he's busy ruling Jehenna, okay? So we never saw him again. Break this fire tome. Just had Iftar dinner? It must be Ramadan. Koga's an interest is a better class than Swordmaster? True. 
Is there any game where the ninja class is actually bad? They're almost always super good, right? You don't even kill him. Okay, one, two, three. I think all of this is set, right? I'm Tokaga. I'm asking you, okay? What happened to Joshua? He did have two like good levels up level ups, but we knew from the beginning that Josh would be bad. Six move swords. Terrible. We're just using him because he has this cool story dialogue coming up. And we already know that La Rochelle of the Lab, there's not even any RNG, the enemies just die. And we'll be fine now because we will not suffer from success. I'm just gonna use the Iron Lance. The Paladin attack is from the left. Can. I don't want to suffer from success. He's close to not getting doubled by the final boss. Who cares? We have plenty of units that don't get doubled by the final boss. He also doesn't do anything to the final boss. Terrible. Swordmaster's bad. Arthur chillin'. Anyone to heal? We could heal one HP on on Joshua. Let's get that XP. Always great with the family. Shukran B. Whoa. We know that this goes well. Stuff quash. Rose water lemonade. What am I doing? Sitting in the lab with Lab Rochelle. What's, what's Lab Rochelle's title? You can't just be Lab Rochelle of the Lab, right? We know we double this dude. Quash moving last in the priority bracket? Quash itself has priority, right? Lab Rochelle the Labrador? <laughs> this is my lab. These streams come out too fast for me. Sorry, they're they're every week. It's the backlog. At least you can always watch the vods. It appears to be the case that almost always the view count doubles. So about half of the people watch it live, and about half of them watch the vod. Oh, now they're choosing to attack Amelia. Zero hit. But they do deal four damage. Uh oh. Didn't expect that. Should equip the Reggie Leaf. Do people really want these streams to be monthly? Should they be more frequent or less frequent? Well, they can't be more frequent. You think you can stand up to Lab Rochelle? Of the lab, I guess. I'm a monster! Not the eclipse. Not the eclipse! Don't look at the eclipse! Not the eclipse! Oh, we're fine. Lab Rochelle the Laborious? Does she think that Laborious means glorious? Oh no, an enemy paladin. Chalked. Get doubled. Enemy reinforcements! Okay, we did survive. Lab Rochelle the Lightbringer. I like that. Lab Rochelle the Lightbringer. Maybe we should have gone Valkyrie. But we have to use Excalibur. Lab Rochelle the Leon. 
Okay, this is the silent staff, I think. I don't know if he can find it just getting dropped. So we, he probably has to act, and then we pick it up. We are in support range. Wow. Shaman Gaming. He does die to this. You think you can stand up to Arthur the Attunes? Alright, we're approaching the showdown. We can actually we can actually reach him this turn. But we're not scared of these dudes. We want to deliver the Thunder Tome. This is a promoted enemy. This is a promoted enemy! We double him! Hello? That's a lot of damage, though. Does Garrick even kill him with the Hand Axe? Of course he does. Uh, <laughs> of course he does. Okay, that's good. Do we have Ewan yet? We do, but we can't train him yet because we need to give him the Metis' Tome. The promo XP. I need the XP. I need it! I need it! And you're gonna give it to me! Yes! We still have a lot of... We have a lot of tomes. We're out of support range now, but that's fine. Yes. Lab level? We want magic, we want speed! <laughs> I'm a monster! I'm a monster. Okay, we need Ephraim to not die. If he's on this, he's probably fine. Oh, he also has Garm in his inventory. We can give Garm to Garrick. Okay, we gotta make sure that... Okay, so here is safe? Yes. Left side is safe. What about the mages? We do get attacked by a mage. Only one mage. The mage has 11 speed. We have seven. Like, there's no way we die, right? There's no way. We don't need this barrier stuff. This guy can't reach us, right? Okay, great. Dussel in the desert. <laughs> Can that guy reach us? He can! I mean, we're not gonna die. We have nine runs, we're fine. This guy's kind of scary, right? Fort Erica? The Lance Reaver. Okay. Larachel can actually get hit by that guy. Just that guy, though. Who can this guy hit? All the way up there, but nobody dies. Just Sale. Dussel versus... Well, he hasn't even killed him. He does a lot. Dussel versus Grotto. Well, not Dussel. Garrick versus Grotto. Kill the Draco Knights. Amazing advice. Thank you. Liabilities. Let's just back up. I don't want to deal with these guys. We'll just back up. Do we have to L fire? We got L fire. He has weapon triangle advantage. What are we supposed to do? Someone survived combat against Garrick. We should recruit them. Ouch. Fluxed. Is anyone threatened to die by them? Yeah, that's why we're just gonna back up. Like, they can attack Erica, whatever. That's fine. 
Fortunately, our dancer isn't really doing anything. It's okay. I think if we do this, we are supporting Erica. We're just gonna go kill that shaman. Have we tried killing all the enemies in the map? We're we're working on it. That seems pretty dead. Did I get to catch up on sleep? I did. I went scouting for costumes yesterday, and I found a flowery robe. This guy found God. See ya. He was deathly ill. I think all of us, I guess, Noel on the- Fort- Fort- Fort Noel! Four stars. I think we've done most things on this. Can you speed up killing the enemies, please? You can't get me, man. Bait used to be believable. Kaga will never believe you if you tell him. Alright, it's time for... Well, he has a hand axe, so... That's probably fine. We, at least we have weapon triangle advantage. Alright, so how does this work? Obviously, we're not going to use the iron sword. We don't even double him. He has so much hit on us. And this is not even with the silver axe. This is with the tomahawk. And we have zero crit because of the Hoplon Guard. So, Shamshu doesn't really work, but that's, that's a good hit rate. Ooh. Like, we gotta use the sacred weapon, right? Our mom gave it to us. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I wonder if we can use that later. <laughs> Warp acquired. The royal treasure of Jehenna. I think that's it? It's just loot who hasn't acted yet? I wonder how loot does against Kalec. I'm gonna be honest, better than I thought. <laughs> I started Lexapro today. Can't help but wondering if the stream is just that fun. You had a blast watching? I'm not really sure what Lexapro is, but... I'm glad you had a blast watching. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. We're proud of our ability to blast. Let's just make sure nobody dies. Or my... If he can fight three? Can he fight four? Are all four going to attack him? They actually might. No. Okay. He can definitely take three. I don't think he can take four. You thought I wasn't going to use loot? She's probably getting benched after this. Oh. What are you doing? Attack Cormag. I need, I need my final level. So I can fight Aerodactyl. That's good. We want this. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, do they both kill him? Ooh, that's scary. The devil! Whoa! Garrick versus Gro- You think you can stand up to Garrick for- <laughs> Okay. It moved so fast I couldn't keep up. Garrick versus Grotto. Hey, a devil axe. I can't believe that hit us. <laughs> and didn't backfire. Okay, I'm scared of dying to those st incoming steel lances from the wyverns, though. We gotta dodge one of these. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh no, Cormag is an Eclipse Ranger, right? It's over. Oh, uh, don't celebrate too early. Yeah, we could get eclipsed. Yeah, Garrick versus Grotto is too predictable. And the B story is boring. It's just some girl talking about dancing. What does that have to do with a buff guy killing soldiers? It's irrelevant. You don't get doubled, right? Do 
Doosel has better res than Vanessa. No. No, not the Eclipse! Don't look into it, don't look into it. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, we're fine. Here we go. Kalik. Hey, if it isn't Joshua. It's been a long time. You've been well? I've been alright. Still working as a mercenary. When did you get all proper and join the Grotto Army? Didn't I tell ya? I wasn't about to waste my life as a nameless soldier. Still, I think back on those days a lot lately. My axe and your sword. The two of us were a deadly pair, eh? Silence. Hey, by the way, I know all about you, Joshua. Who you really are, I mean. The Prince of Johanna, huh? When did you plan on sharing the wealth, you sneaky dog? Listen, you can't reduce a nation to loot waiting to be divided. And more importantly, I made a vow to my mother. I'm gonna succeed her as ruler of my homeland. Hey, Kalik. You're the one who killed my mother, aren't you? Yeah. Sorry about that. Things happen, you know. Come on, Joshua. Don't hate me. This is war. There's nothing you can do about it. Besides, grudges get in the way of work, right? That's true. It's as you say. Listen, Kalik. I've got to kill you now. Don't hold it against me. You arrogant! Yeah, you haven't changed a bit! I've always wanted to show you who's better, Joshua. And I'm even stronger than I used to be. I'm gonna wipe that smug look off your face for good. You've got to avenge your mom! <laughs> hey, Kalik. I've got to kill you now. Big boss dialogue. Meanwhile, on Garrick vs. Grotto, our regularly scheduled programming of being invincible. Theoretically, we could have died there. He has a different dialogue on Ephraim Root. The Erica Root one is better. Okay, we did survive. Oh, I'll tell Kaga. Maybe deal with this first. I think if we hit him with a magic spell, then we kill him. It's all about friends, okay? It's all about friends. 41 hit. 67 hit. Well, that's significantly better. 62 hit. That's even better. And if it goes south, we can rescue. You're a stepping stone, and I'm moving up. Don't take it personally. Literally says it's nothing personnel. They both say it's nothing personnel to each other. It's going south. It's going south. We're getting out of here. I guess it's a 1v1. <laughs> now, where's that silence staff? It should be around here. If she's not gonna pay me, I'll have to gather the loot myself. Oh, there's an enemy here. Thunder! Kalik versus Renee.
I called this guy useless. Maybe I was wrong. Hello? Can we get doubled? Are we sure this guy himself is one star? Looks fine to me. Okay, Erica. Erica can't even see. Erica's so useless. Oh, you're right. Thunder doesn't strike twice. XP thief. She's. You think you can stand up to Erica the Eviscerator? Die, right? No, we just have really low health. And we can heal with Saleh. I need Dire Thunder? I gotta borrow it from Olwyn! That's not just stand there. I miss Gilliam. Well, you're never gonna see him again. You know what happens when a toad is struck by lightning? Same thing that happens to everything else. That's not a ground type. Okay, I think we're fine here. We're not gonna attack him. We're just gonna let him attack us. Something bad might happen here. Oh, we can't tell Kaga about that. Probably Amelia wants to kill one of these Draco Knights, right? Killing this guy... ...gets us level 20, so let's do that. And let's hopefully do it in a way that doesn't get us killed. XP Thief, Ephraim maybe. Lightning doesn't even strike once. Just got here, how many troops are in the army so far? Only one. I do have a graphic I think you'll enjoy, but it, we're not gonna see it for a while. Uh, XP Thief, Ephraim. One shot with Reggie Link? No. XP Thief. If we don't kill this guy, we're in huge trouble, but we definitely will. Okay, well. A oh, Dragon Spear. Well, it's not definitely, but it's basically definitely. Okay. Just got out here. Why are we in Boster's Tower? We are not. Level 20! We want strength, we want speed, we want strength, we want speed! <laughs> Did you know? McCormag expertly blended for strength and speed. Green number! We did it! Green number! Falter is doomed! Cormag the Capable! Oh, meanwhile... Like, we don't even have to think about this guy, he's fine. Hey, what are you doing over there? Stop healing people! Why'd you just stand there? Excellent. I think we're almost done. We just have to get all of the treasure. Five dollar uh, micro from Wing of Shoe. Thank you for the... Thank you for your patience as you wait for me to play. Mm. Action. 
gets popcorn ready? Will Cormac get his revenge in the side plot? And will Joshua complete his arc of killing his former friend now in a hole? Find out on the thrilling conclusion of Garrick vs. Grotto 2, Desert Duels. We just stay here. I gotta look at all the items I'm missing, so... It's just Killer Bone, Swift Soul, Medicine's Tome, Silver Card, and <laughs> Eclipse Tome. A lot of them are on the right side of the map. So I guess that's what we could do with all of these units that aren't doing anything. Gosla, get the Killer Bow. I... that's probably it. I think we'll just wait. Uh, Vanessa... Vanessa, get the killer bow! Nope. I think that's it. Who didn't act? Just those two who can't do anything anyway. He's healing. I think we still have- oh, that's a lot of healing. Eric versus Grotto. This movie's boring! We know who wins. XP Thief. I thought this guy was good. Uh oh. Oh no. Not the eclipse. Not the eclipse! Garrick, use the blindfold! Use the blindfold! Oh, we're fine. Got a really good hit. This is Tana, right? Do we have the Lance Reaver? Or the Axe Reaver? We do not. We have a killer Lance, though. Not a 1v1, but I wanna I wanna preserve my at Holma uses. Okay, shown! You've always been a lone wolf, Kalik, but not me. I have friends, and that's why you're gonna die here today, alone. For my mother, chopped. Blast. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Mother avenged. A bit more and a crown would have been mine. For Jehenna, holy blood level. Your magic shall not save you. Holy Sword Tearfing actually gives you plus 20 res. It's unironically very useful in that game. We're going on a trip, Renak. No more Kalik, the game is ruined. Alright, Dozla, maybe it's Dozla. Find this killer bow. Find this... Is this where the killer bow This is where the killer bow is, right? Yes, it is. Find this killer bow. Not killed. The Swift Souls, I think, are, like, right here. So I guess that's... Garrick wandered the desert, looking for the Swift Souls.
It's like a fairy tale! You remember how earlier? She talked with Garrick about how when she was dancing, her feet were bruised and blistered. She didn't even have a pair of shoes. What, is, what about- it's the Swift Souls! Increases movement by two points, vanishes after use. New shoes! Just like the fairy tales. Silver cards over here. Dreams do come true. We need flying for the silver card? No, but it's just over in the corner. It's literally behind defeat enemy left two. Falter doesn't move, right? How much staff XP do we have? We can afford to use a staff. Let's get him ready for revenge quest. Oh yeah, she's a healer, by the way. <laughs> it's it's kind it's kind of. Oh, we can actually steal the guiding ring from him. May as well. Right, we're gonna be brooding on this fortress. Use this on a worthy master of a winged unit. Prepare your interview questions. Alright. Cormag! Or Mukormag, is it? We're reviewing your performance so far within our ranks. You've only just recently joined us. We have to admit, uh, you weren't exactly the most trustworthy fellow at the start. Uh, but in the interim uh, battles, you've very much proven yourself on the battlefield. However, uh, you may just consider this a formality. Uh, would you please, in your own words, tell us why you believe you are qualified for the rank of Wyvern Knight? Swords aren't bad, but speed is just better. Swords are bad, so that's just not true. I'm not convinced. I'm gonna kill Volter! Have you seen my abs? I'm a great cook. I have 20 strength, unlike those lame Pegasus Knights. Cap strength and 19 speed. I will have my vengeance for my brother. I'm Garrick, but with Pierce and a dragon? Nah, Garrick has better stats, and axes are better. Well, Wyvern Lord didn't work for my brother, this is my only choice. My name's an anagram of Gamor C. Expertly blended strength and speed. We've gotta kill Valter, okay? We're gonna kill Valter! Congratulations. Time to season Valter with a wonderful blend of Pierce, Crits, and Dragon Spears. He's done for. Look at this. Plus one strength, plus three speed. Oh, plus one res. What's Valter gonna do? We can even Kanto! We're gonna brood on this fort for a while. Level 1 Wyvern Knight, 22 speed, 14 defense. One more than our Mage Knight. <laughs> okay, this is probably gonna be gaming hours, so. Uh oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Snips. Here, the blindfold, the blindfold, don't look! Oh, we're fine. I need the silver card. Oh, I guess we can get the Ephraim Erica dialogue, right? We just gotta cross the desert. I need the silver card. Can he pierce grid Volter on first go? That would be nice, but I, I doubt it. I'd like the killer bow, please. I'd like the killer bow, please. Not killed.
Garrick might be wandering the desert here. Metis' Tome is over here. Be sure to dance nobody with your dancer. I don't think anybody over there does anything. I think we just wait. There's something to the direct right of Walter. What could it be? It must be a great item. I guess we can visit this. Well, let's see. This lets Renak get it next turn. I'd like a silver card, please. I'd like a silver card, please, with Kaibo? No. That's where the silver card is, right? Yeah, that whole area, so... That should be where it is. Erica wandering the desert, five move. I've always wanted a pair of shoes. It's been my dream since I was a little girl. However, this is war. Sometimes, you must sacrifice your own wants for the needs of the nation. If you put the Swift Souls on Amelia, it fixes her only weakness! Well, now that she has seven move, now she's a good unit, right? What What is Grotto gonna do? Only weakness fixed. Now that's strategy. <laughs> now we have to use a five move dancer for the rest of the game. <laughs> no. I guess Joshua can sit on the throne of Jehenna. Garrick on the fort. We're just brooding here. Oh, we could, we could, uh, build the... build this fort. That's what we should do. Can I have a killer bow, please? Can I have a killer bow, please? Nope. If I was not memeing... I would give the boots either to Tethys or to Cormag. So you either want one super overkill movement unit, because then you can do things that no other unit can, or you should just give it to Tethys, because Tethys has bad movement, but she really wants good movement, and dancers have a tendency to fall behind, because in addition to just having low move, they're usually in the back dancing people forward. So it's always a safe bet. But if you have a super cracked flyer like Cormag, you could also give them the boots. She's so nice. However, you might have noticed, I'm quite bad at Fire Emblem, so... I need to use this invincible unit, whose only weakness was bad, mu bad movement. And now that we fixed our only weakness, we can't lose. Maybe just wait. Okay, Kaiba Core Silver card. Can I have a silver card? I have a silver. Okay. I've heard rumors. There's something around here. Oh, found it. Medicine Stone! Give this to a unit you like. Great description. Etched by Renak. Well, he also has to steal the ring from this dude, so... I guess we'll just send him down here. Will this guy even attack? I don't, I don't know if he moves. Give it to Tethys. Can I have a killer bow, please? Can I have a killer bow, please? Nope. Oh. this guy move? I, I, I don't want him to just snipe Ephraim. I'm guessing he doesn't move, because if he did, he would attack Cormag, right? 
Are you promoting Tana? Probably, but she's not level 20, so we can't. I'm trying to get the dialogue with Erica, trudging through the desert. I guess Dussel can visit this house. That's it. Riveting map, right? Imagine just being a peasant in the desert and then an esteemed general just shows up. All the highest generals in Grotto's army receive titles named after gemstones. The emperor currently has six gemstones fighting in his service. Kalik the Tiger Eye commands the forces fighting here. The Moonstone Vulture is taking part in this battle as well. Glenn, also known as the Sunstone, died in the mountains of Mincino. Selena Florspar was killed in Western Grotto. Dussel, whom they call Obsidian, is missing in action. I wonder where he could be. <laughs> what happened to Dussel? <laughs> the Blood Barrel, whose real name is Reeve, has also gone missing. How do I know all this? No, I may look young and naive, but this is my job. <laughs> I'm here to pass this information along and help you out. And it's good information too, so don't waste it. I'll keep it near and dear, okay? I wouldn't hire this guy. <laughs> Speaking of jobs, this is mine, and because it's my job, it means I'm really good at it, right? That being said... Hope you can use axes. Be sure to equip a hammer and smash that like button. <laughs> and my wages are paid for... Bye. There they are. Thank you, Patreons! Mm. For all of your contributions. Hopefully everybody who is a Patreon is on here. Thanks for all your hard work. I actually didn't know that guy had that dialogue. It was actually a coincidence I visited it with Dussel. Silver card? Kaibacore discount? <gasps> the Kaibacore discount! Kaibacore discount. You'd like an iron axe? That'll be 400 gold pieces, please. I don't think so. I'll be paying you 200 gold pieces, and you'll accept it. Ah, uh, uh, yes, Mr. Kaiba, sir. I, I guess so. 200 gold pieces it is. Kaiba has so much money. Why does he need discounts? Blue eyes, silver card dragon. <laughs> Tana and Kaiba? Oh, Tana and Kaiba dialogue. Oh, because they're siblings, right? Let's get the sibling dialogue. Where's Tana? She's over here. Well, she has to drop Renak off. Renak also needs inventory space. Do we need the body ring? We have a lot of con. We have 11 con. But we still lose... Like, we lose speed to the hand axe, right? So, we can use the body ring. It does fit with the graphic. I gotta find my brother! So close, yet so far. So close, yet so far! Sister. Brother. They'll reunite now. Five stars. Couldn't do this with a combat unit. Erica! Brother? Is that really you? You're not some phantom, are you? Well, no, we didn't promote Noel, so no. No, it's really me. Hold. Enemies approach. 
Ephraim. Even when we were children, you were always there to protect me. Great dialogue. Can I have a killer bow, please? Can I have a killer bow, please? Oh. Gotta build the supports. Oh, we were gonna put Joshua on the throne of Jehenna, I guess next turn. You didn't need that, did you? Yoink. Go on, Renak, fetch the loot for us. Yeah. You think you can stand up to a melee the armored? Everybody gets crits except our swordmaster. Five dollar microtransaction from Solomon Kearns. Thank you for the. Microtransaction. Mm. Just remember that big Amelia will be slightly less efficient to airdrop, and we are playing 100% efficiency on this channel, right? Thanks for the heads up. Well, let's see. So, who can actually. Currently, she has 11 con. If we body ring, she gets 13 con. If we have 13 aid, we can pick her up. I think Cormag can do it. Yeah, Cormag can airdrop her even if she gets a bigger body. Dude, imagine you're just some scrub in the Grotto army. This dude on a dragon flies by, drops off the Amelia mech. What are you gonna do? Tana Kaiba dialogue, right? Mm. Can I get a killer bow, please? Are these not the right tiles? Can I get a killer bow, please? Okay, killer bow search party. Noel, help us look for this killer bow. I'm the king of Jehenna. Can we actually reach- oh, we can actually just reach him. And we don't get doubled by him. All hands on deck. Can I get a killer bow, please? 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 What is ha- Am I in the wrong tiles? I might be on the wrong tiles. Did I pick up the killer bow? Stand aside, everyone! Okay. No, no, no killer bow? Can I get a killer bow, please? No killer bow? That's not on the killer bow tile. No dialogue? Are we sure they're siblings? No dialogue? Can I get a killer bow, please? 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 Where's my killer bow? I get a kill. Can I get a killer bow? Oh. Yeah. Renak, what are you doing over there? 
We've all been digging in the sand for hours. Get over here and help. Yes, Lavershell. I guess it's not that. Did we pick up the killer ball? Did I forget? Where's my killer ball? Well, it's not like we were gonna use it anyway. Hang on. Three by two space by this little grassy outlet, right? You can find items if you have a full inventory, just get sent to convoy. It's a three by two space. Okay, Lady Lara Shell, I found your bow for you. Here you go. Well done, Renak. I'll keep this in mind for your next pay stub. <laughs> Renak the Sleuth. I think we have seven move. We can sit on this for it. Okay, we really, I really wish we gave the Swift Souls to Tethys instead. It's not in range, right? Just in case. It's Okaga. He's a killer lance. Killer lance is no problem, right? Give this hoplon, give this hoplon guard to Garrick. As you say, Erica. Here you go! Give this hoplon guard to Vanessa! Alright. Hey, Vanessa. Here's a hoplon guard. I need you to deliver this to Cormag, okay? Yeah. We did it! <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. Very useful. I think we're almost done. We got all of the items, just about. <laughs> Vanessa the DoorDash. Alright, we've been brooding for a long time. No more brooding. Alright, Renak! To clear this map, we do need to eliminate the enemy general. That's on you. Give it your best shot. Yes, Lady Larishelle. Hell no, I'm not dying for this. I'm out of here. Oh, an Eclipse Tome. Maybe I should have let that guy kill me. Alright. Falter! Spear. You killed my brother. And I'm gonna kill you. Cormag will wait patiently for his revenge. But only until enemy face.
We actually don't want to be healing with La Rochelle because uh, we don't want to build her staff rank, but all our other healers are really far away. It's fine, we just have to not hit S, which is very possible. We'll try and pick up our other staff guy. Vengeance time! What now, Cormag? Have you betrayed your oaths and your emperor? I have. I can no longer serve Grotto. But I must know the truth, Falter, and you will tell me. You're the one who murdered my brother, aren't you? Huh. No reason for lies, seeing as you're nothing but a traitor. You're right, Cormag! I was the one who cut your brother down. He was just like you. A weak, pitiful fool. Stalwart silence. <laughs> Why do you laugh, Dolt? How could I not? I dreamt of revenge. Chased it for days! And now, it's here before me. Oh, Walter, your death will be slow and agonizing! Pierce. Pierce! <laughs> well, we, wa we were the one who wanted to pierce him. Don't tell Kaga about this amazing revenge story first try. Vulture! I have no use for these bloodless minnows. Give me prey that will sate my bloodlust. You want blood? Well, here it comes. You hunger? Eat up! For my brother! You didn't see that. Well, that was pretty scary. I mean, the, the numbers are not in our favor. We shouldn't have done that. Cut. We're filming this scene for Garrick vs. Grotto 2. Stick to the script, people. Dragon Spear has 54. Killer Lance also has 54. Iron Lance. Sibling and Vulture combos. Now nah, we've been here for three hours. I think that's enough. I'll be back, Vulture. This isn't over. This isn't over. I can heal him once. I think this will actually heal him to full because our magic is crazy. It's base 20 plus magic. Mended. <laughs> It's important to uh, set checkpoints when you're filming, just in case things go awry. Walter, You killed my brother. Now I'm gonna kill you. Scream for me, I wanna hear it! Okay, yeah, bloodless minnows. For my bro- Come on, guys, we rehearsed this. Oh, 
Garrick versus Grotto 2 in production hell. This guy's- he's like a method actor. Yeah, I know that the character Valter wants to kill Cormag. But stick to the script, you're supposed to lose! Yes, the bloodless minnows. Yes, you hunger. Okay. For my brother! The Sunstone! Or might we rehearse this? You're supposed to crit him. Mended. Actually, have a men's staff. That's fine. Man, he heals a lot per turn. For my brother, the Sunstone. Okay. For my, we rehearse this. We have two more mend uses. Someone told me Cog is here. What changes the RNG? The arrow dancing can do it. I think combat can do it. Where's my red? Yes! Okay, take five. For my brother, the sunstone! this Could have had a Lance Reaver. <laughs> Bright Powder Volter. Okay, take six. For my brother, the Sunstone! Cut! Well, there's our men's staff. Hey, a Sally level. He has good bases, right? We got all the cast and crew standing by in the desert heat. Come on, guys. The filming of Garrick vs. Grotto 2 is a disaster. 
abusive conditions, the director doesn't know what he's doing, there's a mutiny among the crew. Riveting gameplay. Come on, the prince is here, guys. He's watching. Alright, take seven. For my brother, the Sunstone! Cut. Guys, we practice this. The crew is getting fed up. Poor Mag the Klutz. Take eight. For my brother, the Sunstone. Well struck. This movie's kind of boring. The main character's really incompetent. Look at all of the crew it takes. Look at all of the crew it takes just to do this. We even have the backup dancer. In case something goes wrong. Okay, take nine. For my brother, the Sunstone! Ugh. Ugh. That's not your dying line, Vault. Cut! Okay, you can keep that one. Good take, guys. Good take. Yeah, I guess we can keep the Hoplon guard. Now we don't have to worry about both. Brother avenged. We did it. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> Erica. <laughs> the fight was better in the comics. It was 10 very intense fans in the movie. They stretched it out to 20 minutes. I can't believe they would pad out the finale like that. Oh, Ephraim, I've missed you so. And I've missed you. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you safe. I almost forgot. I have something to give you. What are these? These are called Sacred Twins. We took these relics from Grotto. The Dark Tome Glipnir and the Black Axe Garm. The best sacred weapon and the worst one. I doubt either of us can use them, but... Why not see if one of your companions can use them? They might have better luck. Maybe 22 luck. They're from Grotto? Does this mean Grotto Keep has fallen? Yes. I conquered the capital and defeated Emperor Vigard. No big deal. <laughs> but still. Erica, may I make a suggestion? We've been able to join forces here, so... Ah, but we all get together and trade information. <laughs> there are people on both sides waiting after all both sides. Just chilling in that one fort. I see unfamiliar faces among you here, so allow me to introduce myself. I am Ephraim, Erica's brother and crown prince of Rene. I'm Princess Larachelle of Rouston. The pleasure is mine, of course. I'll begin by telling you of how we fared in our mission. We seized the Grotto Capital and defeated her emperor, Vigard. Grotto's capital guard have, to a man, surrendered and laid down their arms. Pockets of resistance remain, but the war itself is over. Well, pockets of resistance is fine, right? What are they gonna do? Not save you. Is that so? However, something remains that still bothers me. A grotto man named Noel told me about something called a dark stone. Their mages had uncovered lore that led them to craft a powerful magic stone. This dark stone may have been the catalyst of Grotto's transformation. 
It seems to be the source of that black wave of energy Mur described. The guard died some time ago, but the power of the stone played him like a puppet. The war and everything that passed since was planned by the Darkstone's master. I guess, is, is, say, is Kaiba asking this? Maybe Kaiba's asking this. Well, don't waste my time. Who is it? I still can't believe it, but I'll tell you nonetheless. According to Noel, the man behind this is... Why? It's spelled with a Y. I am? That's Leon. Le Leon. Leon, the Imperial Prince. He said Leon's got the Darkstone. Figures it's Prince Leon. No, that doesn't make any sense. Ephraim and I know Leon better than that. We've been friends for years. Leon's not the sort of person who would start a war like this. But Erica. I saw Leon recently. Ephraim, you might know this, but after I abandoned the sea route to Rouston, I traveled overland with Prince Inez to Jehenna. We ran into trouble with Grotto's forces and I chanced upon Leon. He didn't share the details of his situation, but he intimated uh, that he was on our side. Despite all appearances, he was on our side. So Leon... Erica. I also met Leon. Did you really? Yes, but he was like a completely different person. He was wearing this kind of cool leather jacket. He kept talking about Bingo. I don't think he was the man we grew up with. To be honest, he didn't seem to be completely... Ephraim, what are you saying? I'll tell you what I saw. I found Leon inside Grotto Keep. This is what he told me. He said he was behind this war. He said he'd befriended us solely so that one day he could invade Rene. He told me he killed our father. That, that can't. <laughs> okay, that's not a Japanese sentence, but I know exactly what that says. So, so not. I know. I can't believe it either. I refuse to believe it. But he planned all this since he was a child. I simply can't fathom it. I've heard Leon change when he acquired the Darkstone. I've no interest in magic, but... There's something uncanny about him. It seemed almost as though he were being controlled by something himself. In silence. The two of you might find this hard to accept, but... The state of Prince Leon's heart matters little. He has the Dark Stone. And the Millennium Puzzle. That rock is the cause of all that's happened. The Prince must be stopped. Not yet! There's something that needs doing first! Labrachal? Prince Ephraim, I do believe you felt it as well. The Dark Stone held by Prince Leon. It exudes a malefic miasma. Do fighters know what malefic means? We might be able to handle Prince Leon alone, but that stone is beyond our ken. He's in Fire Emblem 7. Then what do you suggest? The Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance. The Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance? We've all heard the legend of the five Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance. They alone possess the power to seal the Demon King away forever. So, of course, to dispel demonic magic, we must use... The Sacred Stones! Only for the Game Boy Advance. Can't argue with that logic, right? Sounds like a good plan. She's so smart. I'm a monster! You expect us to pin the outcome of this war on some fool legend? Not just the legend. We also have hope. Are we sure that Ephraim is the one saying that?
according to Leon. He's already seen to the destruction of Grottos, Frelias, and Gehenna stones. Hmm, that explains something. Grotto force has attacked me, intent on destroying the sacred st oh, the stone of Rene. If that could be the reason why they chose to invade Rene, the power of the sacred stones may be greater than we'd ever known. Yes, exactly! If we acquire a sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance, we'll be able to oppose the Dark Stone's might. But three of the stones have been shattered, and our options are few. Do you suppose that during the invasion of Rene? No, I don't think so. The Stone of Rene is hidden by the power of Erika and my bracelets. Grotto has made many attempts to take our bracelets. Everyone has failed, and so the stone may still be safe. We have to confirm that, of course. We've defeated Grotto, and we must turn our eyes to our homeland. It's time to return to Rene. Garrick vs. Grotto 3, return to Rene. <laughs> Ivo, you're not in this conversation. Lady Mur. Saleh. I'm grateful to see you well. The people of Ker Palin will be overjoyed that you're safe. I must apologize to you, Saleh. You were there to protect me from the very start of my journey. When we were attacked, I was separated from you and... I'm so sorry to have worried you. Lady Mur, as long as you are safe, we have nothing to be worried about. It will be my honor to serve you until your mission is complete. Thank you, Saleh. Chapter 16, Ruled by Madness. Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Fall of the Kingdom. No, it's Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Return to Rene. Alright. So what do we do now? Gleepnir. Gleepnir! Oh, more like Gleep far away from me. That's where I want that thing. Terrible. Let's promote Garrick again. It's been a while since I've done this. I do want to know. We actually have the, we have the ability to conduct the research. I cast fact or fiction. Affinity for interns. Each intern in play pays for one cheese mana. All interns investigate. The first to return the correct answer gains plus 10 EXP. The question is, can you and promote to a base class in between floors of the Tower of Valdi? That's what I want to know. That's your task. I think so because there's battle preps each time. One person says he can't, one person says you can't. No, yes. Yes, he can. Which is it? <laughs> you just need battle preps, which we do. Somebody says no. You're all worthless! Why am I paying you guys? <laughs> Maybe- Well, that's even worth. that's also worthless. Hello? Okay, David Berlinski says, I've returned with the answer. You sound pretty confident. You for sure can upon entering. I never claim the answer is- You're all worthless! Ah. Oh. Yes, you can. Well, because what I want to do is I want to get a Tower of Volney clear. So I'd rather just train him by actually ascending the tower. Maybe we'll come back with Shadow Slayer. So I guess it's back to the... Back to the grind. Guys are worthless, but I want to know if it can happen. So I guess we'll also do the science there. We're gonna need fire tomes. Ah, 
I'll take that fire tome at half price, thank you. Much obliged. We're finally reunited. Alright, hopefully we'll get him to a point where he can actually fight on the next map. So he, we definitely have to get him to his first promotion. That's probably good enough, because at least he is a magic user who can chip. Alright, let's go to the Tower of... I think Tower of Olney. Oh, it's Boster's Tower! The hottest power leveling service on the web! Stock 100. Ewan, my time is at an end. Sally, what are you talking about? Are, are you sick or something? No, Ewan. I'm about to be benched. Before I go, I want you to have this. Read it well. Please, Ewan. You're our only hope. Okay, Teach, whatever you say. Medicine's Tome. Give this to a unit you like. Okay, I, I think I learned all these words. Maturity increased. Don't treat me like a child. Well, we've got an energy ring. Who do we use our energy? Oh god, three magic. <laughs> Who do we use our energy ring on? Tana's okay. So, support grinding? We probably want our convoy unit, who I believe is actually Ephraim. And we want to build a Ephraim anyway, so... We got our convoy. We have... That means we need the lab... Lab Rochelle. Because that's who the support is with. Well, Ewan's here for sure. We also need Tethys because she dances for him. Uh, we can build Cormag Tana. And we can also do... Garcia Dazla. Because <laughs> Garcia Dazla is very funny. They're not going to use either of them, but I just really like their supports. The wiki says in this game, trainees automatically promote at level 10 before the start of a chapter. I know trainees can promote when entering the tower, so each floor should let him promote. You sound awfully confident, sir. Alright. If you say so. I trust you. Let's hope you're right. We also need somebody to draw them in. I mean, Dazla can do that, right? Oh, but then he's gonna be exposed. I guess Ephraim can do it. But then he would need no items. Okay, we have too many items. <laughs> hey, Gilliam, hold my stuff for me.
tower doesn't save progress? No, we're probably just going to see if we can get the promotion. Ephraim in the front. Bro bonding in the back. It's probably good enough. Shouldn't take too long, because the trainee levels are really fast. Enemies can't actually attack that spot. That's good. We actually might need more of a wall. We don't need it yet. Walled. Poor Magantana. I mean, Ewan can support Tethys eventually. No! The animations! You don't even need a lance. They're not going to attack Labrachel, right? That would be foolish. If they do, I guess she can train a rank. Alright, world first Yuan attack. Hey, that's pretty good. No! My animations! I guess we'll turn off the other ones, right? For now. We're going to turn them off turn them on at the end. The wyverns are really cute, they are. Lab wounds are only healer? Nobody's gonna get hurt. What a competent unit. Look at this guy. He doesn't even kill him next turn. I should probably move. Don't attack, Labrachelle. You fool! I guess they actually deal four damage. That's a lot. You think you can stand up? To Labrachelle the... Lightbringer? That was it. My fire tome. I'm a monster! I'm a monster. Okay, they do actually suicide into her. We're training our anima rank. That's fine, I guess. Just the- Do you think you can stand up to Lab Rochelle the Lightbringer? I'm a monster! Thunder's a light tome, right? Okay, she's too strong. We need to take her books away. Ouch. We have 19 crit with thunder. Okay, no books allowed. <laughs> Anima B! I was scared. I think that guy kills Ewan, right? Not if we level up, right? The books must be burned. <laughs> we don't even kill this guy, but we do get a level up and we can dance to do it again. And we can just move Ephraim up one. Alright, first Ewan level. We gave the Metis' Tome to a unit that we like. Maturity has been increased. How mature are we? Ugh. <sighs> save you. If this to a unit that you like, mature. <laughs> Get him. I think this is actually a level up as well. Oh no, not quite. You and can't actually read.
Uh, I think we have to take the books away. Otherwise, this guy's gonna... gonna die. Burn the books! <laughs> We gotta make sure that that archer has to die. I'd like my book back for a second, please. Thank you for holding on to that for me. Okay, demon, away with you! I'm a monster! <laughs> a stunning display as always, Lady Larachel. I'll take that book off your hands for you for the moment. Thank you, Dazla. You're as diligent as ever. I'm back to this crap. Hey, we have one cred. <laughs> Okay, you in level two. We want magic and speed. We got one of them at nothing else. Maturity increased. Scottish Dosla, British Larish, and Irish Renak are your head cannon. They're all on the same island. Yeah, we have 1% crit. Okay, we get a level next turn. Could even be two. If we crit, I guess. Okay, maybe we should turn Labrachelle off as well. It would have been blank without Metis. It's possible. Dazzle's getting hurt. I think we could just reach level 10 on floor one, right? Okay. Hey, my mentor taught me this spell. If I say the words right, it'll work. I want magic, I want speed. I want magic, I want speed. I must have messed up the second half. It's okay, I'm just an apprentice. Are we base speed? Base speed. TK fire. I mean, we get the damage. We get experience just from Chip, so I guess we're not in that much of a rush. One's gonna attack Labrachel, right? Let's just turn the animations off. Hail to double a zombie. Hey, this is lunatic mode, okay? Ouch! We're not even building the supports. We, we can fix that, though. I think we get a level up on our next attack. Yep. At least the level ups are fast, right? Just like Sally taught me. I want magic, I want speed. I want magic, I want speed. I'm a big boy, I'm mature. I must have messed up the first half of that. Your magic shall not save you. I think we're still average? We might be below on speed. Actually getting hit kinda often. 
Surely we can double this bone walker, right? There it is. Bones! Hey, we actually kill him. With the dance. Can we use thunder yet? Although it doesn't really matter because we're going to dark magic soon anyway. Just like Sally taught me. I want magic, I want speed. I want magic, I want speed. Just like Sally taught me. I must have messed up the entire chant. Your magic shall not save you. We're definitely above average for Rez. Pray for speed, get res. Pray for res, get speed. Okay. Is this a level up? I think it is. So we want resistance, right? Next turn, next turn. Pray for move for a perfect level up, yeah. Thracia Gaming. As mages, we know better than any well anyone else the destructive power of magic. That's why I value resistance above everything else. If I just get resistance, I'll be happy. Save you. It's even better than I could have dreamed. What's going on? How is it possible? How is it possible for all of our units to have so much resistance? How is it possible? Scientists are baffled. At least we got speed. We've never gotten magic speed. We- our most leveled stat has been resistance. I don't need resistance. Super pupil for the crit. I want magic, I want speed. I want magic, I want speed. What if I try an evil an incantation? I don't want magic. I don't want speed. I don't believe in your teaching, Saleh. Maybe teacher was wrong. Your magic shall not save you. How far above average on res are we? Have we gotten it every level? We might have missed one. What is Lion gonna do? Oh, it's Leon. We're level 8 already. We're plus three <laughs> rats. <laughs> of course. Alright, these guys can just chill here now. Yeah, we have Metis's Tome, so... It's actually... It skews the averages slightly, but not by much. Outstanding Resilience? I thought Resilience ruined World of Warcraft PvP. 
Okay, we do get a level here. You're more likely to get magic than res? Well... I'm not sure I believe you. I don't even think we can get to the pillar, because we have four moves. Horrible. Here's my prayer this time. Greatest pupil in Magvel. This is horrible. How far below are we in magic and speed? Minus one on magic. Story of my playthroughs. Minus on stats that matter. Plus on resistance. We only need one more level. Average speed. What's the payoff for this? Uh, meme clips, I guess. We only need one more level. At least we're doubling these guys. He's a slow learner. All right, I'm trusting you. I guess we can get the kill. Chip might have also worked. From the bottom of my heart, I want magic, I want speed. Almost. Almost. It's fine. It's speed next level. Your magic shall not save you. Nine res. Nine res. What is Leon gonna do? It's actually absurd. Lady Larachelle, you're ready to jump back into the fray? I am Dosla, thank you for holding on to my books. Go get him, my lady! You there, beast! Out of the way, please. Medicine's tome didn't help. We've still got 40 levels to benefit from it. Don't worry. Who do we give this boss kill to? Probably Tana, because Tana needs uh, two more levels. So I guess we'll do one more run with Yuen, because that'll also get us level 20 Tana. Being on this pillar doesn't actually help, but it means the enemy can't be on the pillar, and we'll just brood on this pillar. Ocelot support? No. This is a route map, right? Not kill boss? If it's kill boss, we'll just kill the boss, but... We are going to test whether or not he promotes on floor 2, so we'll just see if going to floor 2 lets him promote. You think we can send up to Tana the Talented? Everyone gets crits except our Swordmaster. What about my evade bonus from the pillar? Hello? Fucked? Rotten Claw. 
The rotten claw. We're fine. At least we got science. Can we even kill them? Slightly sure. We do with the killer last. There's no way that's worth it. Near. Okay, we just kill them. That's not good. I guess we'll get the chip damage. You and Chip, he's already level 10. I guess we have to kill this unit as well, so... We'll build supports! One damage. I'm surprised he even does one damage. Don't just stand there. You think you can stand up to Cormag the Cremator? Why didn't you do that against Valter? He wasn't feeling it on set that day, I guess. Oh, a hundred gold. Ton of the talented level. Ton of the talented? It's easy! Okay, look. Big Sis Tana showed you what to do, okay? Just just do that, okay? Just do that. Le we're leading by example. Alright. Well, congratulations then. To all of the interns who said that you would promote between tower levels, you were correct. So I will grant you all 10... EXP. What does that stand for? Exposure. Don't spend it all in one place. To the rest of you, I have some bad news. You probably already know what's happening. And it is, of course, deserved. I don't even have to errata the text, so... This is it for all of you. You've served well, but... We have high standards here. You have failed me, in turn. It is you who should suffer. Be content that your death is a quick one. I cast Dismember. Cause Zero of an intern deceived you this stream. Strip target interns of their channel membership. Let these ones gruesome fate serve as an example to the rest of you. Think before you speak, or else this might be you. A red stain upon the snows of Ice Crown. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> Magic used to seem so hard, but I, I think I've got it. I've turned a corner in my education. I'm a real mage, but I'm not going to stop studying. Not until I've become a great sage like my teacher. Mage or shaman? Wielders of magic who are stronger but slower than mages. This is just not true. Because this doesn't affect your growths at all. So no. I do believe he will be slower, but not because of the class. Very misleading. Ah, uh, No interview. He promoted in secret, okay? It's dark. I guess slower because the books are too big. Hey, really good promotion bonuses. Don't tell Sane. <laughs> We're out of here. Oh, not that. We're out of here. Retreat! Ruled by madness. Oh, I messed up. Uh, boost Boster's Tower, Boster's Tower, Boster's Tower, that's what it says. Now time to regrind his weapon rank. It's not like it matters, right? We're just gonna use Flux the entire time. I think 
we, we do have a flux, right? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? Hey, mister, you're holding Lady L La Rochelle's books, right? Can you take this too? No problem, lad! Leave it to old Dosla! Five gifted subs from Nick Bailey. Thank you, Nick Bailey, for the gracious gift of convenience. Nice five hit pin missile. Noel's got a flux tome, right? Thank you, Noel. I guess we'll take notes for out when we can use it. How are, how heavily are we weighed down? We have seven con. Flux weighs eight. Nosferatu weighs 14. After promotion, I don't think we're weighed down by Flux. But we're always going to be weighed down by Nosferatu. I think he works out at the library. Little lad! I don't think you're ever going to be looking like me. But I hear you lot like to work out in the library. This is a gift for you. Hey, thanks, Mr. Dazla. You're real nice. Constitution increased. Uncle Daz. <laughs> Let's get this Thunder Tome off of Labrachelle. Oh, hey, a Luna Tome. You and the Enhanced. Well, here we go. We don't get doubled by this guy, right? Now he's got a Steel Bow. Let's just make sure we don't die. Because I think he will... Yeah, okay, we don't get doubled. I think he will actually attack us. Which is great, because then we can just counter him, I think. Assuming he actually attacks us, he might not. Dazzle of the Dank. Maturity and Constitution. Now we're fine. We're just gonna brood in this corner. Ouch. That actually did a lot. Will he shoot? He will. 15 damage. 15 da- Oh, but we double this guy, right? I think. Because he's way down with a steel bow. Fluxed. Uh, excuse me, you won one rounds after just a bit of training in the tower? The haters were wrong. Yeah, we're gonna have to move Garcia out of the way for this one. Do we one round this guy? Okay, we don't, but. Man, this thing has a lot of HP. A flux tone. Flux tome. We'll get a level up uh, this turn because we'll dance here. You're you. He's feeling the power of the dark side. All right. Now that okay, he said he's a real mage. Big sis Tana showed him a proper level. Maturity increased, constitution increased, we're a real mage. We want magic, we want speed. We got res. Your magic shall not save you. Well, the final boss is a mage. What is Leon gonna do? This is ridiculous! It's not fair! Worked out at the library for this. These level ups are horrible. We have 3% crit though, that's not nothing.
don't think this is a level. Well, yeah, he is doing better than Vanessa, but that's not hard. It's, it's, it's not like we can't recover from here, but it's looking pretty bad. If we heal him, we can put him on a pillar, or we can give him a Vulnery, I guess. That way we don't get staff XP on... Well, that's fine. Look, we have to actually be careful here, because... You can get shot, right? What's this guy have? Iron Bow. Oh, I have a Vulnery. Let's actually do this so we can get the Dazla support. Just do this. The Metastome is... Is that a crit? It's just a really slow animation. The Metastome would be one stat overall per 20 levels. I mean, that is what it averages out to. So it's like you used a stat booster in every stat. On average. Uh, 34! 91 macro transaction from Prometheus. Far more generous than the Demon King. We need more the macro gold. Transaction. Jeez, I just need to thank you for this incredible gameplay. Never before have I been see have I seen so much resistance in one place. It's truly inspiring the burdens you bear for the sake of content. We might do a resistance reel. It's literally just every resistance level. It's every level. I th well, last time we just did the level up reel for Bartra. Obviously, we're doing one for Vanessa. We're probably also going to have one for our ridiculous resistance levels. Supported? No. Supported? No. Supported? No. Ouch. Okay, Dazla actually taking big damage. Do trainees get arc reels? Maybe. Oh, lab level reel for sure. Alright, well, here's a UN level. Does resistance gaming continue? We're a shaman now, right? Maybe the incantation for magic and speed is a dark spell. What if we say it evilly? I want magic, I want speed. Evil! And it even comes with a side of res! It was an evil spell! And we got money! Never before Your magic has so much resistance save. been seen in one place. We got all the important stats. What is Leon gonna do? You and the evil. I mean, we finally got a good level. We don't get one shot, right? So, yeah, we're fine. We might not we might not beat the game tomorrow. <laughs> the archer can attack Dazla. Dazla's not that close to dead, right? He's like 22 HP left, right? He's fine. Dazla's a big boy. He can take care of himself. He's okay. Good night, you're sleeping in a hammock, does that count as a bed? It's between, like, two trees, right? I heard trees are flammable. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete.
Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never promote to a four-star summoner. The hammocks must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Good night. Thanks for watching. Who's the VA for the intern? It's the, uh, it's the cameraman. <laughs> the cameraman, unfortunately, is a casualty of a lot of these videos. He was also the student who tried to stop us from taking the Levin sword. <laughs> we love the cameraman. The cameraman does so much work. We get a level here. We can kill this guy. Tell him he popped off? Yeah! He always does the heartfelt voices of the <laughs> interns getting killed. The cameraman, the real unpaid intern. I sometimes buy him meals. That's not the same as paying him, but it's not literally nothing. Alright, we learned that good level ups are actually a dark spell, so we have to be evil. We're not even gonna ask for it, we're gonna take it. Give me speed and magic. Or else. Well, they gave us the else. save you. Final boss is a mage. What is Leon gonna do? 14 res. Level 4. 14 res. It didn't sound evil enough? Okay. Res maxing. This is the most res levels you've ever seen. Have you seen our <laughs> our other level ups? Don't tell Kaga about this travesty. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. We're probably strong enough to go fight on the next map after this, so. Don't ask for good levels, demand them? Okay. Uh, we're not going to get a level up this turn. Talking about all our units. We get so much res. Assertive, not insertive. If we had two more magic, this guy would be dead. I don't know how below we are for magic and speed. I think a little bit for both. Ouch. Okay, Dazzler's kind of bleeding out here. <laughs> Sir Dazla, you look terribly worn down. Here, this is for you. Ah! A drink from Lady Larachelle herself. Don't mind if I do. Cheers, lass! I'm refreshed and ready to guard Lady Larachelle anew. We do get a level up here, right? We're gonna, uh, okay. We do get it this turn, after our dance. 
Okay. We have to become more evil. We have to demand it. I thought I demanded it last time. Hey, we actually won around this guy. We've got to demand it. We've got to demand it. Give me magic and speed, or else. What trickery is this? This is not scripted! It's not fair! Your magic At least we got resistance! Save. Does Malganus use magic? What is this? Splicing for perfect res levels? Believe me, I'm not. We're plus four res. Maturity increased. Only adults can resist magic. We don't die, right? Okay, it's close though. Hey, we won around this guy. Did my flux break? We just don't double him. Oh, we just don't double him. Amazing. Splicing for perfect res means he f spliced Vanessa's low speed, too. Okay, we can get a level up if we can kill this guy. Supported? Not supported. Okay, we do kill him exactly. We have our threat lined up. You dare betray the Lich King? Listen to me well. Give me magic and speed, and I'll make sure you. D oh, I didn't level up. Can we do 11 damage? Okay, forget that one. We're just getting chip XP. Give me magic and speed, and I'll make sure you die quickly. What trickery is this? It's fine, okay? It's fine. speed next level. This is so bad. Level 6 Shaman. 11 magic, 9 speed, 15 resistance! 15 resistance! 20 dollar and 1 cent. Macro transaction from Prometheus. We need more gold! We need gold. We need a bit more than gold, but thank you for the macro transaction. This is why I became the number one funder of the YTC Institute. <laughs> Who do you think gave Bartra and Vanessa their speed levels and gave you res levels? It was me, cheese. <laughs> you corrupted my save files to give me res. <laughs> How could you? Did you not see the graphic? I trust you. I trusted you, and you did this to me! You made the game too easy! What is Leon gonna do? He can't even touch us! Fifteen res. Oh, we have two vulnerary charges, right? Let's make sure we don't die by doing this. Tell Kaga. Refreshed.
Supported? Not supported. We can do the Lab Rochelle support. Does Cormag support Tana or am I going crazy? He does support Tana, right? At least we have five move. He has two defense. He's on a pillar. He's invincible. Fifteen damage. That's so much. Dodge? Don't just stand there. At least we double this zombie. Okay. I, what's our staff rank? We can afford to heal him once. We can get the A support with Ephraim. I think we will do that uh, probably before we end the map. I don't think this is a level. Next turn. Dark magic! Supported? No. But we'll need them both near the front, because Tana has to kill the boss anyway. Okay, that's good. I'm starting to think Cheese modified his growth rates to keep this bit going. Believe me, pal, I did not. I guess you have no way of knowing that, but no, I didn't. Oh, actually, it's Elder Magic. Let's just not be in range. Do we one-round this guy? That's a lot of damage. What if we die? Don't just stand there! If the other zombie hits us and does 15, we die. That's It's possible. Although we get a level up here. So if we get a good level up, it means we die. If we get a bad level up, it means... Oh, we don't get a level up at all, okay. Okay, we don't die. Don't just stand there! <laughs> Sigma stance you in! What are you doing? He didn't dodge a single thing! We got bad RNG on dodging, which means we get good RNG on the level. That's how it works. It's pseudo RNG, just like Dota 2. So here's our magic and our speed. Well, we got speed. This is a disaster. This is a disaster! What happened to our res level? Can they reach one below? They can. Hey, defense is actually useful. Is Tana level 20? She's going to be at the end of this. She's gonna kill the boss. Have we ever gotten a single magic and speed level? We got one, right? We did get one. I think we're gonna get one more level? Because we can chip the boss. Okay, we actually dodged. We also don't kill this guy. I think our Flux Tome is gonna break. Ten from that. Fun fact, Boster's Tower actually alters unit growth rates to favor res the different than everything else. It's done so as to reference Flareon's terrible stats. Oh, my mistake. Shouldn't have gone to Boster's Tower. We should add one more magic, then we'd one round this guy. Okay, if we kill both of these guys, we just get an exact level up, I guess. Buraki's tower? Oh no. Fluxed? Fluxed. 
20 XP? Oh, more than that. Alright, last Yuan level up before we have to go into a real chapter with this guy. We can start with a heartwarming support, right? Silent support. Not for show. You don't have to be so defensive. <laughs> Why don't you come talk to me? She has more defense than Ephraim, by the way. That depends. You're not going to try to attack me again, are you? You won't go ripping the armor from your... Well-toned body, will you? Labrachelle, that was all just a simple misunderstanding. But I apologize if I offended your sensibilities in removing my armor. Well, I suppose I can forgive you for this one indiscretion. I wasn't prepared. I've never seen a man's naked body before. Naked? I was only showing you the scar on my shoulder, like you asked. A naked shoulder is a big deal! I was so shocked. Why, I could hardly sleep at all that night. What's wrong? Not Rochelle, you seem different somehow. N no Everything is fine. Please, don't look at me in such a vulgar, leering way! It'll lower my defense. I find it very inappropriate. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had no idea. I, I certainly would never. What? Are you saying that you do not find me attractive? No, I... What do you want me to say? How can you be so calm at a time like this? Don't you see what you've done? Ah! I'm so frustrated. Don't you ever forget this, Ephraim. I hope that someday some girl comes along and gets you all rattled too. Just do not get her. She's rather cute, though. Stay support. <laughs> Friendship forged. Hey, light affinity, light fire affinity, really good. Didn't really feel like an ace support. All right, Ewan. We're all rooting for you. For the sake of everyone at the lab. We would like to see magic. We would like to see speed. And res if you're feeling up to it. Go at your own pace, child. All right, Lady Lavrishel. I'll give it my best. Oh, did I do it, Lady Labrachelle? Well done, child! Well done! I've, I've increased your experience ration for the week. Keep it up. There'll be more in the future. It's easy. I'm a monster! And we get the victory music. Hooray, we did it. Medicine's Tome. Speed, this is bad. How's this? We get this one? We don't get that one either. Where's the supports? We can have you and Chip, and then Tana can get the kill. You and speed growth is pretty bad too, but we use the Metis's tome. We increase his maturity. So he should have like a hundred speed growth. How's Ewan doing? Are you just tuning in? How much did you see? Blocks broke. Perfect, we'll just buy a new one. Checking back in. How do you think Ewan is doing? If you guessed below average in everything except insanely blessed in the best stat of all, resistance. Then you're right. Your magic shall not.
not save you. What's the Demon King gonna do? 15 res. Are we leaving without the Tana support? This takes forever. I guess we can get the Tana support. Let's just move everyone together. We can also get the Tethys support. I think we need it. Tethys is a fire affinity. Turning the auto cursor off. Lab sponsored bonding, mandatory group bonding exercises. She's gonna oversee it from the pedestal. Alright everyone, I want you all to be the best of friends. I'm not asking. I'm sure you're all loving this. Gameplay. Everyone can have their animations back on? That's correct. We should do that. Thank you for reminding me. Except Tethys, I guess. Are we friends? We are friends, okay. Hey Tethys, check out my magic! You and how many times am I going to have to say it? This isn't a field trip. Please promise you'll behave. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. But since I'm here, I'd like to be of use. Otherwise, I'm just in the way. You gotta let me do something. I have a point, but you're still too young. Too young? I'm not a child anymore. Maturity increased. I can look after myself. What are you talking about? You're not a full-fledged mage, are you? Well, no. Not yet. But someday, I'm going to be one of the best mages ever. These soldiers recognize my talent. That's why I'm here on the battlefield. Just watch me. You wouldn't say that I'm too young or inexperienced if you saw me. Wait, you and wait up. Oh, he's gone. Only a child would say something like, just watch me. Just watch, I'm gonna be the most resistant mage in the world. Oh. Friendship forged. The Kanji and Riveting game play something like the mechanical process of installing rivets? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's literally riveting. No. Friends? Not friends! We'll go five turns. Friends? Friends? Friends! You must be Dazla. That's right! Who are you? My name's Garcia, Sir Dazla. I've been hearing a lot about you lately. Only good things, I hope! <laughs> I've heard of you too, Sir Garcia. Mostly about your incredible strength. Hey, would you mind lifting this boulder? Just kidding. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Are you normally this energetic? Well, I stuffed myself, so I'm feeling pretty great. You can't fight on an empty stomach. Eating is very important to keep up your strength, especially breakfast. I've heard that in some cultures they call breakfast first break. What's that? What do they break? A fast. A fast? What? Huh? Speak plainly! I don't understand all this talking in circles! We don't eat anything while we sleep, so it's as if we're fasting. So the meal you eat in the morning breaks that fast. That means that breakfast is an especially important meal. Huh? Who would have thunk it? The only thing I consumed this morning was knowledge! <laughs> what do you mean? Just that I make it a point to learn other disciplines. You have to if you want to grow as a fighter. 
I completely agree. Young men in this army are strong in their specific fields, but weak in others. The art of complete training has been lost on the younger generation, I'm afraid. They just spend all their time on their phones. Yes, that's right! Back in our day, fighters had to learn many disciplines. In case they had to fill in for a wounded teammate. I've always wanted to learn archery. The delicate precision is the opposite of fighting with an axe. Me too. Hey, why don't we some why don't we meet sometime and study it together? That's a great idea. <laughs> they have a really funny support arc. It's going to be great. Please look forward to it. Friendship forged. In this day and age, the only discipline anyone seems to learn is resistance. Are we friends? We're friends! Okay, we should be- have Cormag initiate so that we can, uh... We can actually kill the boss. Hello, Sir Cormag! Princess Tana! That still sounds so odd to me. You know, I had no idea you were a princess at first. But please, just call me Cormag. There's no need for honorifics with me. Cormag it is, then! I had a favor to ask you. What would you have me do, princess? I'm prone to attacks from archers when I'm on the battlefield. Now that makes two of us. It's a common problem for airborne soldiers. I thought perhaps we could keep watch for archers and warn one another. Hmm. Yes, you've got a good idea there. A buddy system of sorts. But if you saw an ally in danger, you'd warn him regardless, wouldn't you? Well, of course, but we're so high up that I was worried. If I saw an archer, I didn't think my voice would carry to you in time. Perhaps the neighing of a pegasus or the cries of a wyvern could carry far enough to warn the others. Oh, I see. Yes, we might not be able to hear each other in the heat of battle, but our steeds can be louder than either of us could. And trust me, my wyvern shriek could pierce your ear from two leagues away. A brilliant idea, your highness. Really? Thank you. Right. So if we see anything out there, we'll have our mounts call out, right? Yes, and thank you, Cormag. Here it is. Friendship Forge. Wouldn't it be so strange if they had that conversation, but they weren't actually flying units? That'd be really weird, right? Good thing they can't reclass. Tana the Talented? Holy Blood Princess of Frelia gets strength and speed. Good thing we have Holy Blood. So do Dark Shamans just bear the curse of resistance? They just suck the bad levels from everyone else. Tana the Talented. Do we have average units? It just seems like we have really good units and we have horrific units. At least Tana got a good level. What about Vanessa? Vanessa of the bench, okay? Vanessa of the bench. I'm gonna send in... Kaiba has it, right? Kaiba? Where's Kaiba? Is loot above average? We gave her some stat boosters, though. I'll take a Thunder Tome for half price. Uh, that's 700... I'll take it for half price. Yes, sir. I'll take a Divine Tome for half price. Um, it, it's actually... 2005? I'll take it for half price. Yes, sir. I'll take a Luna Tome for half price. Uh, it, it's actually worth... I'll take it for half price. Yes, sir. Uh, we should get room for treasure.
flavor fail, Kaiba would take it for free. No. Okay, let's see if we can, if we can like sell some things. Why does Gilliam have the Reggie Leaf? He's holding it for Ephraim. Well, we can get rid of an Elysian Whip. We're gonna use that. Chest keys, door keys, vulneraries. We don't need these vulneraries, right? The vulneraries. I could sell this antitoxin. <laughs> Is there a secret shop on the next map? In Renee Castle? I'm actually not sure. Hybacore assets. No? Okay. I don't think we need more hand axes. I guess we can give the Luna Tome to you. Luna, Luna's really bad in this game, unfortunately. Next is Ralston Castle. Okay, so that's not going to be today. I think what we're, we're going to try to do today is we're going to get Shadow Spec Molder. That's probably the most we can do. Let's get this Fire Tome so we can break it. What a gentleman holding the Thunder Tome. Let's get Ephraim's items back from Gilliam. Okay, I think we, we actually are gonna give the Body Ring. by Gary Paulson. I think we actually are going to give the body ring to Amelia. So I think it doesn't actually change any breakpoints and we no longer lose speed to hand axe. Who had it? It was... Gilliam? Where's Gilliam? Where's Gilliam? Where is... Where's... Hey, Amelia, a gift from your big bro. I know it's a ring, but it doesn't mean anything, okay? It's not like I like you, Baka. <laughs> Thanks, big brother. Raise his constitution. The body ring, perfect. Break yourselves upon my body. Break yourself upon my body. This looks okay. I guess we don't need the Dragon Spear anymore. Let's manage our items, so... We don't need the Dragon Spear. We'll just take an Iron Lance, I guess. Maybe we actually want a javelin. Nah, short spear's fine. Ephraim's fine. How many javelins do we have? I'll take that one. Tana needs an Elysian Whip. She has a javelin. Steel Lance, Killer Lance. She could really use Axe Reaver. I don't think Cormag does. He can just fight them. Erica, Iron Sword, Lance Reaver. She no longer has the convoy, so we actually have to equip her. Give her. She's the only one who can use the Rapier, so she'll need that one. Lance Reaver and Silver Sword. She is the princess. Ewan needs the Flux Tomes. Well, I guess I. Only managed to buy one flux. This guy's now benched. Where is where's Molder? Where's Molder? Where's Molder? Where's Molder? Take this! 
Lightning Shine, Divine. That seems good. Oh, hey, Franz. <laughs> All right, Franz. Iron Lance, Javelin, Steel Sword, Steel Sword. Probably fine. Nobody can actually use Ed Hulma, right? Not yet, anyway. Well, Joshua's benched. Derek needs more hand axes. Perfect. Ross needs more hand axes. Perfect. Emily's inventory looks okay. I think we want more hand axes. Oh, we have Garm! <laughs> Who do we give Garm to? Ross, right? Been busy this week with a wedding, haven't come from the bots, have... How have Labrador Growth been after promoting? Pretty good. Pretty good. Hatchet by Gary Paulson, safe and sound. Give me that Garm. Give me that Garm. Garm! We have five Hamurn charges. I think Amelia already has S Lances, right? Yeah, S Lances. Otherwise, uh. Otherwise, it'd be useful. Okay, this. Iron Lance. We need, like, one good weapon, right? So we can sell the... Well, we don't need the two-use javelin. We'll take... A fresh javelin. And then... Do we have a silver lance? I guess we can kill them. I think that's it. I think we're okay. We'll change... We'll change it up based on what happens in the chapter. Oh, Silver Axe. Ross has a Killer Axe, right? He'd probably rather use that than Silver. Silver Axe... Derek? Like, just in case he needs it? I think we can afford to sell this Iron Axe. Garrick with the Silver Axe. We're gonna run out of Hand Axe charges. Okay. It's a lot of prep. I think we're ready to go, right? Garrick versus Grotto 3, return to Rene. The capital of Rene. I wonder who's in charge. After the twins' absence, seeing their home ruined by war brings them terrible grief. Orson, a former knight of Rene, had been assigned to guard Castle Rene. However, he switched allegiances, betraying his oaths of loyalty to his homeland. Ephraim marks his homecoming by vowing to see Rene healed. Ruled by madness. Don't forget to field forward to recruit Orson. Oh, good idea. Brother. What's happened to our home? What's happened to Castle Rene? How did it come to be so ruined? So desolate? Spies reported that the castle is being held by the traitor Orson. Orson. In retrospect, I realize he's been acting odd for a while now. He seemed so... dispirited. His wife passed away some six months back. The loss may have been too much for his mind to bear. His love and devotion for his wife were well known among the knights. Table silence. Now he sits alone in the king's former bedchambers. Alone, right? Right? He makes no effort to govern. No one is allowed to enter the chambers and he takes no meals. 
What could he possibly be doing? I do not know. The spies had no insight into his behavior. It has nothing to deal with the dark creatures and bandits roaming the land. Reports say all of Rene is engulfed in chaos. Region after region is revolting, and Orson's reign is already crumbling. Left alone, it may very well collapse under the weight of its own neglect. We cannot allow the situation to reach that point. We're going home, Erica. We're going to the castle. I hear you, Ephraim! Um, Ephraim? What is it, Mur? I... I'll, I'll fight for you. Now that Selina has returned my Dragonstone to me, I'll do what I can until its power runs out. Let's take back your home. Are you sure about this? For the two of you, I simply want to help. All right, I understand. But you must make me a promise. You are never to stray from our sides. Got that? Of course. He takes no meals. Huh? Who do you think you are? These are the chambers of Orson, steward of Rene. There's no place here for a street urchin like you, boy. You... You fool! This is Prince... It's spelled with a Y. Leon? That's Leon. That's Prince Leon! What? This whelp is... I, I, I beg your forgiveness. Uh-oh. It's alright. I'm not the sort of person... Others hold in esteem. Oh, what a nice guy! Who in the world is that? What a creepy looking man. Shh. He can hear you. I want to talk about creepy. That Orson's the one who chills my hide. What do you think he's doing back there? Heard lots of bizarre rumors from the master of the mess hall. Think he needs help? Can he be dangerous? I don't care. I'm here for the money. As long as I get paid, I'm happy. But on the subject of rumors, have you heard the stories of the secret treasure? There's supposed to be some fabulous wealth hidden in Castle Rene. I tell you, if I find it, I'm gone. What is it, Monica? You seem so happy today. Of course I know what today is. I'd never forget your birthday. I have a present for you, dear. I think you'll like it. Orson. Sinister silence. You still recognize me, Orson? Or are you entirely lost to this world? Yes, it's me, Prince Leon. I'm the one to whom you are indebted for resurrecting your beloved wife. Get out. This is Monica and my place. I will not have our home disturbed by anyone. I did as you asked. I betrayed Rene. My promise has been kept. Yes, and I'm very grateful to you. I came by today to offer you a piece of advice. Nothing more. Ephraim is coming, Orson. He's on his way here to steal the happiness you two share. Prince Ephraim? That's right, Orson. And he's angry. I don't think he'll forgive you for betraying Rene. You've done so much to free your wife from the grave. It's a shame she'll die with you. No. That can't happen. That's all I have to say to you. What you do now is up to you. Monica, I'm sorry. I have something I must do. Please, wait for me here. Oh, darling, don't look so sad. I'll be back soon. And then I'll never leave. I must do this to protect our happiness. You understand that, don't you? All right, then. I'll be back. He just loves his wife, guys. Use this on a worthy master of a winged mound. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. 
So here's the question. Do we actually go Falco Knight or do we go Wyvern Knight? That ain't Falco. All right, Princess Tana, is it, of Frelia. Now I have orders from on high to pass this interview, uh, but it is a formality, please bear with us. Please tell us in your own words why you deserve the rank of either Falco Knight or Wyvern Knight. Hands off my prey. <laughs> Wyvernite has more strength than defense. I have actual speed growths, unlike that green-haired clown Vanessa. 777 donation from Prometheus. I think Falconite is cooler, personally. What have swords ever done for anyone besides make them two-star? I need the con my res is good and the speed makes me a wyvern. Wyvernite isn't weighed down by everything. Does the Pegasus actually turn into a wyvern? I don't know if Vanessa the Falco. If we take Amelia and Cormag, I want to be thicker. Personally, I prefer the air. Hmm. Hmm. Well, so Wyvern Knight actually has worse stat promotion bonuses, but you get a skill, Pierce, which is a level percentage chance to ignore the enemy's defense. Uh, you don't get swords, and you get a con boost, which makes you worse at rescuing. I thought the whole point of flying units was to rescue, right? And you can get swords, and you can triangle attack, and they paid me $9. Congratulations, Tana. That is Falco. The guy who said Falco and I was better was right. And look, you get plus two strength. Six cons enough. Thank you to Prometheus and <laughs> Silver for the microtransactions. Hey, now we can triangle. I think you can actually still triangle attack as a Wyvern Knight, by the way. So I don't think that actually matters. I'm going to be honest. I did this because I like the Falco Knight animations. Six con ain't enough for javelins. Don't worry. Do we have another body ring? We don't even need the Axe Reaver. We don't even need the Axe Reaver. Look, we can use an Iron Sword. What, what, what else do we need? <laughs> we get another one? Okay, we're definitely giving her the Body Ring. List, maybe. I'll take that one. We don't lose any speed from swords. If you're playing seriously, you should definitely go Wyvern Knight. It's way better. But the Falcon Knight animations are really cool. I do like them. Okay, so who are we deploying? I mean, this seems good to me. Wait, what? Get out of here. You're benched. This show is called Garrick vs. Grotto, okay? We need the star on set. Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Return to Renee. Oh, Ross and Amelia. What, what are these deployments? Okay, so we gotta pick and choose. Why are you deployed? Why are you deployed? Why are you deployed? Ross and Amelia are back, and Mulder the Boulder. There's a bunch of chests, right? Let's check the map. There actually might be... Okay, there's three chests. So three chest keys would be enough. Four chest keys. We need four chest keys. But are there any stealables? Cap speed. There's a berserk staff. So Berserk Staff is over there, but the range is not that bad. Just gotta have to keep in mind that we need to prepare there. The one Berserk Staff. Any stealables, that's what we're looking for. This guy. 
Hero Crest, but that drops. Door key. So we don't actually need a rogue. We just need... We just need four chest keys. Four chest keys and we need restores. Can we bench Erica? RIP Red Gem from a Great Knight reinforcement. RIP. We only need three. Okay. I clicked because of the thumbnail. Looks like you're heading into endgame now. Yes. We don't have Shadow Spec Molder yet, but we will be getting that today, I think. Pick units. We can bench Erica. Sounds like a plan. Benched. Oh, who's this? Please check to make sure. I think we have four chest keys in our convoy. Let's just make sure. We have a lot of room in our convoy. We have one, two, three. We need one more. If there's no chest key drop. There is one chest key drop, yes? Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. Where's the chest key? Where's the chest key? Where's the chest key? We're looking for the chest. Where's the chest key? Where's the chest key? Oh, there is one. Okay, great. We can just ignore this upper area, right? Let's just send everyone south. And we'll just work through the castle. Oh, there's a thief spawn? Is the thief spawn up north? Okay, if there's a thief spawn, then... We should deal with them. So we need a bers we need a way to deal with Berserk Staff, but that's it. So maybe both our Flyers and... Staircase by the Mercs and Warrior. Oh, so if we go this way, we'll, we'll reach it anyway. So let's just ignore it. Like, we'll push through. We don't need that. It's no problem. I have a link in chat. Uh, to what? Flyers in the back is fine, because they can just catch up. Can't move Ephraim. Great. Yeah, Mer. We can get the Knoll levels. That's probably fine. We'll just move everyone. Uh, let's make sure we have the restores. I think we do. At least reinforcements and dropple things. I just thought the information may be useful. True! Thank you! I watched two ads for you despite being membership. Enjoy the 5 yen. Unfortunately, membership doesn't do anything about ads. Sorry. Thanks for watching the two ads. Oh, we have a warp staff! <laughs> Warp Garrick onto the pillar for Garrick versus Grotto Part 3. I'm feeling it, right? Garrick versus Grotto 3. And he can deal with the thief. <laughs> Garrick versus Grotto 3. With Mulder. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We only have five uses of the Warp Staff, though. If we're going to do that, well, we need the warp staff. It's just, we don't need lightning. Warp staff. And we need restore. And both of us need to have restore. In case one of us gets berserked. You know, it's probably not going to happen, but just in case. Where is the other restore? Gimme! And let's actually give him a fresh hand axe. Warrior armor 
Discovery. We'll probably do 9 after this. I'm not saying directly after, but I think we're just gonna go in order. Where's my hand axes? Dusel has one, right? Thank you, General Dusel. That's not what I meant to do. Now we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go. Ruled by madness. New music. The soundtrack to Garrick vs. Grotto 3 returned to Rene. There's a... There's a mysterious little girl next... There's a unit I don't recognize. Who's this? It's Murr! Where's Frankincense? <laughs> Many people don't know. Frankincense is actually the name of the doctor, not the monster. Murr, a late game unit that joins with horrible bases, three strength, one skill, five speed. Oh, I think we can do this. Let's actually do this. Yeah. Murr. A late game unit that joins with horrible stats looking a lot looking a lot like you in here do you think this is acceptable usually we call units that have terrible bases but good growths, and she does have good growths. An est, right? So I guess Murr is an est. Just kidding! Oh, don't be deceived. She looks like a little girl, but she's actually a 10,000 year old dragon. Murr is a manikeet, although you're not supposed to say that word in these parts. And as long as she has her Dragonstone equipped, which she always will, she actually has these stats. So she actually has... So she's actually a late game unit that has really good stats, which I guess makes her a Goto? But really, she's neither an Est nor a Goto. We pride ourselves on accuracy here. So I would say that Murr is actually a member of the Murr archetype. A Murr is a manikeet named Murr that joins you on chapter 16 of Sacred Stones. She comes with horrible bases but really good growths, and also gets a massive boost from her Dragonstone. I'd say that Murr is actually the definitive member of the Murr archetype. If I had to actually describe Murr in one sentence, I would say that she is a living S-rank weapon. Her weapon, the Dragonstone. Her weapon, the Dragonstone, gives her all of her crazy stats. As long as she has it equipped, she's actually not very frail at all. Especially against magicians, right? Sorcerers quaking. 27 resistance at base. And her Dragonstone is effective versus monsters. So if the enemy is a monster, they're dead. <laughs> They might actually already be dead because they're a zombie, but they're dead again. Able to one-shot almost any enemy... Able to one-shot pretty much any monster in the game at base. 
able to one-shot humans with a bit of training. Is it worth training her? Like, these base stats are so, so bad. She would have to have really good growths to make it worth it. And the trainees, our growth units, have horrible growths. So how are Murr's growths? They're loading. I guess it's not a fake out good move, by the way, this time. Well, they're really good! I must have flinched, they faked me out! Oh no. Well, they're really good! Uh, even though it was not a fake out, I flinched! 130 HP, that means that she's guaranteed to get plus one, and there's a 30% chance she actually gets plus two HP. 90 strength, 85% skill, 65% speed, 30% luck, 150 defense! Gilliam, take notes! 30% res. With growths, like... She doesn't literally have 100% growths, but... This might actually be better. Super, super fun to roll the dice because you always win when you use Murr. Why does she have so many skins? Ah, oh, I know why. Really bad support list. And you actually probably don't want Murr taking up one of your support slots. Because the big weakness of Murr is that, although she is a living S-rank weapon, unlike the other S-rank weapons, you actually can't repair her Dragonstone. So her 50 attacks are all that she's going to get. Killing 50 units is a pretty good contribution. Most... Killing, fri killing 50 units is a pretty good contribution. The Halloween skin is cool. I disagree. What was I thinking of? Just trying to get rid of this window. There we go. There's only one Dragonstone in the main game, so these 50 attacks are all you're going to get. She has only 6 movement, but she does fly, which is both good and bad. She can't bypass terrain, but she is vulnerable to arrows. If you utilize unsavory tactics, you can actually harness the power of the Demon King himself and equip her with monster weapons, which have infinite durability, but there's no way to do that legitimately, so I don't think we're counting that. She's kind of useless in the post-game, but the post-game is really lonely anyway, I don't really like it, and we're not counting that, so no penalty for that. Very fun unit, and kind of viable. 
One thing that really hurts her is that you would think that this superstar unit would be really good at killing bosses, which she kind of is, usually. There is a sad story battle later where you'd think that her monstrous defenses and monster effectiveness would be really useful, but that boss ignores defense, so that's really unfortunate. Wish she had more movement. Wish she came earlier. Wish she didn't have to be so careful. Wish she had more movement. Wish she came earlier. Wish that you didn't have to be so selective with her attacks. But if you don't obsess over hoarding, which is a pitfall, you can get a lot of use out of her. Three stars? I like Mer. Low mid three? I was considering four, but nah, I'm thinking mid to high three. I like her. We have to restart this chapter, by the way, because we spent we spent turns to show off the Dragonstone. I think we saved all our preps. Please say we saved all our preps. We did, right? Yes, we did. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. So we can just start. Bonus pros and cons for Mur. I think this is true. I believe that enemies don't actually see her bonuses. That actually might not be true. Do enemies see your bonuses? They actually do, right? Bonus pro. Oh, it is true. Bonus tips and tricks for Murr. Enemies don't actually know that she's a dragon. They think she's a little girl. So they see horrible stats. They go in for the kill. And then she... What do they say in... What do they say in that show? Jake Long American Dragon? It's not... It's not going ghosts. Dra dragon up? That's it, right? Dragon up, okay, yeah. Bonus fun facts. Bonus tips and tricks for Murr. Enemies don't actually see her crazy Dragonstone bonuses. So they think she's a little girl. They see horrible stats. They go in for the kill. And then she recites a line from her favorite show, American Dragon Jake Long. Shouts Dragon up and destroys them. <laughs> so she's very easy to bait enemies with. And you've probably noticed she's got that thick 27 resistance. And that means that enemy status stabs will just fizzle all the time. And status stabs actually target depending on deploy order, so deploy Mur last, and then she'll never become Mur the Mad. Enemies will just keep wasting Berserk on her. She's so serene. Maybe she should hold the Chaos Medallion. That might be next game. Okay, I think that's everything for Murr. There we go. We've covered everything. Hey, let's play this map. Alright, Special Agent Garrick. Oh, deployment order is FE6 only? Okay. You've probably also noticed that Murr has that thick 27 resistance. And that means that status stabs have no hope of hitting this girl. So, she'll never become Mur the Mad. You just put her in range of a status staff, and then they'll just spam it on her, and then she'll be totally fine. 
She can't go berserk. Maybe she should hold Laren's medallion. Oh, that might be next game. There we go. It's lowest res. The staff targeting order is based on lowest res. Enemies only see seven res. And of course, our entire... Staff targeting... Staff targeting is based on lowest res? And enemies only see seven res. In our army, the most resistant of all time, seven res is definitely the lowest. <laughs> there we go. Alright, thanks for tuning into the world premiere of Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Return to Rene. Agent Garrick, we've got a mission for you. We need you behind enemy line. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll begin the infiltration later. We definitely get doubled by this guy, right? He has 20 speed. Yeah, we do. Do we one-shot this guy? We actually might. Can we weaken this guy? Amelia doubles him. <laughs> Seven move. Oh, Lab Rochelle can do it, yeah. But we don't want to give her staff XP. Is this a choke point? It is. Okay, we hope that Amelia doesn't kill them, but she probably will. Ah, you have to fly over that, okay. Okay, we'll... We'll do this. Infiltration begins next. Next turn. We're hiding in the forest, preparing for the operation. We can actually just do it now. Right? Okay. Agent Garrick. I'm in position. Agent Garrick reporting in. I'm in position in the forest outside the fortress. Roger, Agent Garrick. Mulder the Magician moving in. We've only got one shot at this. It's up to you. I am a man of the cloth, and so I can say, officially, Godspeed. Warped! <laughs> Blessed with magic and speed. Blessed with magic. It's fine. Well, we gave him the speed, right? So we don't get the speed. We'll get it next level. I think everyone just goes down this way. At least those horrible Erica maps are done, right? Yep. Can this guy... Can they attack Mur? Oh, one of them can. Well, Mur's gonna be fine. Will we get to Darkling Woods tonight? No way. No way. Probably just Shadow Spec Molder. Great Lord. Oh, we forgot to turn on animations! <laughs> and we got a crit first try! Hey, there's Overworld Mur. You're slow on your feet, kid. From the dark. Uh, new music, yeah. They didn't even attack him! <laughs> they didn't even attack him! Cut! <laughs> Guys, the, the extras didn't do their job. You're supposed to attack the hero, and then he beats you. God. We 
They're afraid? Is this Starship Troopers? He's afraid. He's afraid! <laughs> is it possible to get no stat improvements on level? It is possible, but it's very difficult. I don't even think they can damage him, so I don't even think they attack us. Okay, can we dance? We can. Not Nosferatu. Gotta get these level ups. Raid unit. How much damage does Murd do? Hey, we fly! 26, but we get doubled! We definitely kill, right? Oh, yeah, exact kill. Hand axe kills with leeway. Javelin? Thank you, Amelia. Good thing we have weapon triangle disadvantage. Entering the castle is supposed to make the move. It's time for sure, right? I'm hiding in the forest. These things have got to be pretty high level, right? I'm sure we get a lot of XP. Hello? <laughs> you and the useless. I don't want to use a Dragonstone charge on this, but... It's going to be really fun. We have 17 crit. Burned! Here's the Mer level. So she levels up very quickly, as you can see. That was terrible, what? We didn't even get resistance! We'll get speed next level. Hey, we got plus two defense, though. That was good. It's not that bad. She'll get good levels. attack from one range. I don't care. This guy's not gonna hit us. Goodbye! I'm a monster! Oh, keep that dragon stone away from me. I'm a monster. Nyeom. I don't. We can't rescue Ross, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, Garrick versus Grotto 3. Oh, they hit us! Garrick versus Grotto 3, return to Renee. Our hero versus the forces of evil. People say this movie is boring. They already know what's gonna happen. Break yourselves upon my body. Our hero, that shield's not just for show. This guy did one damage to us! <laughs> Getting the chip XP. Why did I equip a hand axe? This guy could deal no- oh. Garrick versus Grotto. Eat. Garrick versus Grotto! My hand axe though! <laughs> The sound the soundtrack was really inappropriate. It played sad music even when good things happened. Enemies. Funding four. 
Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee, provided by Dragon Warrior Freak. Thank you for the. We need more gold! Hey, Achieves, I hear that undead are becoming a bigger problem. I'm sure Labrachel's work with Molder will make Ewan's magic work better against them. Anyway, here's a shipment of grain. Oh, thank you! It's the catering we ordered! It's perfect. Now everyone on set will be well fed. That's great news. Listen, Garrick. There's something about the grain that you should know. Yeah, so generous getting catering for the production. Garrick versus Grotto. Garrick versus Grotto! Putting on a show for the people! Killed! <laughs> Garrick versus Grotto 3! The ratings are rising! Hero Crests! We don't need that! The viewers are complaining. They feel ill. Feeling sick? Okay, well, we can get a kill here, right? We have so many good units here. The Swift Souls! It fixes her only weakness! Only weakness fixed. Her only weakness! <laughs> Strength and speed? We are really- is that speed cap? Green number! Green number! We did it! <laughs> It's because of the Swift Souls, right? You're too slow! Capped speed, level 7 promoted. Ewan can't get XP because he's rescued. Mer level? this guy even attack? Divine. It's a Valkyrie, what? Well, this is a little scary. We might have to wall off here. We double this guy, right? We don't double this guy. That's a good dodge raid. Reggie leaf this guy? But my XP! I can't believe our lord is an XP thief. Reggie leafed. Now we have the ace support. It's a lot better. Well, I didn't know that these reinforcements were coming, otherwise I probably wouldn't have, uh... Shine, that's a good hit rate. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have uh, rescued all these guys. These rangers even have bows? Some of them don't. They just have steel sword. What in the world? I guess we'll just wall off? Welcome to the Tower of Alni. They don't even have bows. Great rangers. Walled. Can we reach? I wish we had the swift souls. That would be nice. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, these are map triggered guys, probably because of Garrick versus Grotto. <laughs> hey, 21 speed. Hey, you, it's the Yuan Training Gallery. Garrick vs. Grotto continues. Look at that hit rate. <laughs> this movie's boring. We already know who wins. Break yourselves upon my body.
Where's the tension? Killed. <laughs> Okay, the issue is that he's going to steal all the XP. He's a better swordmaster than that fraud. The pretender to the throne. Oh, they're all coming for him. Okay. We have 19 crit. It must be from our supports. Wow. Hey, it could be a kill for you, and assuming he hits. It's a power fantasy movie, I guess so. What's this guy doing? Look at these Falconite animations. We're promoted. We can get both kills with Ewan. Finished watching the Mur review? Welcome back. Okay, Garrick versus Grotto. Our hero holding out against the entire nation of Grotto. Why Falcon I Tana? Because of the Sprite Schooler, and they paid me nine dollars. Eclipse, Eclipse Tome, watch out! We can attack, right? New. Garrick versus Grotto walk so John Wick could run. This is the running. All right, two levels coming up. That is so bad. It's better than a coin flip. That is so bad. It fixes her only weakness. Mm. Go up to there. We can use our fire tome. Lab level? Our research has granted us magic and speed. <laughs> oh, only magic and res, oh no. Save you. What's the Demon King gonna do? Okay, you and you got him this time. This is with support. So we do get five more hit from attacking here. Okay, Ewan, you got this. Remember your training. God damn it. Faster these guys. It's the attack range. That staircase. Molder the Boulder can take this one. There we go. Mer level? What if they deal 12 damage to us? We don't even die. Hey, this looks like a good unit. She could get a perfect level, it's possible. Pretty good, where's my res? I guess we'll just rescue Tethys forward? We're not actually moving forward with our other units, so we can just do that. We did it, we moved her slightly forward. Meanwhile, Garrick versus Grotto, we're cornered. I'm not actually scared. I'm mostly scared of stealing the XP. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, our resistance training is paying off. We finally hit them. Uh oh, this guy's scared. Oh, 29 damage on the Luna. What about the Lulgers behind us? They could pincer us. And they, they are halberdiers, right? They're going to double us. That's a lot of damage. They missed. Purged! Good thing we had all that resistance. <laughs> uh oh. He's woke. He's woke. I can't believe it. My favorite franchise, Garrick vs. Grotto, has gone woke. Hollywood have to ruin everything. It's 1RN, so that was more likely that- or it's actually as exactly as likely as it looked. No sleeping on set. He, he had the eye mask, he didn't even use it. Nobody works harder than the main star. Until Kaga. We have- we have screen actors insurance, okay? It's the range of this guy. Is that the sleep staff guy? That guy's bolting. Why doesn't it... Oh, you have to press again, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, he acts last, right? What do these guys have? Steel sword. Steel sword. That's pretty scary. Our hero brings a job for any task. Gotta heal. Awakening saved the franchise. Not really, it saved the franchise. It's not my favorite game, but it definitely saved the, the franchise. That's not even a debate. We actually would have died without all that res, so that's that's something. Awakening saved my life? Wow, must be a great game. What if we use the Lunatome? Seems like a bad idea. Okay, that's a lot of XP. Remember our training. We want magic, we want speed. We got HP. Maturity increased. Maturity increased. It's fine, we'll get speed next level. I smell magic in the air! Hello there, fellow seeker of truth! Fire spell? Oh. Is it warm in here? I'm a monster! I'm a monster. I think we gave her the Swift Souls. Now she has no weaknesses. We want... Someone that's not Garrick to get put to sleep. 
There's no way we die here, right? I actually don't want them to... We don't want to kill them. Our flyers are all the way at the back. It's because they have to babysit Ewan. Those sword masters are coming for us. Our hero is ready! Grieved! We didn't even double him. Our hero is ready! Grieved! We didn't even double him. Watch out for these monks! <laughs> and then there's a divine from the sage. I don't even think we can hit these guys with Ewan because they have weapon triangle over us. This is actually kind of scary. Ooh, and he's on the... This is actually really scary. Who are heroes? Our hero. That's fine. Seth the Soaker! Sleep one of our units that isn't... Oh, that's bad. This might be a rescue mission. The eye mask is on. The eye mask is on. Uh-oh. Hunter. The Hunter! It's now a rescue mission. It's now a rescue mission. We don't have a rescue staff, no. I mean, he's not gonna die. I'll do my best. How much do we take from the Divine? Or the Purge? Is 33 attack? And we have 15 res, so we're fine, right? <laughs> Warp Amelia over to save him? I think we could just rescue him vanilla. Hey, look at these flyers. Tense times. Pe people said that the movie was too boring. So they, they upped the difficulty. Oh, wow. Nice spells, by the way. Your magic shall not save you. Well, Cormag has bad res. So he takes 9 damage, unfortunately. Not pierced. No! Where are my pierce procs? Okay, Seth is actually, like, dying, so we should kill him. That only heals 25, right? Yeah, the magic's kind of bad. Seven move? Seven move! Not wrecked. We definitely want to move Seth up. We move Seth over there. Does he die? No, I don't think anything really reaches. We... Hmm. Quiet on set, we're thinking. Maybe there? We can do that. With the support. The supporting cast! Literally the supporting cast.
You brutes! Leave our star alone! It's everyone's favorite character! I'm a monster! The reviews are in. Everyone's favorite character. Nobody likes this guy. He literally dodges in his sleep. Can anyone stop this guy? Can anyone stop this guy? Garrick the Grogging? Can anyone stop this guy? We're scared of the flux, that's about it. Can anyone stop this guy? He levels up in his sleep. Action hero! He gets amazing level ups literally in his sleep. He's stronger asleep than most of our units are awake. This movie's boring. The hero's too strong. Okay, we're adding some tension now. Purged. Hey, unironically, it's pretty useful that Ewan's eating these. Good thing we got that res. We gotta stop the hunter. Uh-oh. Not woke. Restored. This is what's wrong with Hollywood. Amelia the Asleep. We have to heal Ewan, so please remind me to do that. And we are in support range. So we can move to there? Which means that that is support range. Yes, hello, the heroes of the story coming through. There's no way she dies, right? What are these guys are gonna do? You can't even reach her. There's no way she dies. This is a rescue mission. Please clear the way. Lightning's a light spell, right? It's got light in the name. You. I guess we'll equip a hand axe. <laughs> the healing? Be healed, son. This guy is such a liability. Imagine we didn't have to babysit this guy. How many more purges? Two? Two more purges. Five dollar uh, microtags from Honeycrisp. Hi, geez. Uh, thanks for being so entertaining. Oh, thank you. Been on a binge of your content again. It's keeping me sane during downtime at work. I hope you've enjoyed the Garrick vs. Grotto saga. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Thank you. I think Garrick vs. Grotto is riveting content. I think he could theoretically die here? This mage might attack him, right? With the L fire? That's kind of scary. So that that's actually what I'm most scared of. I believe in our hero, though. Because I think both the... They don't just stand there. He still survives Flux by one, because Flux does 23. 
our hero Garrick. I guess there's other units on the field. I think it was the correct choice to be reaving. Okay, this guy does literally zero damage because we got a defense level in our sleep. It's giving me Echidna flashback. This guy's way better than Echidna. That's good because now the Elfire Mage doesn't attack us. And I think the Elfire Mage is more accurate. That's good. Hey, he has Weapon Triangle advantage against us. Ouch. Gotta get to S rank Anima. Literally zero hit. Yeah, we got Sleep Talk Garrick. Not the Eclipse. Not the Eclipse. Don't look, don't look, don't. Oh, we're fine. Pokemon nerd, welcome to the YTC Institute. Hope you're enjoying this Pokemon gameplay. Oh, the Eclipse. Not the Eclipse. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, we're fine. I think if we get eclipsed and purged, we actually die. No, not the eclipse. Not the eclipse. Don't. Oh, we're fine. That's pretty scary. If both he and. Oh, no. People said that Garrick versus Grotto was too boring. Said that Garrick versus Grotto was too boring. How will our hero escape this? Purged? Purged. The hunter. The hunter! We can just we can let him get the chest and then just kill him, right? Versus Grotto. This is the tension that Garrick versus Grotto needed. Garrick versus Grotto 3 Return to Rene is a high point for the series. Kaga agrees, okay? You can tell him if you want. Alright, where's our physique stat? <laughs> no! Can we kill the druid? We have weapon triangle disadvantage. Nah, that's bad. I haven't been keeping up with these streams. Can you explain why this old guy is literally invincible? He's not old! He's a rugged action hero! The explanation for why he's invincible is this. His stats are insane. All natural. All natural, no supplements, one Draco shield. He actually would be dead if we didn't have the Draco shield. Okay, well we have to heal Cormag. Does Cormag survive another purge? Dude, our magic is so bad. What's well, a little bit better? And hey! Your magic shall not see. Final boss is a mage, what's he gonna do? Okay, I think this does work. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. There we go. There we go. 
Uh, we do it from here? <laughs> wow. Imagine having an actual magic stat. We just do it from here. <laughs> the supporting cast. Look at this! Our hero. Things were looking dire. But then our other hero. <laughs> Be healed! We have 22 magic. Pretty good. I'm a monster! Some might call me a monster. <laughs> the best physic range in the West. An armor knight. Can we give that? We haven't seen Wreck It Ross in a while, right? Yeah, that seems about right. Wrecked. There's no way Mur dies, right? Let's just use a Vulnery. Will Garrick and Labrachel be nominated for the Oscars? The Oscar, Oscars in Gen 9, or uh, Fire Emblem 9. Let's make sure we're supporting. So the main thing is that we don't want to die to... There's one more... One more Devo uh, one more Purge. That's all we're scared of. Don't tell Kaga. So as long as we don't die to the Purge, I think Eclipse... Purge kills us. So that's all we have to be worried about. Watch out for all these bow units on this level. The FE awards are going to be interesting this time around. Does the does best combat always just go to a hero? These awards are rigged. These these Lolgers have been running this entire map. Why is that dude being attacked by a bunch of different dudes? Excuse me. Did you not see the poster? This is Garrick versus Grotto Three: Return to Renee. He's our action movie hero. Could take nine damage. If we get hit by this, then Flux kills us. Well, we can't even get hit by this. Don't look at the Eclipse, we could get purged. Don't look at the- we're fine. Oh. We don't die to the Purge, though. It just halves our HP- Eclipsed. Eclipsed! Good thumbnail, thank you. We have to dodge- Okay, now we're fine. It's fine if Flux hits us. How much damage does Divine do? Our hero. Don't get eclipsed. Now we're fine. Eclipse can't kill you. Purged. And that's the last purge. We don't have to worry about purge anymore. The action and suspense. It draws in the viewers. The hunter. Okay. This is the turn where we stage our rescue. This is it. Kaga is on the edge of his on the edge of his seat. I wish I had one more move.
Holy moly. The Garm! Well, we can do this. Good thing we have seven moves. Hey, that's a nice sword you have. What if we attacked this enemy sword master with our general? And doubled him? What about that? The prop department worked really hard. It's time for Garm Gaming. We're just increasing suspense for the viewers. Well, the luck all went into our level up. Either one of them would have one-shot him. We literally one-shot him, and he didn't die. We need the fire. We need the. We need the support. I know this isn't fire magic, but I believe you are toasts. Yeah, that's a lot of XP. Yeah, we're just saving Garm uses, guys. It's fine. Okay, we definitely need to heal Cormag. I think we need a Mend Staff. Like, our magic is terrible. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, we need a Mend Staff for sure. Rats? That's a lot of damage. And we don't double if we kill them. Also, these enemies are coming up on the back. This guy has the Berserk Staff. This isn't like gold, right? I hope not. Let's send the flyers up. I got a plan for the Berserk Staff guy. I'm gonna play Fire Emblem beyond that. Mobile game? Well, the mobile game's horrible, so... You should try the real game, it's fun. It's a tomahawk? Great. So we can just get it when he drops it. We'll just kill him. We could get Eclipse, but that's fine. Ewan, thank you for doing nothing. Well, we have Garm equipped, and that's plus five speed. Our hero. He wakes up this turn, I think. Ouch. He doesn't get one shot by the flux. So he just has to dodge either the L fire or he has to dodge two out of three of the L fire or either of the two incoming fluxes. Well, it's now one incoming flux. This has literally zero hit. Garrick finally goes woke in Garrick vs. Grotto 4, Garrick Carter. We're still in Garrick vs. Grotto 3, not Eclipsed. Possibly Eclipsed. 
Cormac, don't look. Cormac, don't look. Okay, we have to dodge one of these two. He's just putting on a show for the people. He's just putting on a show for the people. Garrick versus Grotto 3? Oh. Garrick versus Grotto 3 return to Renee! The ratings are through the roof! The Tomahawk. Eric versus Grotto 3.5. Now it's personal. What if we chopped this guy? Garrick's a great actor. <laughs> You think you can stand up to a melee the armored? That didn't do anything, but it looked cool. That's what really matters, right? Don't worry, Garrick, we're here to get you out. Hey. Take this. You'll need it. I guess we can also hand axe someone. Here it is, Garrick versus Grotto 3.5, return to Renee. This time it's personal. Our hero? Our hero. Our hero! Our hero? Our hero? Our hero! Audiences are raving about Garrick versus Grotto 3. But of course, in the end, the hero never loses. You had to use two Garmuses for that. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. I actually forgot this wasn't a... <laughs> wasn't a light spell. <laughs> Triangles? What are those? Be healed. Okay, good thing we have medics on set. That practice fight got uh, pretty out of control. I think I said I had a plan for this Berserk Staff guy, right? Uh, here's my plan. Oh, that's maybe not the best plan. Here's my plan. It's a better plan. Kill. This has the support bonuses. Like, am I that scared of this guy? This just has a divine. He's so weighed down. He's... Okay, Seth can kill him. Does that put Seth in range of this guy? It does. It's a little scary. This guy has... Oh, he's a Lunatome. Lol! Throw a dance. Imagine if we had the Swift Souls. Wouldn't that be nice? Can't dance him, right?
And then the druid comes in and attacks him. But this one can't. Nah, just this one. So can we heal him? No, because Molder's all the way down there. We can just leave this guy for one turn, right? Lock it off a bit with Seth, so I think we're fine. Let's actually do this, and then we can attack the... a oh, nice Lunatome. With a support bonus, we can get that priest. Ever played Mo Is this FE6? The supporting cast on this movie is awful! That's why he's not the main character. Right, we have to hit both of these, otherwise we're in huge trouble because the Berserk Staff isn't coming. But this is the true hit system. So it's actually not 77 times 2. We got him. That was the far more important one to hit. Okay, there's a bunch of enemies here. <laughs> What am I doing? Run away! <laughs> Let's just run away. Yeah! Let's just run away. What's this guy gonna do? L fire me? How much speed does he have? 16? That's fine. We have 15 res. What is he gonna do? Perfect. So this sage is the only threatening enemy left. You can hit these guys, none of them die, so... Does dancing you and do anything? I can put him on the pillar, and then maybe enemies will attack him. So how much do we actually take from this? We have to be next to him. But we don't die. How much do we take from this? If they both hit us, we die. And if we're on the pillar, then neither of them will hit us. Right? For sure? I'm so proud of you. Oh. Who hired this guy? Who's in charge of casting? Do we care if they attack Mur? We have nine. We have 27 res. And light magic sucks. So just four damage. I think that's fine, right? Whatever. And now we're supporting La Rochelle. May as well Volnery. Are we not letting Ephraim just kill the Axe Fight? He's level 20! We can't let him steal the XP. We need to take care of junior actors. Treat your child actors well. The water boy snuck into the set. He can't use anima magic. A chest key! Okay, that's a pretty high hit rate. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. I thought this guy was a water boy. Is he our new movie star? I think he does get doubled. We have a javelin equipped, right? Oh, what about the lightning? What about the lightning? It's fine. We can use a javelin next turn, so we're conserving short spear uses. The lightning does strike once. The short spear strikes twice. Pierce? The eclipse, don't look! Clips. Oh, don't look. Oh, the eclipse. 
The Eclipse! Audiences are complaining. Grotto versus Garrick, Season 3, definitely had some very repetitive scenes. What if they crit us? What if they crit us? We're fine. Divined. The Hunter. Oh, now they're saved. Okay. Look at this beautiful wall of XP that's coming in. We want to get rid of the Sage. Lily is too strong, right? What if we chop this guy? Can we deal 7 damage? So bad. That's so bad. Trainees united. Okay, we can deal 3 damage. This guy's kind of scary. Oh! Good thing we have capped speed Amelia. Release the Kaga cut. <laughs> okay, you'll do your best, right? I, that's a positive hit rate. And we don't die. They could crit us and then we would die. Okay. The water boy. Let's let's get him in the spotlight. Let's get him in the spotlight. He's proving his worth. Keep who let this water boy on set? It's a disaster. Medis's tome. Medis's tome for this. Iron Sword Seth Wall, or I guess Iron Lance is fine. Do we double this guy? We do, so... Iron Sword. He's still- he's so bad! <laughs> How do we not kill that guy? Well, maybe Iron Sword won't kill the other things. Got all these enemies down here. This nerd's been annoying him for a long time. Killed? You could kill him. Vengeance? Not killed. Not killed! So merciful. Yes. Hey, this is Mer XP. 18% chance for the crit animation. That's the crit, so. If she uses How, plus one attack to herself and her allies, that's a crit. Good level? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if we're below average on Mer, but it's probably fine. Oh, Ephraim's really injured. We can heal him. They actually can pass through there, yes. 
So Ephraim's the only one who can wall this spot. No XP thieving, please. The Ross support. Hey, look at that physique range. Maybe it's physic. It's nice to have an actual magic stat. Take care! Don't really, we didn't really need to do this, but... We get a lab level from it! We've researched magic and speed. It's fine. Research complete. Save you. Final boss is a mage. What is he gonna do? Oh yeah, we're trying to stop this heist over here. That seems good. Falconite! Maybe we should train our sword rank though. He doesn't die. He doesn't die. Pierce? Well, he does die. Okay. <laughs> A door key! You don't really need that. Is Seth too good? Stop stealing my XP! Well, that's a great night. Okay, we don't kill this guy. All according to Keikaku. Great movement order from the enemy. Why'd they do that? Ouch. We do double this guy. Seth? No level on Seth? This guy's a Steel Lance. Do we die? Not the Eclipse. Not the Eclipse! Don't look! Oh, not the Eclipse. No, not the Eclipse. Don't look! Don't look! Over. Not the Eclipse, don't look! How many more Eclipses are there? Okay, just a Javelin. Oh, okay. This is great training for the- Hey, Seth level! My goodness. I think we've gotten strength and speed every single level. Are we sure this guy's only six stars? Like, look at this guy. We have basically been anti-training him. He's only level seven, and we still have to hold him back so he doesn't kill enemies. By the way, this is a fan-made hack that is way harder than the original game. <laughs> Luna will kill him. Okay, Nosferatu. This guy is so useless. Ugh. Oh, why did I use Luna? Oh, that was my fault. It's a user error. We can attack this guy once, right? Oh, we double him now because we leveled speed! <laughs> Does the Javelin guy double us? No. Okay, that's good.
We got him this time. The Water Boy Training Arc. We're forming a wall. We are almost dead, so... We can use our... We have another one in the convoy, right? Look at this healing. We gotta make sure we don't hit S-rank stabs. We gotta check what our staff rank is. Oh, we're fine. Alright, we gotta we gotta hit the romantic subplot with Tethys. Mulder's just making sure there's room for Jesus. Do you know this is a heist movie? I guess we're just chilling here. We put Ross here. Hopefully they're more scared. Why are you avoiding staff rank? So you can only have one S rank weapon. S rank stabs is kind of useless. Mulder already has S rank stabs. And if we get S rank anima, you get 5% extra hit and crit. And you can also then use the Excalibur Tome. Mur is just sitting on this. Mur's our, Mur the mascot, okay? So he's just sitting on the pedestal. I think they're out of eclipses, right? What is this guy doing? Get out of here. Oh. Soldier the Jobber! That looks like a Ewan kill to me. Why are you attacking Amelia? Oh, they don't die. Double Ewan kill! The Waterboy training arc. And we're training our sword rank. Oh, right, Ross supports Garrick, the mentorship arc. Ouch. Thanks for the info, now you can go to sleep peacefully. Wrong choice of words, man. Wrong choice of words. That's what you thought. At least you can die knowing. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never finish editing Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee. We need a UNA or a. We need a UNA. We could do. Oh, well, well, here's this. So. We're, we currently have Tethys B. I don't know if there's a way to do this. We could do Garrick A with Tethys, B with Ross. And then Ewan B with Tethys, and who's Ewan's other A? He just might not have one. Why does Garrick have 50 HP? He's the star of the show. Have you seen his stats? This is why he's the main character. If your stats don't look like this, you're not main character material. And he did this all natural. All natural. One Draco shield. All natural. Hey, this is good. Hey, we can kill a Lolger. Hooray. <laughs> How's the water boy doing? Oh, 
Why is this guy carrying water? He should be in the spotlight. I see a lot of potential in you, kid. I see a lot of potential. Someday. Maybe not today, but someday. The supporting cast. Did you guys know that Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee was the first feature film that Ewan starred in? It's where he was discovered. The female co-star also doing well. I hope one of these guys have two range. <laughs> My red gem, no. Okay, we do need a medic on set. Medic! Investors are not happy Garrick needs an arc. We need the the A rank scene, right? We have to do it. Whew. That was quite a heist. I don't know if I like working for these grotto folks. They're kinda unsavory, but this tomahawk. This thing will fetch a pretty penny. I think with this. Once I get out of here, I can retire from this life of crime for good. Your wings? For Renee! <laughs> you didn't kill him. Cormag? Savory blend of strength and defense. Pretty good. Nothing personnel. Or mag bad? I'll take strength and defense. Hey, a tomahawk. Thanks. We didn't have to use a chess key. This will be the only survivor of the battle, I guess. <laughs> Maybe this guy as well. What's La Rochelle doing? Maybe he can retire to the afterlife. I like the part of Garrick versus Grotto where Garrick used guns despite the co his code against them. Maybe that's when the uh, screenwriters run out of ideas. I haven't seen that yet. I think we're just chilling here, right? What are these guys doing? Mur the mascot. Spare the armor knight? I need the XP. This guy's actually really scared. Ouch! Chopped! Fans demand more Mur. Mur can fight the Armor Knights. Her attack is physical, right? You sure, pal? Look at the training. Look at the training! Are you gonna quit again in two hours or be a true Armor Fire Emblem fan and play for another four hours today? I almost made it to ten hours last time, right? I'm not a fake fan. Dragon Sword ignores defenses anyway. Well, fans demand more romance from Garrick and Tethys. We have to let the subplot build, guys. You can't rush this. This is a kill, right? That accuracy. Garrick versus Grotto 13 was a cash grab for the series. Okay, the Water Boy. How mature is the Water Boy? The water boy! The water maturity increased! He's not a water boy. He's a water man. A big, strong man. This was where he was discovered. This is where he was scouted. We need a medic on set, please. From Waterboy to Cameraman. I think I mentioned it earlier, but another... I'll repeat it again. Another fun fact. The... The very earnest intern saying, Sir, isn't that a bit much? In the bed-burning graphic is the cameraman. Pretty much every innocent 
sounding character who gets horribly mistreated uh, is the cameraman. <laughs> Let's make sure we don't actually die here. I don't think we get doubled anymore. Yeah, we don't. We can suffer from success, though, but we can attack this guy. He doesn't die. We'll just wait. Uh, we need the romance subplot, right? It's what the viewers are paying for. Murr the mascot on the move. And La Rochelle is the director, right? She's telling everyone what's going on. Hey, just, just in case something goes wrong. Just a backup of the working print. What are these guys doing? I guess these guys can actually <laughs> try and go get those chests over there. They succeed in stopping the hunter. Ratings are dropping, we may need more hero skins. Okay, not chopped. Oh! 100 Hong Kong dollar macro transaction from the real gold sleazy. Let's celebrate their fifth super on a live stream. And urn for the cameraman. That urn contained your cameraman's ashes! Are you hoping to piss on them one last time? Thank you for the contribution to the cameraman coffer. Well, we're saying that I don't pay the cameraman. That's not true. What about his earnings? Critics are complaining that the jokes in Gra <laughs> Garrick vs. Grotto 3 have been really downhill compared to Garrick vs. Grotto 1 and 2. Feels like they're just going through the motions. Boots! <laughs> well, thank you for the 100 Hong Kong dollar macro transaction. It's a very well-funded movie, despite the high budget. We need more gold! Despite the high budget, the script writing is terrible. This is a kill, right? Killed him and here. He killed him and here. Come here, great knight! <laughs> Level up? Almost. The secret is the bad script writing is what they're paying for. We don't kill him. There's like no way to weaken this guy, right? Oh, yeah, no way. Javelin Seth? Probably double. <laughs> Seth is too good. I think we just let them attack us, right? We're not in a rush. This guy's a Javelin. Could attack him and then heal, right? We could also just dodge. Is this a level up? It is, right? I'm not a water boy. I'm a water man. Oh. Well, we're, we're pretty fast. We'll get magic next level. That's okay. We don't even need medical attention. We can't suffer from success. Everything is okay. But we have to build the romance subplot. It's what the viewers want. Meanwhile, Mur the Mascot. Viewers have been clamoring for more of Mur the Mascot. She was a very popular character. Two Dragonstone uses. It's expensive running a movie, man. Two Dragonstone uses. But for such a high-rated character... What is... What? Okay, we got a crit as well. Wow. She's one of our best actors. One of our best actors. And she's got meteoric growth in the industry. 
Break yourselves upon my body! I think we're just gonna leave that guy alive. Okay, we need chest keys. Well, these guys use dark magic. Those guys have dark magic, and we have light magic, right? And light magic beats dark, so... Yeah, we have a light tome equipped. Okay, we need chest keys? Why do we have two iron swords? <laughs> Gotta get equipped. Keep the actors' union strong. Anybody need medical attention? Our main actor is injured. Her speed is somewhat concerning. I'm not worried. Feeling sick? Well, okay, there's a 1% chance we suffer from success, and we didn't. That's good. That's actually very good. Okay, the second one, not so bad. Let the water boy on set. Yeah, this guy's a little late. Do those druids not move? Maybe they don't. Well, hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Tell Kaga. He was doing so well with the stage fright took over. Okay, we all get nervous. I'm not using the new camera yet. The new camera is, I think, just for filming. Maybe I'll learn to set it up one day. Okay, we do need medical attention. We might need to dance for the medic. HG's been tuning in and out today. Did I miss anything harder than Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Sleep Harder? The Garrick vs. Grotto arc was incredible. A high point for the Garrick vs. Grotto series for sure. Okay, we just have to hit both. We could maybe even dodge. It's possible. It didn't happen, but it, it was possible. Pretty far off from a level, so we're not going to get it from the next one. Hey, weapon level increased. Sky full health? No. We do need to dance for our medic. Time Garrick vs. Grotto Part 2 was a bit boring, but this third part was very entertaining. Yeah, Garrick vs. Grotto 2 was way too predictable. We knew exactly what was going to happen. That's a little scary, right? Maybe we don't want to attack. We do have a javelin equipped. The mentorship arc is continuing. Do those guys even move? I feel like they do- Oh no, not the Eclipse. Not the Eclipse, don't look- Oh, we're fine. You think Garrick vs. Grotto 4 The Reckoning was a great reboot for the series? There weren't enough, um, big name actors. Just a bunch of, like, snakes. We can let him open one, right? 
And that saves us a chest key. Well, I guess. We can train our sword rank. If we do that, because we only have two chest keys, we just let him open one, and then we can kill him. <laughs> and then we can get all three chests. Supported. We know this guy does have a... We can dance for him, right? And then we can kill him? Just curious, how long has Garrick vs. Grotto, the video game, been in development? Ever since the meteoric success of Garrick vs. Grotto 1. Since the very beginning. But video games take time. Oh, seven move. Near. We need medical staff. Literally medical staff. Okay, Waterboy Gaming. We are supported. That's probably not a level right now. Still waiting for Garrick vs. Grotto Final Mix. They haven't even released the base version for level 13. I'm a little scared of this because we didn't even kill him. Especially because he sucks us, right? We gotta continue the the romance and the mentorship arcs. I guess Seth's just up here. My money. My money! <laughs> You're pretty sure you can still get that gold? You think he drops it? Your life's on the line, pal. Your life's on the line. Drop it or not. That's it for you, pal. You know the price. Although you have paid the price. Look, okay, no Nepo babies in this industry. Garrick versus Grotto. Just one set. One. Okay, I'll let you plead your case. I'm about to call HR. I'm I'm listening. In the meantime. He's taken long enough. He's probably typing something. I think we forgive him. I think we forgive him. Just when I thought that Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Return to Renee, was getting a bit boring, especially because the enemies were too weak, they started going crazy. I thought you could only promote twice. And yet... <laughs> Megas are back! Megas are back! Thanks, Prometheus, for the $50.22 uh, apology tour, I guess. Very appreciated. I guess we don't reset. Hey, look, we got the money in real life. See you. Now, there have been allegations that the environment on... The work environment on Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Return to Renee. There's, there's a bit of corruption. I'm not sure if that's true. However, these allegations require further investigation. Yeah, 
Pirate's Crest. Hey, that's 5,000 gold. We can just sell it. <laughs> Did we really need the money? One nice thing is that we actually do have the resources from two routes. With the Lunatone, we definitely damage those guys, right? We also still have the Ocean Seal. Garrick vs. Grotto 420, the Blazing Blade. This franchise has gone on long enough. <laughs> the Mentorship Arc, continuing. So how much damage do we deal here? We deal... 30, but he also probably heals. Give Garrick the boss kill to end the series? I mean, Ephraim can talk to the guy, but yeah, we'll probably give the boss kill to Garrick. Don't tell Kagar's script. What if we use a sword? If we use a sword and we... What if we use a Pandex? And we don't get hit, that's a very good setup, right? Funding for Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee is brought to you in part by the real gold sleazy. They'll say they paid to pack the audience, that they're not real viewers. It's not true. It's not true. They're here to see the Megas. Thank you to the real gold sleazy for the 50 hit pin missile. <laughs> Glad people are enjoying Garrick vs. Grotto 3. Uh, if we get sucked, that's pretty bad. Sucked. He fully healed! Sucked? Sucked? Sucked! People are saying this movie sucks! <laughs> There's no way we deal 11 damage, right? There's no way. We deal 3. Luna? Well, we don't die. Water Boy has always been an underdog, right? Okay, so in this scene, against overwhelming odds, you land a powerful magical attack against one of Grotto's corrupt, se corrupt superiors, okay? Alright, and action! Cut! Cut! Ah, uh, we'll do a retake later, kid. It's alright, we all get nervous. I wish we gave the swift souls to Deathless. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, somebody's actually in danger of dying, right? Amelia actually could die. Uh, Labrachelle only takes... Labrachelle is fine, but Amelia actually could die, so we need to heal her. This'll work. Hopefully these guys don't move. You finally realize the red guys are the bad guys? One of the criticisms of Garrick vs. Grotto, the entire series, is that it's really red and blue, right? It's so obvious who the bad guys are. That's not right. I don't think these guys move. I think they'll just sit there. Cycle the RNs to push you in odds. That's one of the abuses of the filmmaking industry. I don't think we're going to do that. 
Uh, the romance and the mentorship arcs, I think, can both advance? Yes. Uh, Seth is just here. Oh, we also have <laughs> some really good units just in the corner. The Talisman! Oh, the best stat booster. Now we're saved. Is Billy Zane not the bad guy in Titanic? I'm not kidding. Billy Zane is the bad guy in Titanic, right? Give him another shot. Ah, uh, no. The spotlight is for Lab Rochelle. This supporting access, we're moving her to the spotlight. I'm a monster! He's a monster. What? B no, Billy Zane is 100% the villain in Titanic, right? The evil... He's the evil guy. Iron Sword. We want Hand Axe, right? Okay, we just have to not get sucked. Oh, this guy's Luna. Oh, oh this guy's Luna. Lol, we're fine. You don't have to worry about the sucking. Do we deal four? We do and we don't even die. All right, kid, here's your chance. Now that guy's a druid, you're just the shaman. So you're supposed to lose this. But, the audience is not gonna expect this, you win. All right, action! Okay, one take, good, guy. good job, guys. Is this a water boy or is it a water man? Guy offset. Get this guy offset. Twenty four levels. Twenty four levels for this. We need healing. We need a medic. Medical staff, please. Well, that's right. If he had good stats, he wouldn't be an underdog. <laughs> I guess that much is true. How's our speed there? It's fine. It's okay, we still have 20 levels to go. Billy Zane is the guy who voiced Ansem in the Kingdom Hearts, first Kingdom Hearts game? Is he really? Huh, I wonder if I knew that. Hmm, might be clear later though. Uh, hand axe, right? Uh, this guy does suck us. Okay, don't suck us, please. Okay, not sucked. We would have to Luna him, right? Die. Okay, Kaga's watching us. Okay, just like last time, kid. You're not supposed to win this fight, but to the audience's shock and delight, you do, okay? Are you rolling? Okay, action! Cut! Come on, kid. I'm gonna be real with you. The only reason you're still here is because Garrick, the main man himself, has been vouching for you. You wanna keep letting him down like this? Does Flux do it? It does not.
no such thing as bad actors, just bad directors, right? That's what they say. Let's see, double this guy. Do we double him with Luna? No. Nope. Names after you and you and McGregor to perform like this. At least we're getting XP there. All right, we need. Unironically, we need a unit with good res. We don't heal this guy too much. Or a unit that doesn't counter attack. Gotta draw fire here. We got all the treasure, right? Yeah. Romance arc is ongoing. I guess we could dance for you and so you can attack this guy again. Hey, he actually kills him with the support. This guy is so threatening. This actually is a level, right? We have to manifest our good level up, okay? I'm not a water boy. Oh, okay, never mind. We have to manifest it at the proper time, of course. Uh, the romance arc is not proceeding, and neither is the mentorship arc. And now both are. Sucked? Not sucked, okay. That's annoying. <laughs> That's really annoying. How do we hit him just once? Okay, that just kills him. Maybe our light magic? We do have weapon triangle advantage. He probably has good res. Okay. We take a ton of damage from that. A crit kills us as well. Okay, not sucked. 13 damage. I think he actually dies to... He dies, right? I think Luna does 13. We'll get the support as well. Support is plus 5 hit? Okay. Dancing from older. All right, kid. Just like we rehearsed, okay? Kaga's watching us. You don't want to disappoint the big boss. This guy's got the upper hand. You're not supposed to win, but you win the coin flip and you pull it out, right? We got fan mail just for you, just for you. Telegram from uh, Blue Crimson 217. We need more gold. Thanks for the fan funding, $10. He believes in you. Come on, kid, don't let us down, just like we rehearsed. Cut. Who hired these extras, man? Who hired these extras? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Meanwhile, this guy just commits suicide, I guess. He's had enough. He's had enough. He's had enough. However, we can never be... We can never have too many fifth super chats. Let's celebrate their fifth super on a live stream. 
The real gold sleazy, 250. Funding the film industry. Adding in more gimmicks to these films. Looks like Megas. Megas are back. Thank you to the real gold sleaze, their fifth, their fifth super. Billy Zane was a great man who paid his fiance's whole family for once in a lifetime boat cruise. He then got cheated on. She even wore his engagement necklace while cheating on. How is he the back? Oh, I see. Okay, okay, so you you meant it like he's not actually the bad guy. I thought you meant it like the actor is not Billy Zane. The actor is definitely Billy Zane, right? Is Billy Zane the bad guy of the film? I think the answer is still yes. Because he treats Rose terribly. He expects that just because... Is that Luna? Okay, that's not. He expects that just because of the patriarchal system that he's a part of, in fact, at the top of, that Rose should just be his peon. Do you imagine treating people like peons? This water boy is not our peon. Oh, because he's a water man. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What is the Demon King gonna do? What is the Demon King gonna do? Maturity is increasing. Five defense, we need to bench him. Thank you for the generous macro transaction. How is Ewan compared to his averages? So, keep in mind, his maturity has been increased, so... 5% extra growths on everything. I think magic and speed are slightly below average. Obviously, our res is super blessed. Does Garrick vs. Grotto have a twist ending of the Waterboy killing the boss? I'm not sure. It depends what the fans want. We, we gotta screen it with test audiences. That would make sense, otherwise why did they spend so much time on this Waterboy subplot? The romance and the mentorship. Let's just make a nice formation with the flying units. <laughs> well, actually, no, they should build their support, too. He's just minus one on magic? That's not that bad. It's, of course, not considering maturity increased. At least Labrachelle gets her own franchise. Minus three on luck? It definitely feels like it. Okay, we do kill this guy. Can he even hurt him? Definitely with Luna, right? So we have to get the dialogues, because there's definitely dialogue between... Ephraim and Orson, and then... Uh, Seth and Orson. Oh! Physics! We're studying physics! So let's test this. Hey, dancer level. Almost capped. Can she steal her own XP? So, does he have the ranged weapon equipped? The rune sword. The rune sword! We can actually just fight him. Wait, this is with flux, right? What is his hit rate? Well, we don't get any XP for just taking damage, but it's possible to hit. Luna's hit rate's gonna be like zero. It's, well, it's not zero, it's, it's one. So it's technically not zero. Boss abusing Orson with the mighty rune sword. This film session is a disaster. Well, let's get the dialogue, right? How does Regileaf do? Wow. But we just want the dialogue. Alright. Ephraim, baby. 
This guy, Orson, betrayed your homeland, okay? You really don't like him, and this is the first time you're meeting him after learning about his betrayal, okay? You gotta really let him have it. Alright, action! Prince Ephraim, you never did know when to quit. Nay is already lost. It's too late. Orson, you will move from that place. That is my father's seat. It is his throne! You've no right to sit there. Good job, Ephraim! Good job, Ephraim! Crowds are gonna love it. Crowds are gonna love it. We'll do another take. Hopefully you hit him that time. Alright, get him out of there. Take drop. We'll do Seth next turn, because we probably have to rescue him, too. How much aid do we have? Aid 14? So, yeah, we can pick him up. Does the rune sword not count as... Oh, maybe it doesn't. Are we... Oh, we're not building the subplots. We're not building the subplots. The pacing's really dragging. Alright, if we can hit him, we get a bunch of XP. I won't let you come between us. Monica and I will live here happily together. We might end up breaking the rune sword. This hit chance is like 20. The rune sword. The ru one XP. Medic. Oh, maybe counts. Oh, this guy's got cap strength. We're gonna break his his rune sword only has twelve uses. All right, Seth, baby. Okay, you know the deal, right? We rehearsed this. This is Orson. You guys used to be best buds. He's got- he's the one with the special costume, remember? The one with the- the special pocket in the doublet. You don't like him, alright? You're gonna let him have it. Medic! Are you gonna let him have it, alright? Okay, action! Seth. So you've come, have you? Sir Orson. You're an impressive knight, Seth. You would sacrifice your life for king and country. Not even a moment's pause. It's a pitiful, unrewarding life through and through. It's my charge. It's my hope. Sir Orson, prepare yourself. Great job, Seth, baby. We can put that on the poster. Sir Orson, prepare yourself. I like it. Yeah, we can cut out the rest of the fight. Don't worry about that. We'll fix it in editing. We'll fix it in editing. Don't worry. All right, let's get him out of there. Yeah. Ooh, who overall has been growth blessed? Well, welcome to this filming of... Garrick versus Grotto 3, Return to Rene. Our main character, Garrick, uh, he looks pretty good, right? All natural. All natural in this industry. One, one Draco shield. All natural. Okay, we can get the mentorship arc. Should probably take Seth. Okay, this is not the mentorship arc. We need a heal staff on Mulder. Gotta watch out for... Gotta make sure not to get S-staves. Can we get a hit? Everyone's cheering for the water boy. 
Maybe he'll get... No, there's no way he gets weighed down by the Silver Lance, right? Seeing something double Seth was horrifying. It's a scary movie. Okay, we need a men's staff on this guy. I think we're actually going to break his... His rune sword. <laughs> the Waterboy training arc. Can Mulder get a mend out of the convoy? I think we actually need more mends in the convoy. Lunatic Orson? I th he has capped strength, and his speed is 20. Alright, mentorship arc. Alright, quiet on set. We're trying to get a hit here. Oh, we don't even have to heal him. So we can actually attack him on player phase. We're waiting for the water boy to hit this guy. Nice dodge, kid. Hey, this way we're building support with both <laughs> Tethys and Gary. Another obnoxious boss on the throne? They're not that obnoxious in vanilla, but definitely they're a little bit too strong on Lunatic. Man, the third act of Garrick vs. Grotto Return to Renee is really long. Mended. Supports? No supports. You can get supports with two different people in one chapter, right? Ouch. Will we ever hit this guy? Yep, okay. So we can get Tethys to A with Garrick and A with... You win, and that'll give you one more hit. If we ever hit him, we're gonna get a ton of XP. It's like a 24% chance. So I think we have been getting pretty unlucky here. When we see a sequel to Garrick vs. Zombies, these spin-offs are way too long. This is the main series, bro. But if you're sick of human enemies, stay tuned for... The next episode of Garrick vs. Grotto. Try using an X accuracy. I think the rune sword's almost broken. <laughs> How dare you besmirch the original trilogy? If he doesn't double us, it's because it broke. Yeah, it broke. There we go. Can you speed up the filming, please? You can't rush art, okay? You can't rush art. <laughs> Five dollar microtransaction from Blue Crimson 217. Is it boss abuse when the boss hasn't been hit once? <laughs> hey, man. Th this is not an abusive workplace, okay? This is not an abusive workplace. Thanks for the microtransaction. <laughs> Hey, now we can- we can actually attack and dance. He now has no more 2 range. One XP. How much XP do we get on a successful hit? We're now doing the research. We only have four flux hits. We have more in the convoy though, I think. Hello? I don't think we had weapon XP for missing. Story arcs are progressing. What about this side plot? No. Nope. You do get weapon XP? We're just training, bro. We definitely should have hit him at least once, right? Like, our hit chance was... It should be like 20. 
Are there any special books in the convoy that might help him hit easier? We can check, but I'll check the prop room. What's in the prop room? Got an energy ring, a hero crest. Nah, no books. Oh, it actually uses durability. 19% true hit. We're burning money! And we didn't even get that 5,000 gold. We're ex you're expecting Yuan to succeed with 20% odds? Well, we've attacked him more than 20 times, I'll tell you that. Hey, can we check the prop closet for some, uh... We need more Nosferatu props. Oh, that's bad. We're never gonna hit him. We're never gonna hit him. This is our last chance. A Molder the Molding? Oh, the Chaplain on set. For the Faithful. There's no shop on this map, no. We never Hamurn a Flux Tome, right? No way. I feel like Enter the Garrick first would have been better if they included Summoner Garrick and Wyvern Knight Garrick. Look, man, the viewers were sick of Garrick, okay? They wanted other side characters, but as soon as you try and put other characters into the plot, you get disasters like this. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the funding. We have five Hamurn uses. Come on, kid. We rig it, right? We rig it. We rig it and... We rig it and only the, um... It's a film. We have to get the perfect ending. We only have one shot left. So we gotta develop the romantic subplots. Alright. Quiet on set. Everybody take five. Five turns. Yeah, Lab Rochelle brought some catering, so there's some grain on the table for you guys. It's probably fine. Don't worry about it. Oh! The romantic sub- The romantic subplot! It's what viewers have been waiting for! The blossoming romance between Tethys the Tempting and Garrick the Gallant! Um, Chief? There's actually one thing I've been wanting to ask you. And what's that? Sorry if this brings up any bad memories, but how'd you get that scar on your face? This? Uh, well, the makeup department's re uh, I mean, uh... I got this beauty when I had just started out as a mercenary. I was still a novice, but I was feeling pretty good about my swordsmanship. I got to a point where I was arrogant enough to believe no one could best me. Then one day it happened. Something I've never been able to forget. What happened? It was just another battle. I'd been hired on as another sword, and then I met him. He was a knight from some country or other. I fought knights on several other occasions and beat them all. Even though he was a bit tougher, I was sure I'd defeat him in the end. That's what I thought, but strength was beyond me. I may as well have been using a broomstick to fight. I remember thinking, what a tiny little world I've been living in. He crushed me effortlessly, and the wound he inflicted became this. Lovely scar. I see. I was truly frightened. It was the first time I'd experienced fear as a mercenary. 
So this knight saw how scared I was and said, Go. He didn't kill me. He let me escape. I was humiliated and ashamed. My eyes were finally opened to my own weakness. It goes without saying. I lost every shred of self-confidence. I still dream about it sometimes. It wakes me up every time. I've never forgotten that night. He thought I was weak and pathetic. Chief. I was young and stupid. The scar is my punishment. That night spared your life. Because of that, good things and better things have happened. What do you mean, Tethys? First of all, Chief, you're alive. And that's where the laugh track plays. <laughs> the audience loves it. If you died, all the good times you've had since that day, and all the joy you're sure to have from this day onward wouldn't exist. And another thing, because you lived, you met many friends, and you met me. I also don't think that knight would have thought you were pathetic. I think he saw a young man with his whole life ahead of him. That's why I let you go. Tethys. Yep, I'm sure that's it. So try thinking about it in a more positive light. <laughs> You're right. I was a lot calmer after that. While I've had hard times, there have been far more good times. I guess you could say I owe my success as a mercenary to that night. Yep, you've got your knight, and I've got my dancer. Thanks to the two of them, the two of us are here now. What? Can we get the script writer on set, please? Ah, uh, the dancer from the previous support. The dancer from the previous support. No problem. No problem. False alarm. Say, Chief, why don't we become like them? I think we should work at being inspirations to other people. Hmm, good idea. Thanks, Tethys. I think I'll sleep soundly tonight. Good. You know, Chief, I'm really happy. Yeah, me too. I've got a life I enjoy and good companions. All that and a wonderful woman to love. Everyone should be so lucky. Oh! Chief! Whoa! Hey, PG-13! This is a PG-13 movie! This is a battlefield! This isn't the place for that. No one's looking. Ah. Uh, oh. Alright. Audiences are raving. Audiences are raving! Garrick vs. Grotto, Season 3, Return to Renee. It's got everything. It's got action. It's got romance. It's got suspense. Highest rated movie in the franchise for good reason. How could Garrick vs. Grotto 3 ever be outdone? No support here. No support here. The movie that saved the franchise, just like Awakening. What is this game? When does the gameplay start? What do you mean? This is the gameplay! Alright, everyone, take five. Five turns. We're filming Garrick vs. Grotto 3. Return to Renee, so if you're not interested in the filming process, then you can get off the set, okay, pal? All right, everyone back. Oh. The mentorship arc. Double fire support, double fire support. <clears throat> uh, are you Sir Garrick by any chance? And what do you want, boy? Oh, uh, my name's Ross. I'm the son of the warrior Garcia. I see. So, Ross, are you an ax man? Yeah, don't be fooled by my appearance. I I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> if you say so. Well, I think so. But it's important to keep improving. Why is that so important to you? My father's such an amazing warrior. I've always wanted to be worthy of the title Son of Garcia. 
and I want to be able to go home and rebuild my village. After that, I want to go on a voyage and train in the open ocean. And after that, I'd like to go back home. To do all this, I need to be the best warrior I can be. Those are admirable goals. I'll help you out sometime. How? You'll give me a lesson? Are you serious? That's great! Yeah, I might not be able to beat your father, but I could teach you a thing or two. Why don't you try landing a hit on me? That'd be great! Uh, but before we start, let me go practice on those guys first! It's great that he's so eager to learn, but he's not ready to go solo yet. The mentorship arc. Friendship Forged. Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee has got everything. Bond of Brothers! What about these guys? No. Nope. What about these guys? Got it. Sibling support! Hey, Tethys. You've been getting pretty clummy- er, you've been getting pretty chummy with that guy lately. What do you mean, Ewan? Who's that guy? You know. That guy! Look, he's right over there! That guy waving his sword around. I'd say you've been a little too friendly with all of them! Too friendly? I wonder. I think chatting now, now and again is normal. Wait a minute. You, you, are you feeling jealous? D don't be stupid! That's not it at all! Hold on. You know, that man told me he found a frog in his boots the other day. And that man woke up to find half his mustache shaved off. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? N no This is the first I've heard of it. Really? Um, yeah. It was you, wasn't it? You, you, you can't do things like that, even if it is kind of funny. But they're... Morons! All they do is get you to dance, and then they run around on the battlefield challenging each other to contests of strength and valor. They're dumb braggarts, and I was just taking them down a peg. But I'm not jealous. All right, all right. I'll keep your secret this time, but you must stop. They're the troublemakers, you know. <sighs> okay, I got it. I'll leave them alone, but Tethys... What is it? I'll always be here to protect you. I'm not too young for that. So instead of always helping those guys, dance for me once in a while. I know it'll make me stronger. You, you. I'll see you later. You gotta promise to dance for me. Friendship Forged. Critics are complaining. The comic relief Waterboy character in Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee. Not very popular. He's honestly not very funny. His timing is completely off. Not sure if he'll be returning in the sequel. We also had a couple incidents on set. One of our medical staff, Mulder, woke up to half of his mustache shaved off. The prop department has been able to craft a prosthetic, but it's really inconvenient to put on and off, so whoever was responsible for that, when it is found out who the culprit is, there may be disciplinary action. What about these guys? Nope. With the support, what's our hit rate? It's 2% better. So we have to deal at least 51 damage. All right, guys, take five. I want you all back here in five turns. Mulder had a contract not to shave it for another movie. I hope we don't have to do a CGI Mulder mustache. All right, guys, welcome back. Not supported. Can we deal at least 50 damage? So here's the mentorship arc. We are in range of both. So we have to deal at least 25. Oh, Garm? I mean, this is what the legendary Garm is for. 
But what if we crit him? Are we, are we even in range to seize? We have to move up one. Alright, next turn. Alright, after a lengthy third act, the finale of Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee is finally approaching. We learned, uh, during a flashback, that long ago, Garrick earned his sexy scar. Due to an altercation with a knight, this knight allowed Garrick to live, showed mercy, and ever since, Garrick has been hunting that knight, hoping to truly test himself. Will we find out who that knight was? Only in the thrilling conclusion of Garrick versus Grotto. Return to Renee in theaters now. You. It's you. I know you. You're that knight. Hey, this has been a long time coming. I've grown since that day. Let's go. Who's on top this time? When last we met, I was but a mercenary, but now... Check the stat screen. It says hero. Garrick versus Orson. The rematch. Who will emerge victorious? Ah! Ah! Go. Live another day. My god. <laughs> Look at Orson's portrait. He is not okay. He's been waiting on this throne for months. He takes no meals. You spared me back in the day. It's time for me to pass the torch to someone else. Excuse me? Hey, prop department, it's time for me to pass the tor- Alright. We'll fix it in editing, okay? We'll fix it in editing. Make sure it looks like Garrick is the one passing the torch to the water boy, alright? All right, this is it, guys, the final scene. Garrick, the gallant, shows mercy. However, the water boy, Secret Star, does not. Guys, Kaga's watching, okay? We're gonna get this in one take. We're gonna get this in one take. Alright, we're rolling. Action! Cut! It's alright, kid. We all got nerves. Okay, kid, I know the spotlight's hot. It's alright, this is the climax of the movie, kid. Everyone's here. Kaga's watching, okay? Don't let him down. Alright, we're rolling. Action! Cut! Come on, kid, we're burning film. Have we got the tech department working on the RNG? Okay, well, you know they're all trustworthy. Good job, guys. Alright, final scene Ewan versus Orson. 
Take three, we're rolling. All right, action. Cut. Kid, I'm starting to wonder why we cast you. I'm starting to wonder. Every time you mess up, everyone on set has got to get ready for another take. Give him some water to drink. All right. Harsh conditions. Okay. We got the catering, right? You can do it, kid. You can do it, kid. Cheers. <laughs> Refreshed. Hey, you can grab some grain, too, if you want, kid. There's tons of it to go around. Alright. Fourth time's the charm, right? Kaga's watching, kid. Don't let him down. Alright, Ewan versus Orson. Take four. We're rolling. Action. Cut. You're killing me, kid. You're killing me. You're supposed to be killing him. Hey, can we can we verify that the tech department's actually changing the outcome here? Why do we cast Ewan over Ephraim? Well, Ewan's a, Ephraim's already the stunt double for main man Garrick. Alright, Cog is watching, kid. Don't let him down. Ewan versus Orson. Take five. We're rolling. Action. Cut. I'm losing it, kid. I'm losing it. He's too big. He's too big. Too big. He's too big, nobody can pick him up. It's too big. This is. <laughs> $5 microtransaction for uh, from Blue Crimson 217. Thank you for the microtransaction. Mm. It's a sample of FE6 Thrones. Hope you enjoy your upcoming hard mode run. What if you wouldn't move next to him? We'll try that. But then he's going to be out of uh, support range. Unless we change that. So we can do that.
Kaga's watching, kid. Ewan versus Orson. Take six. We're rolling. Action. Cut. Oh. Did you sign the waiver? He signed the waiver, right? You and the end, dude. Come on, kid. We need the support. We need the support. Okay, you won versus Orson. Take seven. We're rolling action. Oh. That's a wrap, folks. That's a wrap. Hey, kid, I can see you going places. You got some star power. Your consistency needs work. All right, save that take, save that take. Monica. All right, kid, what do you got? Are we signing you on our next movie? We might, we might, we might. You're pretty mature. $10 macro transaction from Blue Crimson 217. Thank you for the we macro need more transaction. Gold. We'll put it towards the budget of Garrick versus Grotto 4. Alright. Garrick's kind of tuckered out, right? Stunt double. You got this? Prince Ephraim. Princess Erica. The castle has been secured. And. What is it? This way. This is the room Orson was holed up in. Oh, this is the post credit scene. Darling. You. You're Orson's. Darling. 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 What? This is horrible. Oh. Same magic was used to control Emperor Vigard. She's already dead, and her corpse was used to... Who? Who could... You needn't look any longer, Erica. Let's go outside. Darling. 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 You can't say this thing is truly alive anymore. I'll... No. I'll do it. The two of them spent every day in here, did they? Orson was mad. But I think he was happy. The reviews are in. That post credit scene from Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Rene uh, really clashed with the tone of the rest of the movie. The rest of the movie had some ups and downs, but at the end it was a real feel-good story. What was that post credit scene about? You might even say that was the creepiest thing in Fire Emblem. Mm. Fan funding. Thank you for the $2 microtransaction from Gaffy TV. That water boy's got some talent. I don't know, man. I don't know if I see it. We finally made it back. Yet. Mm. We can repair the castle, and what was stolen we can do without. But the wounds and suffering inflicted upon the people of Renee. It's too late to undo their pain. Once I become king, I must set our country right. I doubt the people will give me a warm reception, though. I did abandon them. All I can do is try to win back their trust, no matter how long it takes. In terms of the box office, Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee definitely bombed. 
we lost 5,000 gold, but I think through some weird tax loopholes, somebody in the production actually ended up getting paid. So I think it was profitable, even though on paper it was in the red. Filmmaking's really weird. Princess Erica, Prince Ephraim. Wait, that's not right. Princess Erica, Prince Ephraim. You should look outside. Outside? Wow, opening day for the final product. Garrick vs. Grotto 3, Return to Renee. The crowds! It's a full house, sold out! Prince Ephraim, uh, Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica, Garrick the Gallant. The king has returned, our king! Glory to Renee! Long live King Ephraim! Regal silence. They're not cheering for you. They cheer because Orson's misrule is at an end. Come on, don't... Don't kill the buzz, Seth. Seth, what's that? They cheer the possibility of a better tomorrow, not the deeds we did today. But how will the hearts of the people move tomorrow and the next day? That is for you to decide. I will not let their hopes and dreams be shattered again. I will be king, like my father before me. I will dedicate myself to their happiness. And I'll do all I can to help Ephraim. Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica. Before Rene fell, King Fado entrusted me with this message. Raise the twins' bracelet in the Hall of Kings. The seal will be broken. The resting place of the sacred stone will be revealed. I understand. So we're supposed to raise our bracelets over our heads, right? Let's try it, Erica. I'm ready, Ephraim. Bracelets, engage! Is this Legend of Zelda? This is the trailer for... This is the trailer for... Garrick vs. Grotto Episode 4? Gorgon... Zola. It's a working title. This is the Stone of Renee. Yes. This is one of the five stones that defeated the Demon King. If Li- Lion? It's spelled with a Y. It's Lion, right? That's Leon. That's oh, Leon. Together, we protected the only power that can help us stop Leon's insanity. Yes. It's the only hope left to us. Hope for you and me. And the last true hope for peace. Let's get back, Erica. Huh? Brother, look! Our bracelet's there! What's this? Are they reacting to the light of the stone? Ephraim's solar brace and Erica's lunar brace glow in answer to the sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance. With the power of the bracelets, the twins can now change glasses! Do you want Ephraim to change classes now? Why is this even an option? Our base class was EXP Thief. We don't need to interview the main character. Solar Brace. Hey, where'd that horse come from? The promotion bonuses are actually huge. Look at this. Look at this! <laughs> Five res. What is the Demon King gonna do? You want Erica to change classes now? I mean, we need the support characters ready, right? A Lunar Brace. Where'd this horse come from? These promotion gains also huge. Look at that, plus two strength. Plus five re- The final boss is a mage, what is he gonna do? I can't believe the bracelets contain so much power. I wonder if father anticipated all of this long ago. When I was growing up, I never thought about becoming king. I only wanted to be a good soldier, a good warrior, the best on the battlefield. Father never understood what I wanted, but I never understood him either. Why did he choose to be a general? Sibling silence. It was the same when Grotto invaded Rene. I should have stayed home to defend the kingdom. Instead, I raced off to fight for personal glory. Brother, I don't think you know how well father understood your feelings. 
When I last saw him, he was concerned for nothing but our safety. Erica's correct. King Fado asked after your exploits every day. Keep that word in, in mind, exploit. He always told me what a fine king you would make one day. Father. Now, Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica, please follow me. The sacred twins of Rene should be near the stone's reliquary. Do berserkers know what reliquary means? Ah, here we go. This lance can only be one of the sacred twins of Rene. Please, Prince Ephraim, take this sacred relic and feel its weight. So this is one of our sacred twin relics, is it? I've never seen them. Look, there's a name inscribed here. Sigmund. The Flame Lance! Everyone's favorite weapon. God, Sigmund! Uh, this is probably the best weapon in the entire game. The Sacred Twin Fire Lance. Strength plus 5. 17 might. Triple versus monsters. Best weapon in the game. It's probably better than Garm, but Garm is close. I don't need a physics staff. <laughs> And this blade is sister to the lance, the other sacred twin of legend, Princess Erica. If you would. Of course. There's a name carved here as well. Sieglind. The Thunderblade. Blessed blade of the Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. It's only 2x versus monsters? Oh, okay, well it's still pretty good. I don't need a vulnerary. <laughs> These are the ancient weapons of our forefathers. The weapons of heroes. They were enshrined generations ago to be used only by the king. I don't know if this is a burden I'm capable of bearing, but it is a PRF weapon, so I guess it's alright. But I do know that this is no time to curse my fate. I will fight. For my father, for my country, and for my people. Hey, where'd you guys get those horses from? What's happening? Have you found the sacred stone only for the Game Boy Advance? We found it. Here it is. Wow! It truly is spectacular. There goes some way to brighten the dark shadows that loom over us. Our country's sacred stones have been shattered by Grotto's men. The stone of Rene is our last remaining weapon. No, it's not. You've forgotten the stone of my beloved Rouston. Remember, there were five sacred stones, only for the Game Boy Advance, for our five nations. The stones of Grotto, Frelia, and Jehenna are gone, but hope is not. We have the stone of Rene, after all, and that of Rouston is safe. Our road is clear, my friends. I must guide you to Rouston. Lead the way, Labrachel. Of course. And you will all be welcome to stay in the palace. I'm a monster! They say I'm a monster. That's just a rumor. Chapter 16, Ruled by Madness. That took a while. River of Regrets. That's not the Gorgon map, is it? I need to get Shadow Spec Molder. Otherwise, the thumbnail is a lie. Oh, we get this music, though. I really like this music. We get Cyrene here, right? Alright, two more maps today, I guess. How long are we going? Oh, only eight hours? Pathetic. The Gorgon map is 18. We need Flux Tomes. I'm not paying for these. Hey, who's on the prop crew? That guy that nobody likes, right? Send him to buy props. I'll take a flux tome. Okay, that'll be 950 gold. I'll be paying half price. You'll accept it, right? Okay, well, for bulk orders from your film crew, I guess we can take the loss. Mend! That's probably enough, right? Let's check our equipment. That's fine. I think
think everyone's fine. The talisman. <laughs> the talisman. Okay. Who on our cast needs resistance? <laughs> it might actually be Cormag. Alright. Ephraim, 14 res. Tethys, 17 res. Cormag, 5 res. Tana, 14 res. Lars Shell, 22 res. Ewan, 18 res. Seth, 12 res. Garrick, 12 res. Oh, Ross only has 7. Amelia, 14 res. Mulder, 17 res. Uh, Mir, 27 res. Erica, 12 res. Okay, I think it actually goes to... Cormag. Fan mail for Cormag. I wonder what's inside this talisman. Oh. My brother Glenn. When I gaze upon your memory, somehow, I feel stronger. You give me the strength to resist these hardships. Magic shall not save you. The Demon King will fall, I swear it. Okay, let's sell this Iron Lance. And just get a fresh one. I'm thinking Javelin and Iron Lance. Javelin and Iron Lance. Well, here, let's get our Flux Tomes. Don't need these. I actually don't really need a... Use Eclipse. <laughs> I guess. Oh, we get the Brave Axe this chapter? I'm ready. We're gonna need Flyers for this chapter. Power Inventories. That's fine. That's fine. I forgot to actually get the items out. Iron Lance. Horse Slayer's terrible. Hey, can we get a Javelin, please? I've not seen the Pierce glitch on stream, no. I thought the prop department was supposed to take care of this. Franz the Benched. I guess we don't actually need to buy Javelins. We will eventually, but... This one has 20 uses. Hey, Dusel was his mentor. Thanks, Dusel. Ewan is fine now. That's definitely enough uses. Hana's fine. Seth is fine. Garrick uh, needs another hand axe. What level is Garrick? Okay, we should use this energy ring, right? Tomahawk. The Tomahawk! It's too valuable. It's too valuable. I can't use it. But hoarding is a pitfall. I'll take it. Amelia is fine. Molder is fine, right? Sell it for the funds we lost on set. Not the energy ring. So who actually needs the energy ring? How is Erica? 15 strength? I think Erica probably needs it, right? Gonna be fighting on this map? It'll help her out a lot. Now that she has promotion, we'll be we'll have given her two energy rings. But hoarding is a pitfall. Well, Ewan doesn't really need it because magic tends to do a lot of damage anyway. And he might not be doing that much fighting after he's a summoner anyway. 
I never knew our bracelets held so much power. But I always knew that this ring... Health greatness. Plus two strength. Does Tana need it? I think Tana's fine. Tana has 20 strength. She's fine. Alright. Who's ready for... I guess we'll wait here. Who is ready for Garrick versus Grotto? Four. I actually don't know what this one is called. Riverside Rumble. Revenge at the River. It's called River of Regrets. I wonder who the boss is here. Working title, working title. River of Stones. Night of Farewells? That's plagiarism, bro. Gorgonzola? That's that's the next one. Be like our main character, Garrick, who can use axes. Equip a hammer. And smash that like button to help with our social media promotion for the Garrick vs. Grotto series. River of NPCs? Live River se Severed? Did it crash? This actually might not be a Garrick vs. Grotto movie. Maybe it's a spin-off. Garrick's Bizarre Adventure. Funding for these films is provided in large part by the mighty Patreons. You can see all of our number one backers on screen now. Thanks to all of the mighty Patreons for funding these film operations. Rivers of Blood. <laughs> That's a little on the nose, right? Maybe it's what the viewers want. It might be a spinoff, though. We'll have to see. Garrick versus Grotto 4, Magic the Gathering. It doesn't make any sense. Who comes up with this stuff? River of Regrets. Can Erica cross river on a mount? I'm not sure. Is this the beach episode? <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to contribute to the sacred spreadsheet uh, meme documents, perhaps make some movie posters for the Garrick vs. Grotto series, it's pseudo-public, 600 BST. You can find the link by joining the Discord, link in the description, and then going to channel discussion, and you'll find it there. Unfortunately, I can't just have the link in the chat, because some of the more rowdy fans have ruined everything, so we have to vet all the art beforehand. Garrick jumps the shark. The Sacred Stones, unlike the Game Boy Advance, that defeated the Demon King, radiate a constant and dazzling light. The Sacred Stones, unlike the Game Boy Advance, are the only power against the dark, the last hope of humanity. This is the trailer. It is only natural that evil would seek to destroy the Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance. There can be no other force behind this attempt to gain the stones. A childhood friend appears before Ephraim. Garrick vs. Grotto The Last Hope? River of the Dark Lord? We'll just call it Garrick like Jaws? What about THE Garrick? Two years ago, ooh. How do you intend to use the Sacred Stones in the Game Boy Advance? Is it Lion? It's spelled with a Y. That's Leon. Oh, it's Leon. Okay, Leon. Do you really think you can tap into its power? Tapped! Hmm. My research isn't complete, but there's no mistaking the power the Sacred Stones only for the Game Boy Advance contain. And the Stone of Grotto seems especially responsive to my dark magic. I suppose it's because it contains both sacred and demonic properties. This isn't ominous at all. Regardless, if I can just press my studies a little harder... Well, I think I might be able to use it to heal my father's illness. 
If that works, well, there's no telling how many other people I can help as well. Do you think this is wise? The power contained within the stones is beyond our understanding. My father tells me that the stones possess a power not to be trifled with. Uh-huh. Father McGregor is also against it. That's why they still won't give me direct access to the Stone of Grotto. And for the time being, I've made do with the radiant energies surrounding it. They're nothing compared to the raw power of the stone itself, but... If I can show Father McGregor some pr real progress, perhaps one day... For those who might have missed this, I'm not joking here, this is actually part of the story. We do know what happens to Father McGregor. So after Leon, I guess, succeeds in his research and creates the Dark Stone, uh, Father McGregor talks about how it was a mistake and how... Uh, I guess the Dark Stone must be destroyed, and then Evil Leon has him executed. Using the Sacred Stones only for the Game Boy Advance to study magic. Ephraim, Erica, what do you two think? Using the Divine Power of the Sacred Stones only for the Game Boy Advance in this way. You don't think it's a very good idea, do you? It's just that I know nothing at all of magic. I would that there was some way I could help you, but I simply can't. But, Leon, I've seen how hard you've worked to help others. I know how much you want the power to make others happy. I know these things, and because I know you. I trust you. I trust your intentions. If you hope to use the power of the Sacred Stone only for the Game Boy Advance for good, I trust you can. I'm behind you all the way. I agree with Ephraim entirely. You spend every night in the library studying cures for your father's illness. The power of the sacred stones only for the Game Boy Advance is too powerful to be used for personal gain. But you, Leon, I think you'll be fine. You're the kindest person I know. Thanks, both of you. Hearing those words from you means a lot to me. Actually, and this hasn't been made public yet, but... I've already saved someone using the knowledge I've gained so far. You have? Uh-huh. A while back, a fire ravaged Seraphue and a little girl got trapped in the flames. The burns were terrible. Not even healing stats were able to cure her injuries. But just a sliver of the stone's power restored her to life and healed her wounds. We saved that girl's life, Ephraim! You could have seen the tears of joy in her mother's eyes. You really did it, huh? You are special, Leon. Congratulations! Well, thanks. But there's still so much more to be done. I'm happy, though. To be honest, I just want to help people. I want to put the ancient magics to use for the common good. That's how I feel. Leon. And as my research moves forward, I'll be able to do much more, too. We have only the barest understanding of how dark magic operates. Maybe we can use it not only to heal wounds, but also to stop diseases. What if we can read the future, predict disasters, move mountains? Hold on, Leon. You can't take too much on yourself all at once. What good is helping people if you sacrifice yourself to do it? Yes, of course. Sorry. I got carried away. You have a soft heart, Leon. I bet you haven't taken any real time off at all. Well, this is what we're going to do. Today, we're going into the city. And you're going with us, Leon. Uh, what? But Ephraim, you've got a history report too. We're taking today off. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, Leon! But, but Ephraim, it's just one day, and I won't tell anyone. You think Cog is gonna find out? Won't it be fun for the three of us to spend a day in the city? Ephraim, Erica, thanks so much. I'm lucky to have the two of you as friends. And I'm sure they'll be friends forever. We have the Stone of Rene. The final sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance, is in Rouston. La Rochelle, can you tell us anything about the Stone of Rouston? Naturally! As Rouston's very own princess, I know a thing or two about our stone. The palace reliquary currently houses our sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance. Follow me and I'll take you there. I sent the Frelian army ahead of us. They should be en route to Rouston. If we hurry, we can join up with them at the ba banks of the D N N N Narub River. First try. Do not falter! Show them the might of Frelia! Not these guys. 
Ah, uh, good effort. Who cast these extras? Is this the Might of Frelia? <laughs> Lady Cyrene, the enemy is headed this way. Are you serious? Grotto's been defeated and still they fight on? And they're tough. You Frelian fools have been wiped out by those guys. Oh no, now we're finished as well. This guy's a good actor. Everyone, please remain calm. If you panic and flee, the enemy will simply surround you. If you remain here and don't move, I promise to protect you all. Lady Cyrene. Brother, look! There! A skirmish! Is that Cyrene? What's going on? We must go to her aid! Everyone hold! Something evil is afoot. Okay, apparently in Japanese it's... Sirene. Wait, something evil? I thought this is le- Wait a minute. This isn't Leon. It's Leon. Leon? Erica, Ephraim. Leon, where have you been all this? Erica, stop. Brother? Leon. We met recently in Grotto Keep, right? Do you remember what you told me then? Of course I remember. What of it? You. I can repeat it for you now if you would like. The ruin of Rene? The murder of your father. It was all my doing. I, Leon, Prince of Grotto, made it happen. L Leon? You lie! That can't be! Don't be fooled, Erica. Keep your guard up. That's not Leon. What amusing things come babbling out of your mouth. You always thought of Leon as kind, gentle, and weak, didn't you? Admit it. No! Leon, Erica, and I were friends. There were things we kept to ourselves, of course, but we shared so much. No matter what happened, no matter how much time passed, we're still friends. Leon would never betray us. Not in a million years. <laughs> I see. So I have no reason to continue hiding my true identity, do I? None. You are correct. This body no longer belongs to your long young Leon. I devoured his pathetic heart ages ago. You monster! Who are you? Do you really want to know? Do you really not know me? What a poorly educated prince. Think about it. Remember the legends of your pitiful kind. What was sealed within the stone of Grotto? What is the name of terror? No. It can't be! It's as we feared after all. That can only be... The great adversary of antiquity. The Demon King. <laughs> That's right. You know to fear my name. Prince Leon was a weakling. Now, he is dead. That can't be. Prince Ephraim of Rene, you hold the sacred stone. Give it to me. I have no wish to see a warrior die a pitiful death beneath my feet. Bend your knee. If you pledge service to me, I may yet let you live. Do you take me for a fool? I'm not as dumb as my sister! You've made your choice, have you? A poor choice. But it does afford me a chance to show you something special. A force no human flesh could withstand. A horror beyond words! 
a power that will place this sad world under my dominion. I am the Demon King. Behold my might. This Demon King actor is like really good. He's really handsome too. Who did the casting? Pick units. You probably want Erica here, right? Ephraim is force deployed, but Erica is not. Alright, Murray, you can sit this one out. I didn't do the casting? Well, maybe I did. Check map. So there is... I think she's actually the last recruitable unit in the game, right? I think Cyrene is actually the final unit review we're gonna do. So we got Cyrene here. Uh, you get, I think, something kind of decent if you protect the river folk. Look at that. Fake heroes. <laughs> rescue staff? We definitely want the rescue staff. Leon. God, 29 magic. That's Leon. The Fenrir. That's a stealable. Renak can steal it, because it's 17. So we, we tie him in speed, which means we can steal it. It's linked, thank you. So I guess we need Renak. Oh, we can steal that elixir. The Brave Axe. These are the Garrett cosplayers, right? Hey, wait! Look over there! Whoa! That's Garrick himself! Hey, man! We love your work! We love you, bro! <laughs> The Garrett cosplayers. Oh, guiding, but they drop that. Fimble Vetra, but they drop that. Okay. Let's see, Fenrir. So he's got 17 speed, 7 con, and Fenrir weighs 18. Okay, so he loses 11 speed. But he actually has 6 speed. Mismatching the casting here. Alright, so we can't mess around that much. We do want to get that Draco shield for sure. So that means we do need to deploy Renak. Seth, sit this one out. Well, obviously, the correct choice to undeploy is Ewan. Ewan sucks. Sorry, Seth. Is the secret shop on this chapter? I'm gonna click this link in the chat. Am I sure I want to leave YouTube? Yeah, I trust you. River of Regrets. I don't think there's a... No secret shop. No, no secret shop, right? It's a shop that's visible. Okay, so no problem. We have to remember to actually deploy Renak. Yeah, he has 17 speed, so we can steal it. Alright. I believe what we do is... I mean, the, the fans are waiting, right? The fans are waiting.
we gotta airdrop him, right? <laughs> it's what the fans want. Can't change that. Break the snag and then rush our units across. Just have Renak in the back. We do have a warp staff if we want, but it's the Reaver armory. So we gotta rush somebody up here. So probably our flyers are gonna go there. And then everyone else is gonna go up and around. And that'll involve the stealing as well. Can we buy stuff here later? We can, right? These are Grotto Remnants. Who recruits Cyrene? Can Tana do it? Tana can do it, right? Oh, the good stuff, no? Okay, so who's our secret shopper? Tana, Vanessa, or Kaiba, okay. So secret shopper, Renak. Where's Kaiba? We need the Kaiba Core Company ID. There we go. Uh, let's also just get some money, right? How many more hero crests do we need? We can sell these promotion items for a lot of money. And the Master Seal and the Ocean Seal. We can sell one hero crest, right? We can probably get them later as well. We sell for full price, right? Yeah, we do. No, Marissa? That's probably enough money, right? Let's sell one more. The Master Seal's gotta be worth a lot, right? We don't need the Master Seal. We don't need the Master Seal. Hey man, I got some real goods for you. 10,000 for the Master Seal! Mastered! Uh, we can give you an A. We can give you in the Gaiden Ring, right? Like, in his inventory. Obviously, we're not gonna promote him, because he's level... He's in level 16. If you promote before 20, that's not your fault. There's no way we go through 45 fluxes. Alright, I think we're ready. Alright. Quiet on set, we are filming. Garrick vs. Grotto 4, also known as... Garrick. It's just the title, just Garrick. That's a working title. If somebody has a better title for Garrick vs. Grotto... We're gonna go. All right. He's too big. <laughs> I'm not even going to be on the forest! Literally nobody can pick him up. Am I going to use a warp staff for this? <laughs> Garrick vs. Grotto Riverside Fun. Garrick vs. Grotto 4 to Hell and Back. Rise of the Demon King. 
Palco Knight Vanessa can? Oh no. I can't believe I'm using a... This is so sad, guys. This is so sad. Oh, he can cross rivers? Oh, heroes can cross rivers, right? Garrick versus Grotto 4! Riverside Rampage! He's the main character! He doesn't need any help! We're going! Okay, well now, so Erica's promoted, right, to Bad Cavalier. So that, now that we're a Bad Cavalier, we can actually equip a Javelin and hit that snag. So... Oh. Well, we hit a snag, all right. Yet another snag swap challenge. Okay, this is definitely not optimal. This is definitely not optimal. But it's the only way to do it. Like, come on. Theming is important. We have to cut down a tree. There's only one way. There's only one way. Everybody's favorite character. It's Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Hatchet by Gary Paulson! There he is! Lightweight and easy to hit with! I love hatchets. They're lightweight and easy to hit with. Yet another snag swap. Okay. Flyers up here. Great turn one, by the way. This turn one is a disaster. Right, what do we do here? We give support boosts for three tiles, so up to there. Only weakness fixed. Only weakness fixed. What is Grotto going to do? How was that reading? Alright, Secret Shopper Renak. That's pretty good. Secret Shopper Renak, this is pretty good. We'll get this later. Our number one mission is to steal that Draco Shield. Eclipsed. Eclipsed. Uh, maybe Mulder can... I really wish I had a physic. Oh, wish granted. Alright, and he can try and patch up the flyers. That's his job. Erica the Elite. Oh, the Silver Lance. Oh, the Silver Lance. Eric is so useless. Well, there's turn one. Where's that guy going? Yo, is that Garrick? Yo, that's him! Do you think he'll sign my axe? That's a pretty good hit rate. No. Oh. Hey, we don't even kill him. Just kidding. Stop stealing the show. I'm a monster! Fans are going crazy for Lab Rochelle. Everyone's favorite character, she didn't even get speed. <laughs> hey! This guy dies because we just got a magic level up. I mean, I'm just assuming we double him. 
Bye. I'm a monster. Uh, I thought monsters were only on the enemy team. Lightning. Okay, our hit rate's terrible. Ouch. We didn't even double him. Why did we raise this character? Lightning. Okay, great other phase. Kaga loved that last turn, guys. Alright, you and can you like not die? Nope. Still have the rapier, by the way. It doesn't even kill and we get double what is this? Is this Cog of Destiny? Is this Cog of Destiny? Good thing we brought Reggie Leaf. Good thing we brought Reggie Leaf. You think you can stand up to Ephraim the Elite? Okay, rapier against this guy, right? Okay, that's good. Three Draco Knights. Wait, it's not gonna be three. It's not gonna be three. You think you can set? Oh, that was a normal attack. Very fancy. You win. Oh, I have. How do I attack at three range? Ah, with the Eclipse Tome. <laughs> oh. Horrible. I can't get any of them. But we definitely want to get rid of as many of these Wyvern Riders as we can. Okay, maybe I should be using more than a hand axe. We can camp in this forest, but well, that's for sure. Probably fair to say, well, okay, Garrick the Gallant. I don't know if he's actually our best unit. Lab Rochelle is actually crazy. That weakens him, that's really good. La this is the Lab Rochelle spin off. Okay, can we have you and Nod die? If he moves one up, he doesn't die. They don't like double him, right? 14 speed? Okay, okay, he doesn't get doubled. So he can fight one. So this is fine. Let's not equip Eclipse. There we go. Renak proceeding cautiously. Can he not stack? He actually might be able to. Okay, this is actually very important because this means that we can get Cyrene out of there. These guys can't reach the villagers. That's good. Our father goes up there. Okay, this turn was mostly fine, I think. Hotel Kaga. That guy has a sword. I think we just wait here without equipped, right? 
Fellas, fellas, separate lines, please! Let's do this recruit here. Talk. Cyrene, are you alright? Princess Tana, you must stay back. This place is dangerous. Tana, stay back. No, I won't let you die. That Luna Druid can kill you on turn two. Hold on, I'm coming to help you at once. Princess Tana, you've grown so much. Very well. I'm yours to command, my lady. Well, she's ours to command. Then let us command our final recruitable unit in Sacred Stones. Cyrene! Much maligned by the community, despite her being a promoted flyer. I don't know what's so bad about Cy Despite being a promoted flyer, her stats are worse than Seth's, who joined in the prologue. There's flying you. There's something to be said about flyer utility. With atrocious combat. Well, here's your atrocious combat. Oh boy. It's Green Juno. $10 macro transaction. We need more Blue gold! Crimson 217. She's worse than our Vanessa? I think so. This Cyrene is actually better than our Vanessa. However, our Vanessa is a minion of the Demon King, okay? If you have anywhere near average luck, trained Vanessa will clobber Cyrene. I definitely think that Cyrene is overhated and underrated because a lot of people think she's just unusable. She's not unusable. She has eight flying move. That's about all the use you're going to get out of her, but that's not that bad. Two stars? Well, she has bad... She has... Okay, she has bad bases for her level, but so does Seth, right? And Seth has really good growth, so Cyrene's growths are... So so. They're they're actually better than I expected. If you saw these growths on an unpromoted Pegasus Knight, you'd be like, yeah, that's the Pegasus Knight. Fun fact: Cyrene is actually the only Falco Knight available in the game. Fun fact, Cyrene is actually the only Falco Knight available in the game. I've heard rumors that Vanessa and Tana can also access the Falco Knight class, but I've literally never seen it. If you found footage, if you found secret undoctored footage of Falco Knight, Tana, or Vanessa, please send it to the email address on your screen now. Come on, you...
you really couldn't give her at least B swords? You really had to give her C? At least it's not E. They put her in heroes. I guess that means she's a good unit. The official Sirene art. The official Sirene art. Okay, that's lovely, Sirene. Um, we have to fight the Demon King, okay? Stop being a poser. Start fighting! Get on their Pegasus! We gotta go! Huge support list, featuring mostly good units and Gilliam. But unfortunately, one of the bad units on here is Cyrene herself. And it is getting pretty late, so we haven't mentioned it yet, but since she is literally the last character, her availability is literally the worst. One of the worst flyers in the series, but even then, she's not bottom of the barrel. She, she does have Levitate. Two stars for her taxi utility, but even then, you can't even put all your luggage in. She only has 13 aid. Where are your priorities, girl? Speaking of priorities, she's not on our deployment priority. To the bench with you. So that's Cyrene, two stars. At least we can save the citizenry. I guess our dancer should go over here, right? We gotta fight these druids! Can one even reach us? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, don't worry, on this peak we'll have magic defense! Javelins equipped! Good thing we gave the boots to a meal- we fixed our only weakness. What is this guy doing? No, my hatch! Okay, we saved hatchet uses. Oh, you think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? What's this guy doing? We're saving hatchet uses! You think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? I didn't equip her javelin? What? Yo, Garrick, man, I love your work! Always happy to meet a fan. this guy doing? F kill for you and- Cyrene the Soiled. All according to Keikaku, this is what we wanted. Hey, we even kill him. And we know he doesn't double us. All according to Keikaku.
Uh oh. Well, he can suck us, because that's 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 a lot of damage. That's a lot of dam Later, nerd. But that's a lot of damage. Who said I didn't equip her javelin? You think you can set up to Tana the Talented? Hey, Dat Crayon, welcome. You're just in time for Tana the Talented's fantastic level up. And what did I tell you? Ooh, who cast this lady? I want her in my next movie. Don't call her a Nepo baby. What a level! That actually might have been the best level up the entire run. We didn't get luck though, so I guess it wasn't technically lucky. What do we rate this girl? The rich get richer. Didn't have to use the Metis' tome on this. Kaga loved it. These guys all have axes, right? No, that guy's a silver sword, that guy's a silver axe, that guy's the brave axe. I should have given Garrick the sword slayer. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just let him attack me, right? We could physic and then dance, right? Once we deal with this druid... So this guy moves in, but he doesn't reach in one turn, right? No. Cormac can't do it because Cormac's like dying. This is fine. Ouch. Move Tethys for the support bonuses? Maybe. I wonder where the reinforcements are. Does anything come from back here? It feels like something has to, right? For sure. If we put you in here... We'd have to defend him on this peak, which Ross can actually get to. So we actually can do this. Your reinforcement senses are tingling. It really feels like they'd put reinforcements there, right? Probably should have checked if any of these had two range. Nope, okay. Not two range? That guy does have two range. Defend the water boy! Does he get doubled? Not by the two range, right? That's just a javelin. That guy doesn't. This guy's a silver lance. He's gotta die. We can kill him, right? The maniac mode. The maniac. The maniac is in the mode! Twenty-eight. Do we get three damage? Oh, we can... There's no way we get three damage from the support, right? It's a fire support. Three damage? It's a fire A support. I thought this guy was promoted! Did you guys know that Wyverns are weak to thunder? I'm a monster! 
I'm a monster. Okay, Ewan definitely dies to this javelin now. Oh no, I have physics. Look at that. Healed! The Wyvern must not have had Delta Stream. And now we're at full health. Perfect. Cormag still has his action. He's almost dead. Okay, this dancer use is definitely suboptimal. Cormag the critically injured. How many are in range for there? Is it both? That's yeah, both. It's all three, so... Medic! The medical staff. It's literally a staff. There we go. I wish I had more resistance. You're safe, child. Let's just make sure that Renak doesn't die. <laughs> Does Erica die? Not if we reeve, right? Reeved. Okay. I think we're okay. The forts will have reinforcements? Okay. We just let them attack us. We're probably fine. And if we're not fine, we'll just do a retake, right? We'll tell Kaga. Oh man, is that THE Garrick? I love your work, man. I guess he's not a swordmaster. This guy's a silver sword, right? Yo, it's Garrick himself! No way! Garrick crit me! Oh, this is the best day! Is that Garrick? Hey man, I'm your biggest fan! Whoa! Garrick himself killed me! I'm gonna remember this forever. Yo, is that Garrick? It's him! Yo, Garrick sliced me! The main character, 24 strength. My killing axe you my brave axe uses. You sure, pal? We definitely double this clown. We're not in rage of that berserker. I'm actually not worried about a crit because our luck is crazy. Th that's according to Keikaku. That's also according to Keikaku. There's no way we double him, right? We need to deal six more damage. How do we get that? Uh oh. Well, Cyrene, you're not doing anything else, right? We're supported here. Dodging this would be nice, but it's not the end of the world. Is this Advanced Wars? Same company, but no. They can't hit the child, right? Nope. Oh, we can do that. So we can actually kill all of them. Let's do that. Mm. 
Medic! Killed? This guy's L fire. The iron sword, though. My sword rank! Hey, it actually increases my evade, because I, for some reason, didn't go <laughs> Wyvern Knight. <laughs> so I get weighed down by everything. Whoops. So useful. Guiding ring! I think this guy's gonna get killed. Oh, he gets doubled. Oh, because he's got Fimble Vetra. Well, that's a lot of damage. Okay, this guy can't reach me, right? There's no way. Okay, there's no way. It's close, though. Killed? 44% chance killed. Not killed. Dodged? Cool animation. Not dodged. Killed? Killed! You think you can stand up to Cormag the Cremator? Unfortunate. Hey, Fimble Vetra! I want to deal some damage to this guy. With my Iron Sword! Exact kill. <laughs> We're too good. Ephraim's Javelin? We're too good. I wish Erica had... Hmm. The Rune Sword! It's too good! <laughs> They don't have res, so our mage is really good against them, right? This'll probably work, right? Oh, and there's a oh, there's a guy there though. Bro, this you in water boy, I'm not feeling it. This is a horse, right? We do support from here. Oh, this guy's on defensive terrain. What if we Reggie leafed him for 43 damage? What about that? That seems like a good idea to me. Weaken this guy? We can weaken him? Then, how much damage to do with Flux? Actually, double him. It's pretty good. Sucked? No. Maybe we can be exposed if we suck them. Okay, we don't kill this guy, right? He has a battle axe. That's really scary. 40 attack. What's his crit rate? 31 crit. We negate a lot of that, though. Sword Amelia, right? Sword Amelia is the play. Like, what are they going to do against Sword Amelia? We have a zillion luck. And we just have to eliminate one of the Wyvern Riders. The other guy can't do anything. You think you can stand up to Lara Shell? I. It's not Lara Shell of the Lab. Um. Not Lara Shell. La Lara Shell of the. La I totally forgot. Lara Shell the. I'm a monster! The Lightbringer, that's it, yeah. She's a monster. She's a monster. Rochelle the Lightbringer. 
Uh, we're at full health, so actually we can just attack this guy, right? And this guy will attack us, but he only has a Steel Lance. So as long as he doesn't one-shot us... It's 30 attack. Okay, he doesn't one-shot us, we're fine. Oh, Larachelle the Luminous! Still use... Is that a Linkara reference? Not this time. Oh, Linkara. Okay, the Water Boy. The Water Boy! Are we gonna put him on set? Hey, speed's good. We gotta make sure Renak doesn't get killed. That's okay. Whoa, Garrick, where'd you get that axe? Whoa! What an honor! Got a brave axe, cool. Okay, there's no okay, they do have a crit chance, that's why. Good thing we leveled our our swords. A bit of a weird subplot to this Garrick side story. pretty good. This guy's deciding to waste our Reggie Leaf. Hey, he hit us! Reggie Leafed! We gotta preserve our Reggie Leaf uses. These guys are kinda spooky. More reinforcements. <laughs> Any enemies? Hello, anybody here? All right. Well, after massacring his own fan club, some say that Garrick didn't handle the fame well. We do have to kill this guy at two range after we steal. I guess we'll just have to do that. Don't want to waste Amelia's action. You think you can stand up to Amelia the Armored? that, did you? Renak the Reluctant! Can we get this guy? We need four more damage. No, one point off. One point off. The Rune Sword! Don't tell Kaga. The Rune Sword! Okay, well, we do have to hit here. Wait, that's a pretty good hit rate. Remember, you think you can stand up? To Ewan the Elucidated? That's the first crit we ever got on Ewan. This the first one. Ewan the Erudite. Finally, the Water Boy. Why did we hire this guy? Okay, Cormag is dying. You have a shine. We can get onto a mountain. That's probably a good idea, right? Alright, light versus dark. Very cliche story. Build those supports. Light versus dark. Are they even gonna attack? I only have 12 shine uses.
we can just start moving up, right? Renak shopping spree. Now that his mission's accomplished. That's fine. Oh, looking like XP. Light versus dark! You think you can stand up to Molder? The Moldy? We didn't kill him. Zero hit. Zero hit. Get out of here. Weapon level increased. Slayer level 99. Foul creature. Oh, more druids. Well, he can at least kill this guy. Shone. This must what this must be what they meant by Shonen. Twenty. We can deal twenty. We can deal twenty-one. We're training our sword rank. Oh, Tana the talented. How talented are we? She's going places. She's going places. Good night. Going to bed. You're lucky there's so much water, okay? I don't think we could set any fires. Ooh, Flux is kind of scary. Killed? If we kill him, then we don't have to worry about taking the counter hit. Killed? Not killed. Not killed. Cormag? Is he our new main character? Look at this. Here's our strength. We'll get speed next level, don't worry. It's pretty good. We're almost... Okay, we can heal and then be in range to fight? Yeah. And we still have some shine uses. Yeah, sure. What a shame, it's kind of cold. Alright, well. If you insist, I do have a solution for you. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never unlock Summoner Ewan! The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Burn down to their frames! Thanks for watching. What level is you? Ewan can definitely kill one of these, right? For sure. So if I Iron Sword this dude... Or I might even Hand Axe them. Yeah, Hand Axe times two, and then Ewan? For sure. Why did I attack this from one range? We can do 19 damage, right? We can do it twice! Good. Whoa. This guy's got 46 HP. And 13 defense. How do we kill him in one turn? You think you can stand up to Lara Shell, the Lightbringer? I'm the Lightbringer! I'm a monster! I'm a monster. Okay, Renak, Renak the Reluctant going on a shopping spree. 
Let's get our mileage out of that rapier. Ephraim needs to support his waifu. I think all of us can cross the mountain. What's Cyrene gonna do? Cyrene could bring... Athos? Labrachelle has been the biggest surprise of this run. She gets crazy levels. What's this guy doing? Weapon triangle advantage. Will we see the Erica crit animation? We have 17 crit. God, the rapiers. It's no Reggie Leaf. Uh oh. Well, there's no way we get doubled. Ouch. Oh, we doubled him! Fennekin has a good speed stat. Light versus dark. That's a lot of damage. Sucked. Molder the milked. And he can't heal himself. More flying units. This is so bad. What about the rune sword? The rune sword! The rune sword, that's... 38, right? Rune sword. The rune sword! Is this runescape? Rune sword. get one to attack Amelia, right? We're crossing the mountain. They can both attack Amelia, that's perfect. Oh, I need the hand axe though, because I need to double them. I mean, they can try attacking Labrachelle, they're just gonna get wiped. We can take the hard way around! Look at that! Berserker! We're on the river! We're in a bit of a pinch here. Molder on the forest is definitely fine, right? What's that guy gonna do? He does... Exact damage. Evasive maneuvers. Can we drop her above? We cannot. <laughs> Eclipse tone. What's this guy have? Oh, he has Luna, so we don't have to worry about him. So that's the scariest guy, so we should probably have Tana do that. I think you can stand up to Cormag the Cremator. And if we get hit, we just heal her. If we do it from here, we can heal her while we're in a forest. It's probably better, right? Well, that's bad. Don't tell Kaga. If we heal from here, we're exposed to a 33% hit. If we heal from here with the Physic, we're not. 
33% is basically zero. And this way we save a physic use. Hey kid, I know you're in a pinch, but... Don't worry, Garrick the Gallant's here. You're all safe now. Okay, but you... Sir Garrick, you didn't do anything. We're getting two... You win kills this turn. It's gonna be great. We're gonna kill one of them. We're gonna dance. He's gonna kill the other one. Okay, well, this one's gonna die. Well, we get one... One you win kill. Are we S Anima yet? It's probably coming up. Once we get S Anima, we don't have to worry about healing with Labrachelle anymore. We can just do it. You think Tana dies? She has full health. Tana the Talented? Are we sure? Alright, well, I mean, there's like a 24-ish percent chance we die here. We're fine. Put your faith in the light! And the light shall bless you. It is in times of trial that our faith is truly tested. Ninety-nine Slayer. Okay, we're fine. Depart Fights justice. Creature. The lady on the right is definitely a friendly light user, right? She really looks like it. Fluxstone. You think you can stand up to you and the educated? I read a book, and this book told me to get great levels. I read a book. But I was sitting down. So I didn't really get any faster, but... I'll, I'll learn that lesson next level. They can attack this peak. Surely Ewan on the peak. Oh, a uh, cat? Sweet. <laughs> Two strength! We did it! Oh, what what's the Demon King gonna do? Careless power. Why does she have a strength growth? can't make it to the mountain. There's no way we get... We gotta make sure. We gotta make sure that we don't suffer from success. 14 speed. We have 15 speed, but these guys have steel lances, right? So they're weighed down. Weighs 13. So they lose 4. So we do double this guy. And they definitely 2 hit KO me. We let one of them attack Tethys. I think we just do that. Erica can hide in the forest. What a great lord. The rest of us are moving out. We need Secret Shopper... We can't cross this at all, can we? The body ring. The body ring! Too big. 
Hey, Cyrene can pick her up. Too big. We gotta deal with this. The Swordmaster. He doesn't have, like, a Reaver, right? He'd kill us, though. He could kill us. I'm actually really scared. Ah, uh, we, we don't have two javelins. We can trade over a fresher one from Cormag. Does the javelin get us doubled? I doubt it. Support? So if we support, we actually get better stats. So let's actually do that. Mag, thanks for warning me about that archer the other day. Your wyvern startled me, but I think you may have saved my life. Well, you should thank him then. I can't take credit for it. I mean, he started shrieking out to you before I even saw that bowman. Really? That's amazing. In that case, thank you. The bond between a wyvern and rider is close, and this guy's a smart one. I'm sure you and your pegasus are the same, wouldn't you say? This is why we had to go Falco Knight, to keep it canon. Oh, yes. It's the same with every knight in her pegasus. It's so sad to see how war has changed the way we relate to our animal allies. It's taking such a tremendous toll on these beautiful creatures. I agree. This whole war is ludicrous. War itself is madness. Even more so if it's for greed or the fantasy of power. I hope our efforts to end this war quickly. I don't want to see anyone else die. Nor do I. But you cannot race headlong into battle. We'll need you to help rebuild our shattered nations, after all. We soldiers are expendable, but you regal types aren't. Core Mag, don't say that! But it's true. No! No life is expendable! Your Highness, don't throw your life away. Promise me, will you? Core Mag the Conflicted. As you wish, Princess. I'll be careful. I have your promise, Cormag. This war will never end. The director smells money in the sequels. <laughs> Main character, Garrick, coming up. Cormag the Charismatic. Well, that was... Friendship Forged, right? Friendship Forged. Okay, just in case we get doubled and uh, killed by the Swordmaster... Don't tell Kago, okay? We're filming a backup. Secret Shopper Renak? Welcome to the general store. How can I help you? I'd like a Thunder Tome. Okay, that'll be 700 gold. Um, <clears throat> I'd like a Thunder Tome? I'm holding a silver card. I'd like a Thunder Tome? That'll be 350 gold. The Nosferatu! We gotta suck him. Suck him three times. That's probably enough. Two men's, maybe? Probably enough. And that's enough. And this is apparently our last opportunity to get Nosferatu, like, in the entire game, so... There's no way a melee with an iron sword... defeats these guys, right? This is a little scary. This is real scary. You think you can stand up to Tana the Talented? Great sword master. That was Erica's crit animation. Why are we feeding these kills to Erica? What kind of boots were they? They were... 
Not the apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. They were the swift soles. Stop stealing our experience, Erica. Okay, this is a little scary. Not moldy. Put your faith in the light. Man, light magic sucks. <laughs> Okay, that's also a little scary. We're not scared of the Luna, we're scared of the Flux guy. How many druids have they got in that castle? Tana the Talented? Can't all be winners. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Tana the Talented. Javelin break? I'm just that weighed down. Okay, this is our training spot, right? We know this. We know how this goes. Make sure they can both attack me. Look at this. The, the perfect crime. The perfect crime. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of how Garrick vs. Grotto 4, Rivers of Blood, it didn't really have Garrick in it. He was there in the beginning, but most of it's been about these other characters. I can use my Iron Lance. We'll get Pierce one day. Directors try like trying to push new characters no one likes. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that choice in movies. Hey, our sword rank. You think we should submit this script as Garrick versus Grotto 4? I mean, we already have the footage. The studio's gone woke? Nah, man. They've been woke since Garrick versus Grotto 3. Remember that scene in Return to Renee? That was the definition of woke. Garrick vs. Grotto 4, Path of the Pacifist? Well, I wouldn't call it that, because he brutalized his own fans. Uh, Garrick 4 isn't canon? Okay. Look at this guy. Fenrir. Fenrir! I think we just chill here, right? It's a spin-off of Gar Garrick's allowing the other characters to shine? We could steal that? By making him switch to Nosferatu, right? Then he drops Fenrir? Is this part of the Garrick verse? Garrick scholars have been debating that for a while. Whether or not you think Garrick versus Grotto 4, Rivers of Blood, was a cash grab, it depends on whether or not you liked it, pretty much. Medic! If he uses Nosferatu, then Fenrir becomes droppable, so we need to weaken him and then make him suck us. We're probably done with the reinforcements, right? We've killed so many. You did it, Cyrene. You saved the villagers. Oh, look at this, look at this. We're gonna get two Ewan kills. Guaranteed, guaranteed. You've never seen him use Nosferatu? They don't stop until turn 12? I feel like it might be turn 12. <laughs> We've been here a while. Do we need Fenrir? Fenrir seems really bad. Keep in mind, Amelia has capped speed. We don't have capped res. Your magic shall not save you. What is Leon gonna do? What is he gonna do? He's a mage. Fenrir is a collector's item. The Fenrir from the set of Garrick vs. Grotto 4, Rivers of Blood, has gotta be worth a ton of money, right? It's probably worth it. Oh, look at this. This is so juicy. This is so juicy. Juiced. 
squeeze that juice out of him. We need... Are we sure he's serving us water? Is it possible to make him equip Nosferatu? Two great knights, wow. Silver axe, silver sword, wow. We do enough damage with our hand axe. Probably. I mean, we could calc this, right? Do we calc this? If 12 def. Lol! Okay, we don't calc this. Hand axe is good enough. We don't want to kill him, we just want to weaken him. This is going to be juicy. It's going to be juicy. Where is Renak? Oh, he's over here. Critics have complained that Garrick versus Grotto for Rivers of Blood focuses too much on these river folk. Who cares about these river folk? Uh-oh. Well, they're warriors, so they can't water walk. Do you know that heroes use swords? We don't have any swords. Medic! Oh, wait, no, we do have we do have swords. We do have swords. I think we could even get into range, right? Yeah, we definitely can. Why would you ever go Wyvern Knight? Why would you ever go Wyvern Knight? Kaga. Supported from a safe distance. What level is Ewan? We've got to be almost at two more. Kaga will know once he watches Gary 4. We'll just cut it from the final movie. Why'd you go Falcon Eye? Because it looks better. Look at this. Tana the Talented. Thrilling the fans with her acrobatics. Yeah, they also paid me. <laughs> well, we don't die in one hit. Look at this. Weapon Triangle Advantage. You couldn't do this with Wyvern Knight. That's actually true. You couldn't. Okay, maybe we wanted to weaken them a little more than this. If we double them with Ewan, then that works. This guy's the Silver Sword, right? 11 damage? I thought we were a general. That's actually kind of scary. Oh, that's a Paladin! Oh, silver Sword. More reinforcements? Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors! Okay. It's a little scary. Can we double the Great Knight? If we can, we're okay. We can't. It's not the end of the world. It's just gonna be a bit messy. Hey, we get more chip XP. Alright, you and the water boy. We're getting level 20. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna kill the paladin with Amelia. Okay, you and the water boy. We want magic, we want speed. We want magic, we want speed. We got yeah, magic. Hey, defense. We're not so critically under understated anymore. 15 speeds, okay. We still... The capped res dream is dead, though, so... I don't know if people want to see any more of this guy. 
killed. We went over here and used our javelin. He's guaranteed to die. Can a wyvern reach us? Oh, we're one out. Well, this is literally guaranteed. Did he read the met this tome? I think so. That's what he told me anyway. He'd never lie. Okay, if our iron sword breaks, that's actually a big problem. Give an axe weaver. No. This guy can't reach us, right? No. He can reach there. Silver axe, that's super scary. We don't have enough swords! <laughs> He can't reach over there, right? He can. Okay, that's actually in range. I mean, we can just back up. Oh, Erica's on the way. Oh, Erica has swords. Near Renak the Reluctant. Ah, yes, everyone's favorite characters, the River Folk, reunited at last. We saved them. Good job, Cyrene. You can take on one of these guys, right? Let's make sure that we go to the, the Iron Lands once it breaks. Let's get some, right? Your uncle works in intelligent systems. I have to beat in the new game 25. New game plus 25. Oh, okay. If I get speed, maybe I'll try it. I don't have to now. I do have one. That's not right. Only one of them will be able to hit us. So let's make sure we don't have the Iron Sword equipped. This is probably fine. Don't tell Kaga. I think we're okay here. I don't know if we can even get the Fenrir. I don't even think we want the Fenrir Tome. a lot of damage. Ouch. You think you can set up to Cormag the Corrupter? I'm not sure. Well, that's actually kind of scary. So that other guy can't reach us, right? Because he has to go through the forest? The overall track is good? I know. You want it? It's yours, my friend. Last. My brother would never have gone out like this. If only I'd gone Wyvern Lord and gotten swords. Cut. Poor Mag, that wasn't right at all. Give it another try. It's a couple enemies here. We double the Steel Lance guy, right? So we kill him? We actually do. Is he finally holding his own? Once we reach level 20, we can just kill Lion. 
Why do warriors have the spider movement sounds? Do they? Adios. But the Fenrir? We don't. Fenrir sucks. We don't need Fenrir. They did in that enemy phase? That's very weird. Erica the Elite against those guys would be really strong, right? But she doesn't have an Iron Sword either. We never die, right? I feel like there's no way we die. Kaga agrees. Renak the Reluctant Chopper. We're not on a mount, this would be Rapier, Rune Sword, Silver Sword, Rapier. We can drop her off next turn, that'll work, right? To fight all these warriors. go to the edge of their range. As long as we don't fight three. I think we're okay. Harlan Warriors making a return in Garrick vs. Grotto 4. Call back to series favorites. Hey, an exact kill! Are we in Cormac's support range? Tana the Talented? Well, she's definitely a Pegasus Knight. I think she's close to capped, uh, capped strength anyway, so it's not a big deal. My Iron Sword! Oh, she can get some from the convoy. We put Eric on that forest. This guy we're not scared of. That's a lot of damage, but his chance to hit is zero, right? So we're fine. The sword animations. Chopped! The paladin we're more scared of, but... We no longer have weapon triangle disadvantage, so yeah, he has a terrible hit rate. Chopped. Chopped! I think that's the last turn of reinforcements, right? No more reinforcements? Just some warriors, that's fine. Oh, the Erica XP. The Erica XP is gonna be out of control. We'll put Erica on this forest. Now we just have to deal with these guys here. Polite? Javelin? I'm cheering for you, Ephraim. You can do it. Oh, we can do it. Supported. Wow, is this Fire Emblem Warriors? I need swords. We now have swords equipped. Oh, this is totally safe, right? Oh yeah, we're not scared at all. I think we can just kill this guy with a javelin, right? It's a short spirit, it's fine. I didn't equip it? Uh-oh. Uh, well, they can't even reach her, right? Okay, one of them can reach her. Uh... Well, she doesn't die in one hit, right? She, she doesn't die in one hit. It's fine. 
All right. Ross getting reconnaissance. Okay. There's no way we can deal 25 damage, right? The exact kill! Is this our final level? The Water Boy's final form! We didn't even get res! Medicine's Tome! Maturity increase! your interview questions or answers you and the pupil you've been with our crew for several maps now by this point we started you off on water boy duty believing that that was all you were good for we've been very impressed that you've taken the initiative some might call it trespassing on set but we'll be generous and say you've taken the initiative to try and enter the spotlight uh, please tell us in your own words why you believe you are eligible for the rank of a summoner? I would have liked Druid since the summons are kind of bad. Absolutely not. I'll be able to summon Lackeys to fetch water more efficiently. Oh, that's a good idea. I read a book that said I could make myself a best friend if I became a summoner. My stats will matter for my job from now on. <laughs> I want to be more attuned to the dark arts like Uncle Kanaz. Summoner is a good job. Oh, that's true. We can get Garuda, right? If you promise, if you promise to summon Garuda, one man's budget for the extra. Oh, that's true. It's like we're hiring AI for the extras. We don't need e we don't need extras anymore. We can just summon extras. You're going places, kid. You're going places, kid. We're we're gonna save so much money on extras. Congratulations, Ewan. Summoner outfit's kind of lame, though. Hey, we got plus three speed. We got plus three speed? It's a good promotion. It's a good promotion. That actually helps so much. The Metis Tome! Oh, Melee actually just kills this guy. Well, oh! The Hand Axe, though. He's above in all his defensive stats? Hooray! We can potentially finish the map this turn. But I want the XP from all of these remnants. This is a silver sword, by the way. Great unit. I guess this is Lunatic. Well, he knows better than to attack Garrick the Gallant. I guess we don't have any supports. Erica level? Is this level 2? Strength? Erica the elegant. Oh. Oh. What games have the brave weapons? Are they top tier weapons? Almost all of them have the brave weapons. 17 strength. I mean, that doesn't look that bad, right? That actually looks pretty good. And it would be really good. But she's wearing two rings. This is 17 strength with two energy rings. Ho ho ho!
It's beginning to look a lot like Lindis. Oh, oh, horrible! <laughs> Two energy rings. Two energy rings! For this. I didn't mean to attack this guy, that's fine. Are we really gonna use the silver sword on this? What should Erica's B support be? Oh, Lab Rochelle, you're right. That's a good idea. For sure, for sure. We can start building that. Ephraim has a B, yeah. His B is Tana. Well, because originally we weren't going to use Lab Rochelle at all, because Lab Rochelle has terrible stats. Normally. However, ours does not. All natural. All natural physique. We, we used one angelic robe. All natural physique. Summoner time? This guy didn't get the memo. We got plus three speed on promotion. Well, okay, not summoned. 40 XP? Oh, it's a paladin. Look at this. Look at this. I can't cross the water. I can't cross the water. Summoned! But he can. Go forth! Go and kill! The Phantom. The Phantom! Capped defense and res! I thought Ewan's Phantoms were supposed to be bad! Secret Chopper Renak. Welcome to the army. What can I get for you? I'd like a Lance Reaver, please. All right, that'll be 1,800 gold. I'd like a Lance Reaver, please. This is a silver card. I'd like a Lance Reaver, please. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be 900 gold for you. Reaved? Can we buy can we buy the killers on the world map or do we need to get the killers now? We can wait till next turn for that answer cuz it's not like Renax doing anything else. He'll unlock better summons later, like Phoenix. I'm hoping for it. Can't wait to summon Garuda. Bit of a bottleneck here. Killers are on the overworld? Okay. Taxi service. Yeah. The Phantom's ahead of us. We want to stay in the forest, right? I guess we'll get th this Erica experience. 
lot of experience. Garrick's just chilling here. Oh no, we need to build support there, so Cormac here builds support. I mean, the enemies can attack us if they want. We're setting the stage for the final battle. Okay, if we can buy Killer on the Overworld, then that's all we need. Theoretically, if we get hit twice, we die. Theoretically. Setting the stage for the Fenrir heist? Is it actually going to be the Fenrir heist? a silver sword for this? Hang on. Look, man, there's no need to use the best props when it's just a rehearsal, right? Here you go. This is pretty embarrassing. We gotta know what Ewan's attack speed with Fenrir is now that he's actually promoted. So, is it possible to get him to switch to Nosferatu? Oh my god. Are we sure she's a Myrmidon? Is there another place to get Fenrir or is this the only Fenrir place? So we have to weaken him first. First of all, let's see how this goes. We have a lot of res. We do double. This is the only Fenrir. Okay, then we gotta get it. It's exclusive. The the Fenrir used on the set of Garrick vs. Grotto. Rivers of Blood. We need it. So if we have our brave hero Garrick, literally our brave hero Garrick, wal waltz up to this guy. Oh, wow. Well, that'll get him into... That'll get him to switch to Nosferatu, right? <laughs> we need the supporting cast. I guess we can move one this way, and that's more optimal, right? We're very concerned about being optimal. Beyond. Beyond. The people of Grotto cry for vengeance, Leon. The ghosts of the past have caught up with you. Do you challenge me? You humans are so inconsistent. You've forgotten what it is to fear me. Die! I was just a phantom, Leon. You can't run away forever, Leon. Ooh. Critics are saying that the metaphors espoused by the Phantoms were a bit too heavy-handed. They don't want to see them return in Garrick vs. Grotto 5. I don't think it matters if we lose Fenrir charges. I believe when they drop it, we get a fresh, fresh tome. We don't have to worry about that. I'll be back, Leon! Woo! So we need to weaken him? The thing is, we can't use Garrick. Because Garrick is so big, we can't rescue him. Oh no, Ephraim can do it. Fuck it. That's why he's the stunt double. Ephraim can do it. 
Okay, we gotta make sure we don't die here. Let's see. That's pretty good. And that's gonna weaken him. And we can get out of there. All right, Ephraim. This guy killed your dad, okay? I want to see it in your acting. You hate this guy. Will he equip Nosferatu? Oh, you're right. Oh. Uh, easy game. Alright, so, we're just gonna get the scenes, right? We're just gonna get the scenes. Alright, we're rolling. And... Action! Where's Laya? Laya? It's spelled with an L. Is it Lion? That's Leon. That's Leon. Where's Leon? What have you done with our friend? Answer me! Line, please! Line! <laughs> How foolish. The one you seek is already dead. I have cast him into the abyss from which I crawl. That weakling is gone. Only the Demon King remains! Monster! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Great work, everyone. Great work. We got the footage. That's gonna look great in the editing bay. Good job, Ephraim. Take five. Alright, Erica, baby, you're too far away. She definitely has a conversation, right? All right, Erica. This isn't the Leon you used to know. This is just a monster. Let him have it. Please, Leon, you must stop. I don't want to fight you. Line. Line. Cries of children. <laughs> Away with you insects, if you wish not to die. We screened it with test audiences, and they really didn't like the Erica version. Was the uh, test audiences didn't resonate nearly as much with him. They also didn't really like the rune sword. They felt it didn't really make any sense. God. even kill him with the iron sword, hello? Wish we had one more strength. Alright, time for the real take. We can get this guy. You think you can stand up to Tana the Talented? Great sword master. Saved an iron sword use. All right, finally, the moment the audience has been waiting for, our brave hero, Garrick the Gallant. 
the number one complaint about Garrick vs. Grotto 4, Rivers of Blood, was that Garrick wasn't really in it. He's at the beginning with his fan club, and the, the, like, the cosplayers, their costumes were horrible, by the way. And then after that, they just focus on a bunch of other characters. Who are these river folk? Who cares? And finally, finally, at the very end of the story, we get our brave hero, Garrick the Gallant. He hits all of them, he wins. All right. We are rolling. Come on, Garrick. You're our star, baby. Action! Garrick gives the people what they want. Beautiful show! Beautiful show, Garrick. That's a wrap. Feeling sick? The reviews are in. Viewers were excited to see Garrick the Gallant back on screen, but despite all of the build-up to the climax, it was over way too fast. Yeah, they rushed the ending. Maybe we can fix it in editing, but the footage itself, it's really short. And that ending dialogue, who wrote that? Garrick the Gallant, level 12. Oh no. I think the strength cap is 25. The Fenrir! Yet. Oh wait, this is Evil Leon, sorry. Makeup, please, makeup. Not yet. We have not the strength. But I am the Demon King. The world will be mine, as it was in ancient days. Injuries such as these enough to stop me. Demon King! Come, Ephraim. You should follow me. If you've the strength to defeat me, that is. We will not let you flee. After him, Erica. We have to find where he's gone. Search everywhere! I can't allow him to desecrate- Do fighters know what desecrate mean? My friend's body any longer. Ephraim. Nez? There's no need- There's no need to panic. My Kaiba Corps employees are following Prince Leon's trail. Our trackers are excellent. They'll know his whereabouts momentarily. Ah, good point. Well made. By the way, there's something I need to speak to you about. The messenger I sent to Frelia returned not long ago. She brought a package I'd requested. Straight from the Kaiba family vaults. Frelia's sacred twins. You have the sacred twins? In mint condition? First edition? Yes. Frelia may have lost her sacred stone link to Game Boy Advance. However, it seems the sacred twin relics remain undisturbed. I had them brought here. Behold! Incredible. Frelia's sacred twins. Nidhogg, the serpent bow. Nobody can use that. And Vidofnir, the winged lance. I want you to take them. But these are Frelia's weapons. You should hold on to them. No. I trust them to you. You're the leader of this army. Use them as you will. Understood. I'll make sure they wind up in worthy hands. Thank you, Inez. This helps. Don't thank me. We're fighting for the same thing here. Victory. Kaiba's such a good guy! Nidhogg, right in the convoy. Vidofnir! Okay, good thing that our convoy wasn't full. Lady Cyrene, thank you! We all owe you our gratitude. No, it wasn't my doing. That's true. We prevailed because of superior leadership. No, I... We owe you a debt of gratitude that can never be repaid. It's not much, but please accept this staff as a small token. 
What is this? Like a, a heel? A mend? A barrier? A torch? I don't need any of that junk. And accept our thanks. We won't forget what you've done for us. What do peasants even have? Your inventory is full. Select an item to discard. Throw away the jack. Okay. Wow, that was almost the river of regrets, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the two faces of evil. Now we have rescue and we have warp. Alright. Last chapter for today. Do we even have time? I don't know if we can get to the spreadsheet today. This chapter takes a while. This chapter takes a while. Might not have time for this and the spreadsheet. You can always do the spreadsheet tomorrow. But that means extra spreadsheet time next time. Yeah, we're on the clock, guys. Can we sell from here? We need to make room in the convoy. Never gonna use these. We're never gonna use these. We're never gonna use this. Garrick versus Grotto 5 Gorgonzola has to get filmed today. Working title. never gonna use these. I'm never gonna use this. I'm never gonna use this. Unfortunately, I do have to work in about eight hours, so I'm falling asleep to this. Any warmth given will be appreciated. Well, I just sold a torch, so I'm afraid I don't actually have any warmth to offer. Well, that's not true. It's a little drastic, though. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never unlock the secrets of Eve. I mean... Continue to use holy magic. Good night. How many s So it's just stone, right? How many stones do we need? Just two? I think? Definitely want a javelin. Two-use javelin, that's pretty sad. We definitely need restores here. We don't want anybody getting stoned on set. Restores on both? Yep. Let's get south this shine top. Give Fenrir to Ewan? Sure. Oh, we got the Dragon Shield. Who do you use the Dragon Shield on? Needs defense. Cormag has really good defense, right? 18. Ephraim, maybe? Plus five from oh man, 14 defense. Maybe Ephraim, but we'll see. Ephraim can get whatever he needs. 
The Fenrir. We don't have S Dark though. She has an env empty inventory slot. Perfect for a legendary. The Vidofnir. Oh yeah, Yuan needs heal as well. Okay, Luna sucks. We don't need Luna. Prop department. Did nobody buy a heal? Is Yuan the only character who can use Fenrir in this game? Noel can do it too. Need healing. Molder has a restore. Okay, two restores. An Ephraim is our convoy. Two stones is enough, right? If anybody on the research team can check, Hana's gonna be doing a lot. All right, we have an hour and a half to get this footage, guys. of evil. The group sets off in search of Grotto's elusive Imperial Prince, Leon. Inez has ordered Frelian troops to aid in the hunt. The troops return with news that Leon has moved north. The group's search for Leon leads them to Mount Nelaris, deep within Darkling Woods. The scorching heat and sulfur stench render the area unfit for human habitation. Endless numbers of Gorgon eggs stud the forbidding landscape. Seven stone uses, thank you. Nelaris Peak. Ephraim, I must ask that you slow down. The sun truly doesn't shine in this forsaken place. This sulfur smog chokes the lungs with every breath. My lord, are you all right? If you travel so swiftly, we cannot keep up. I'm riding ahead. I can't waste any more time. I must catch the Demon King. I must catch Malga- I mean the Demon King as quickly as possible. When you find him, tell me. What then? Shall. Rouston is the spiritual heart of Magvel. They keep the ancient lore. You are their princess. You must know something about the demons of legend. I do not need consolation or peace of mind. I need facts. Leon, as he is now, can he be saved? Sorry, Ephraim. I can't watch you do this. To the best of my knowledge, there's nothing to be done. Your friend Leon's body has already been claimed by the Demon King. Once it's gone that far, there's nothing that can be done. When the Demon King takes over someone, he devours his spirit, his very soul. Even if his hold on Leon's body could be released, the body would have no soul. There is no power in Rouston, not even the Sacred Stone only for the Game Boy Advance, that can perform so great a miracle as to restore a shattered soul. Is that so? I understand. Let's go, La Rochelle. Let's go, La Rochelle! W wait a moment! Were you listening to me at all? I'm sorry, but the prince... I heard you. There's no hope of saving Leon. And if I cannot save him, I will bring him peace with my own hands. What? Can you do it? Even if you get the chance, can you bring yourself to kill him? 
It would be best if you and your sister left this to the rest of us. No. I'm going to do it. Leon is my friend. The Demon King stole him from me. I will be the one to kill him. If your mind's made up, then there's not much I can do, is there? Let's go, th Let's go then! I'm sorry, Larsha. There's no need for you to apologize. Your words alone have won my forgiveness. Soldier. This way! The enemy went into the recesses of this valley! Brother, do you smell something? Smell? Looks can be deceiving, and words are but air. But the nose knows. <laughs> Smells like deceit. Sniff. They say we have too many graphics. Yes, an unpleasant odor like sulfur. It's emanating from this valley. Those eggs. Organ eggs. There's so many. Brother, the eggs! They've started to hatch! No. He's led us into a trap! Watch out! Everyone, steer clear of those eggs! Select which units will join you in battle. Uh, we don't need Renak here. Welcome back, Seth. Check map. So how many Gorgons are actually active? Shadow shot. Five shadow shots. This one has stone? We need to get two stones. This one also has stone. So we have to deposit the stones into our convoy, which means they have to be near Ephraim. So this might be a bit difficult. We'll try and get it, though. We'll try and get it. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. We're definitely going to start by chopping some of these eggs, though. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. We can afford to put Emil near the back. She has the swift souls. Fixed her only weakness. Yeah, hopefully Garrick vs. Grotto 5 doesn't suffer from crunch time. We know it's a huge problem in the industry. This is probably fine, right? Alright, we're gonna begin our filming for Garrick vs. Grotto 5, Gorgon... Zola. It's a working title. Alright, quiet on set, please. Did you see Capped Magic? No, I don't think any of us have. Zola the Gorgon, good card. I love repeating effects. Oh, my brother told me to steer clear of those eggs. Strength? Great Lord. Great Lord! I can't believe this. Ho ho ho! It's beginning to look a lot like Lindis. Oh, oh, horrible! <laughs> oh, but 17 strength doesn't look that bad. It's two energy rings, pal. Never forget, Erica. We only hired you because of your brother, okay? This industry is rotten to the core. Summon. The swift so it fixed her only it fixes her only weakness.
three more strength than prologue set only took all game Molder the boulder shadows cast who is the casting director ah better crit that egg remember we have capped speed so we pretty much just one strength it's pretty good we are a general right 22 defense what are they gonna do Break yourselves upon my body! Man, these Magvel ponies are kinda sad. Where's my movement range? We hired those stunt flyers, right? Nice shadow shot, nerd. The Scorgon Egg blocks our path. How are we gonna kill this thing? We even double it. We even double it! Did you see Mulder kill that egg? No way! Who else? But we actually are in range of that. Javelin doesn't kill. NX doesn't kill, but it does a lot. And someone else can attack from a different tile, I think. Garrick 5 omelets? These titles are terrible! else can reach there. A flyer. Five stars? Five stars. Flyer emblem. I wasn't even going that way. <laughs> Alright, well, our hero Garrick hasn't really done anything yet, but he's on the way. We're so far behind. Why didn't we use... Alright, we need some extras. Extra hot at the Phantom. Ooh. So his quality's really suffering for the writer's strength. Man, things were better back in Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee. Good thing we're not getting hit by Shadow Shot. That's a really scary attack. Garrick vs. Grotto 5, the Doom Slayer. Okay, no one else can even reach this thing, right? It's... Oh, no, it's not on a cliff. I don't have a ranged attack, though. I love being locked to swords. Seven move? Sh it fixes her only weakness! What do you do when you have no more weaknesses? How Why did they put this in the game? Okay, this is only flyer accessible, I think. I do not have a job. Okay, you can also get it from there. I mean, that's fine. Uh, probably not going to repair the Dragonstone, because it's also, like, not that broken. Do I really not have a Javelin? Who's in charge of props here? Balance broken. Well, this is our main character. Well, the backup to the main character. Who cast this guy?
So we need a bunch of stone. This one has stone. So... We need to be able to get stone twice. I think we have to let a lot of the eggs hatch. There's a lot of eggs over here, though. We just need six stones. You can trade with the eggs. You don't need to wait for them to hatch. Ah, okay. Can we check their inventories? So Ephraim on this tile might be able to do it, right? That one has two eggs. Oh, this one has three eggs, though. No, but he can only get to two. Okay, Ephraim on that tile is our goal. You can only check their inventories through trade and supply menus. Okay. We're so far behind. Great dancer, why did we use the Swift Souls on Amelia? <laughs> ah! Are we sure this is a Garrick versus Grotto movie? Grotto's not even here! And Garrick's barely doing anything. I think they're just coasting on name recognition. This shadow shot is so scary, by the way. Look at this. 13 might. They have 42 attack. That's a 42 attack seed shot. That's so scary. That's so scary. What are we gonna do? Ooh. Uh oh. Finally, this is a Garrick versus Grotto movie. He didn't even one shot him. He's getting old. What happened to you, Garrick? You used to be the best. Garrick versus Aliens crossover? Okay, we want to get to that tile. With a dance, I think we can do it, right? Okay. I think it's possible. Just make sure this works. I love the fact that monsters are also on burning tiles. They just hatched, man. Give them a break. Garrick versus Grotto 5. Garrick goes to hell. Lord Ephraim, do you need a hand? You wanted to go here, right? It's only one tile, Mulder, it's fine. No, 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 I insist. Okay. You seem really insistent about this, are you sure? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Mulder, that did get us where we needed to go. Don't think anything of it, child. What a nice guy. Okay. I mean, we used a warp staff to go literally one tile, but... He only did that because he wants the movie to be good, right? Yeah, of course. He just wants the movie to be good. This guy's kind of scary, right? 
can't reach. We can reach this guy and not be on a tile. We're, we're slowed down by the javelin, though. Gotta go with the Iron Lance. Why do we have a Knight's Crest in our inventory? <laughs> Supported! Alright, well, our only weakness has been fixed, so I guess we'll go up here. That's not three tiles, but that's alright. We do need Restore, because this guy is stone. I'm pretty scared of this Shadow Shot. I'm really scared of this Shadow Shot. Shadow Shot's so scary. Uh, we need extras. Where'd, where'd all this XP come from? It came from nowhere! Whoa! This water boy, he's a water man at this point. Look at that. Perfect level. Your magic shall not save you. What is the Demon King gonna do? We can get rid of that one, because we don't need that. Don't tell Kaga. I hope I do this right. It's fine. Is that a lava tile? Oh, we killed him. The two range. <laughs> One of them has to be on a lava tile, right? Oh, Garrick versus Grotto! Finally, an action scene! Oh, this- who are these new villains? They're so strong! Are we sure these are the Grotto guys? Would that have worked? Ariados! This is okay, right? Because the Ariados will attack us? And then we get control, right? Oh my god, these are the worthy foes! They're not messing around. Okay. Garrick versus... Garrick versus Grotto 5, Gorgonzola. I was wrong about it. This is something special. This is something special. This is something special. Garrick versus Grotto 5. This title sucks. Excuse me. Our finest minds came up with it, okay? Our finest minds. The eggs give so much XP, it incentivizes you to rush. Okay, this is not the most... If We're just testing this. Don't tell Kaga. Well, we're definitely doing this. Ooh. Okay, hopefully this works. We need Ariados to attack us early. That's what we actually want to see. Aridos? Aridos? It's not an Aridos. Not an Aridos. Come on, Aridos. We also have to not kill Aridos, right? Well, that Aridos doesn't matter. The greatest tactician strikes again. Are we sure we should have these animals on set? Is this safe for the actors? Never pierced, by the way. A 
Okay, Ariados does move. We have to not kill Ariados. We exactly kill Ariados. Spear. Cut. You're supposed to use your prop weapon. Take two. It's all practical effects. We literally filmed in a volcano. Don't tell Koga about Ariados abuse. We know that he loves Ariados. These guys are all gonna hatch. We're in huge trouble. Sharp Claw. We know how this goes, right? You can't actually kill the animals on set. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, conditions behind Garrick 5. Garrick versus Grotto 5. Gorgonzola. Oof. This footage is confidential. All of you on set, don't share this with the outside world, okay? Oh. Let's get this to work. Our sniper Ariados. Okay. It's fine if the Ariados is weak to fire, I think. Why do we cast this guy? Why did we cast this guy? Well, it, it doesn't look like it's animal abuse on screen, it's actor abuse. We had a filming accident, oh my goodness. He signed a waiver, okay, he signed a waiver. Ariados triumphant. You were defeated by the Ariados. <laughs> reviews are in, reviews are in. Critics are panning. Garrick vs. Grotto 5 Gorgonzola for completely unrealistic depictions. If the main character is so strong, why did they lose to Ariados? We actually weren't in support range. Now there's credible accusations of alcohol on set. Are these true or are they just rumors? These are very hot working conditions. They might actually be true. Cheers. Refresh. Where's our water boy been? He's too big for his britches now. Doesn't want to bring us any water. Let's see if this works. Make sure you burn the footage. There's fires everywhere. Although I'm not sure that's what you mean. Hopefully both of these guys have stone. These Ariados are vicious. Did anybody train these? I think these are actually just wild Ariados. If not, they're given a really convincing performance. Will Grotto vs. Grotto 5 get a director's cut? I mean, if it gets released in the first place. Hellish filming conditions. I'm not convinced these are trained animals. They're actually attacking our actors. Did we get any avoid from that? Okay, okay. 
The animal wrangler forgot to show up on set? Well, we do need these in the scene. Let's see if this works. The shadow shot! That's fine. That's fine. The stunt doubles are on strike. Well, we have been seeing doubling. Although I'm not sure that's what they meant. That might have been too early. That might have been too early. By Aridos. It's too early. Cut. I wish I had a slim lance. <laughs> I actually wish I had a slim lance. We want to... We need to get them... Do we, Do we have like a one durability? Not sure we can even show this footage to test audiences? I can't believe we need the Slim Lance. This Iron Lance will break. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Seth the Stuntman. Seth the Stuntman, look at this! So we have to do this. We have to give him the lance. And we have to get out of there, because we don't want to get attacked by the Ariados. Set the stone. This guy's an industry veteran! Perfect. Okay, let's actually... Yeah, the six-star supporting cast. Why isn't this movie about him? Am I doing this correctly, by the way? <laughs> We're trying to get the special effects to work. It should be that... After the flame geyser... So we did consult with the pyrotechnics department. After the flame geyser, we should be able to... Cut the film? And then we should be good to go. Even though it's the end of the turn. I think that does work. It only happens at the end of the turn. Public will boycott after they learn about the working conditions? Listen, man. People only care about the finished product. People only care about the finished product. This is animal abuse. Maybe we actually didn't want to be in support range. After all the work we did. After all the work we did. Cut! Alright, we gotta get her out of support range. No emotional support for you. Kanto. Demon Surge is fine because she doesn't move. All right, this time for sure. This time for sure. First take. That's whenever they end their action on an actor tile. 
It's not just that, right? It's when the geysers pop up, right? Oh. Stoned on set. Stoned on set. Oh, that is ending on an action title. So it might be after- yeah, hang on. Let's try that again. Stoned on set? After the animation? Okay. We're trying to get the special effects to work, please. Quiet on set, we need the actress to be focused. Stone. Stone. Just before their sprite turns gray. Special effects? First try. First try. Critics are raving. Critics are raving. The special effects for Garrick vs. Grotto 5. Gorgonzola. Th people haven't seen anything like it. In fact, they're not really sure what's going on. That's not right. Okay. But the stone has zero use? You can attack- uh oh. Will that have uses in the convoy? Well, we're gonna need another one then. It still counts as one use? So we need seven. Sharp claw? We gotta get the poison claw, right? So the poison claw. What are the stats for the poison claw? We need Ariados' might. Ariados would use the poison claw, right? I mean we can we can have both. There we go. Can't unequip their weapons, unfortunately. We need more stones. We need more stones. We don't have enough. Can we discard? We can't discard Shadow Shot. I gotta attack this phantom! So we're gonna have to do this again, I think. Ouch. Hazardous conditions. Stoned. Sober on set, please. It's a disaster. We can dance him, right? So we gotta get rid of this Aria dose.
in short. Oh, this is a Garrick versus Grotto movie. What if you Hermurn the stone? Oh. Well, he's just fighting unarmed monsters. This isn't exciting at all. So stone has, I think one three range. Yeah, one three. So use it from three. We, wa we want her to use it from a. Oh no! But then, if they do it, then. There could be other gorgons we can get it from. We can get it from other gorgons. We do want the boss one, though, if possible. That's going. You think you can stand up to Cormag the Cremator? We want them to do it from three range. I mean, they can just do it to Erica again, right? Because Erica has bad avoid because she's weighed down. Oh, but it can't be that one because then they don't have their action. Disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. This one doesn't have any stones. Conditions on set are deteriorating. We'll have to just wait for the eggs to hatch. We can even double them with Hatchet by Gary Paulson. It's a disaster. We can double. There's no way. Eleven light. 17 speed, there's no way. Some say Garrick vs. Grotto went downhill with the second trilogy being filmed. They said it was just a cash grab. That's just deep. Yeah, it's just straight up Demon Surge. Sharp Claw. Sharp! That's a lot of damage. We didn't even kill this thing. Too bad they discontinued Demon Surge. Maybe we should equip a ranged weapon. May I offer you an egg in this trying time? Garrick! Oh no, Garrick horribly burned in a workplace accident. We're probably gonna need to wait for these guys to hatch. Ideally, we would get five stone uses, so we need a full one, hopefully two more full ones.
Well, critics really resonated with that one scene in Garrick vs. Grotto 5, Gorgonzola, where Garrick ran up to the final boss and critter face off. He always puts on a good show. He always puts on a good show. What a lucky man. Well, that was easy. Same ending as the previous movie? It's what the people want. It's what the people want. We have capped strength, by the way. But in fact, the actress that played the Wicked Witch of the West was an actual... Oh, yeah, she actually got burned on set, right? Well... Yeah, that, that's pretty terrible. Oof. Good triumphs over evil. Two tickets, please. <laughs> Sales are up. Does this one have stone? It does. But that can't be the one that actually acts. Well, this is our convoy, so we want to move him up. so much movement! We fixed our only weakness! I should use my sword. You think you can stand up to a melee the armored? Is Mulder a white mage? Yeah, we're gonna use Arrow next. I'll take a men's staff, please. Okay, Garrick is kind of in trouble. Are we gonna kill this or let it hatch? Maybe let it hatch. We want this to attack us, but... We need it to have full stone uses. I don't know when this thing acts. It can move up to there. So maybe next turn we can get its stone. If we can get this guy to attack us. Oh right, we can heal Garrick. I forgot. <laughs> Summoners actually have healing staffs. Healed. Steal the eye spells? I don't think anyone can use the eye spells. Healed by our magic staff, 5, five XP. Hopefully the eyes attack people that can't counter. Well, maybe it does count as dark magic. Oh! Is the eye magic blank dark rank? And that gives us XP. So that's all we need, right? Don't get stoned. Not stoned. Not stoned. Not stoned. That's not an actor tile, though. That is an actor tile. That is an actor tile. Oh, but Ephraim's. Uh, 
Cut. Maybe we don't double him. Nitrogen Slayer. One evil eye is enough, right? If we get the evil eye, we don't need stone. And art cut. Probably heal this guy. Oh, but Evil Eye and Demon Surge don't give XP. Okay. Things that we need the XP, so we do have to get stone. We definitely do want to take that stuff from them. So we still need these stones. Gotta heal Garrick. The Gorgon moved before the eye, right? We can get sword rank this time. You think you stand up to immediately the armored? I'm sorry, jeez. I can't give XP. Come back, come back when you were a little mm, darker. That was terrible. You cannot succumb to sleep until the filming is complete. That's the kind of dedication we need in the industry. Okay, Seth is in trouble. I have a men staff. Adjacent tile physic. Demon surge? Evil eye stone? Everyone loves the story of. Everyone loves the story of Tears of the Kingdom, right? Brings a tear to my eye. Maybe this'll work? No, it won't quite work. Father Mulder, get out of there. Then Seth will get doubled. This is probably fine. Local director has one hour to filming deadline. Might have to retake tomorrow. It's, it's tricky to get these stones. Okay, Gorgon's moving first. That's good and bad. That's an actor tile, right? Not stoned? I don't think any of the eyes can... That's not an actor tile. A trade chain could work, right? Hey, we don't get doubled even with uh, a unit rescued. Garrick, cauterized. The Aridos are here as well. You can get a stone here, right? We don't need this one.
Thank you for auditioning. Oh no. Yeah, I don't really know how magic works. Uh, I don't really think you're supposed to be on the set, lady. So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Hey, lady, calm down. Look, lady, I asked you nicely. Ugh. Boss is not gonna be happy to hear about how I handled that one. Uh... We need the cleanup crew. Look, man, I was just trying to get rid of a trespasser on set. It, it, it escalated, okay? didn't like the axe body spray. Okay, I think this will work. The cast is now retreating from the extras, wild beasts. I think we can do it. 620. 40 minutes left. Why can't I fly over that fire, by the way? Seth with the javelin, then I don't think they'll attack us. You believe? Okay. After they attack, but before they turn gray. After they attack, but before they turn gray. A lot of gorgons. Do we have the budget for all these Gorgons? Okay, that's an actor tile. That is an actor tile. Surged? The surge pricing. The surge pricing! How good is our special effects division? How good is our special effects division? Best special effects in the business! The best special effects in the business! Nothing but praise. Nothing but praise. Does this have a stone? If it has a stone, we're done. We take a demon surge, though. If we have demon surge, do we need evil eye? I mean, I mean, we'll take it. Evil. It looks like it was filled on a cheap handheld? Excuse me. This guy's stone right- okay, perfect. We just need one more. New journey! Special effects division, horribly overworked. They did their job perfectly and the actors mucked it up. The actors mucked it up. All right, take two. The surge pricing. The surge pricing. We've got a really good special effects team, right? Oh, our actors. The surge pricing. The sur- oh, we're fine. The special effects team? Best special effects in the business.
That's it. We're done. We did it. And we can even get the evil eye. Who was the intern who suggested we do a trade chain? I want their EXP payout tripled. Tripled. All right. We don't actually have to cheese the rest of the map. Like, we'll, we'll play it like normally now, but... Stone. Huh. Is that a holy spell? Stoned on set. So if you get stoned, it's over. You get zero void and you gain 30 crit against you. So like, look at this. <laughs> you think you can stand up to Amelia the Armored? Is Garrick even in this movie? Why'd they call it Garrick vs. Grotto 5 Gorgonzola? Why did you pick up a flux stone? You can't use that. Why did you deposit your holy tome? What's going on? Stoned. I had 100% faith in you in that trade chain. Thank you for the microtransaction. Weapon level increased. What's going on on set? What's going on? Something's terribly wrong. Well, thank you for the microtransaction. I've got to deal with these monsters. That's a good level. We don't have S anima yet, though, so we have to be careful. I just said it was a good level before we actually leveled up, but I mean, is there any doubt? <laughs> we know that this map has. I'm a monster! On both sides. Monsters on both sides. Don't tell Kaga. Uh oh, what are you doing against the monster threat? Excellent music in Garrick vs. Grotto 5, Gorgonzola. The orchestrators really outdid themselves. Hey, we can actually heal her. From here, though. Sacred Twins. The Sacred Twins! This entire production has seemed really dubious. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, okay? Our medical staff, I think, has a, has a plan that'll save the production. The show is called Garrick vs. Grotto. Why is the main character fighting these know-nothing extras who don't even fight back? What's going on?
supported. Monsters. Is this an ambush spawn? They act on the same turn. Never forget that extra. Surge pricing. The surge pricing! Don't get stoned on set, please. Okay. Obeying the rules? What's this guy doing? The horse slayer. The horse slayer! Slain! Also slain! You think the series fell off after three, honestly? Look, man. This series provides jobs for hundreds at this point, okay? It's more- it's about more than just the production. It's about keeping these people's families with food on the table, okay? Sometimes it's not about the passion. There has to be some pragmat- some pragmaticism to it. Go up to there, okay. Iron sword? Wow. Cast this guy. P Pragmatism, that's what I said. You thought catering put the food on the table? It was just grains. That's not food. Rampant drug use on set. What's going on? Make sure we don't accidentally reach S staves. We're still okay. We're okay for quite a while. Sacred stones? It's Okaga. Sacred stones? Sacred stones! Nice hit rates, thank you. Gotta summon some more extras. This is a Garrick versus Grotto film. Where's Garrick? That's pretty scary. The Vidofnir! The Vidofnir! Flies are so good, why are they all the way at the back? Hello? She had a fortify staff.
35 hit. Basically zero, right? Scandal erupts. Scandal erupts! Beloved film star... Garrick the Granite. Beloved film star caught in a drug scandal. Thought he was better than this. Hashtag not my Garrick. The fans can't believe it, but the evidence is on film. The evidence is on film. Oh, good thing they have to kill those phantoms. Surge pricing. I had to pay the surge pricing fee! That's absurd! 28 damage? This robbery! If you live on the battlefield, you know this day will come. We screamed this ending of Garrick versus Grotto 5, Gorgonzola. We're at the end, our main hero, Garrick, says adios to his fans. And you know what? Fan reaction was not good. But some would say this is the moment the franchise died, and you know what? I don't know if they're wrong. God. Fans wanted to see the series go in a different direction, so... We're gonna have that ending... ...tucked away somewhere. Garrick vs. Grotto 5, Legends Never Die? Not if you fix it in editing. Dovner. Thirty-three percent hit. We could kill in one with the Sigmund, but what if we need it later? Arados has Insomnia. Tomahawk. We'll just attack a different target. We can afford to use a Silver Axe. This is a high production show. We got him. Yeah, we only have five from earn charges. What are we gonna do? We can use a Sigmund charge. Are we sure this guy isn't the main character? He seems really strong. Are we sure this guy's not the main character? He seems really strong. We have to get rid of this guy. Actually, by Gary Paulson. Wow, Ross literally one shots this guy. He seems really good. I don't know why they were just standing there, though. Yes, finally. <laughs> crit rate eclipse. I don't know if eclipse can actually crit. You've never seen this before. This is the height of special effects. You've never seen this before. Crit Eclipse. Deleted scene from Garrick vs. Grotto 5. 
You've never seen this before. Critics complained about unrealistic scenarios. I actually didn't know you could kill with an Eclipse Crit. I didn't know this was an educational movie. It's Okaga. Finally eclipsed. Oh, surge pricing. Surge pricing. Well, okay. Bold, a new direction for the series? What are we gonna do with all of these Aridos corpses? They're everywhere. Oh, hey, now we have S rank lances. We didn't even have that. Aridos does have a lot of HP in this game. have Demon Surge and Stone. What's our medic doing? People are hurting? What is our medic doing? That's a good question. Well, he's not getting stoned, but... I think his main job is to be healing people, which he's not doing. As usual, healer on the other side of the map doing DPS. Actually counts as dark magic. Brave Sir Garrick? He's so brave. He's so brave! He makes our hearts beat faster when he jumps and twirls. Huh. Well, we can train our anima rank safely, I guess. Summoned. Hey, an exact kill. You think you can stand up to La, La Rochelle the Lightbringer? I'm a monster! I'm a monster. I think we brought the phantom bait. So the extra got killed, but none of our principal actors were in danger, which is what matters. Not scary. Stones. This guy's on a stoning spree. Another extra! Can we get attacked there? We actually can. It's 345- it's 343 for you? Well, we're about to wrap up filming. Lightning? Posted the Eclipse crit in the Discord? What about this crit? 
I'm a monster! Lab Rochelle the Lightbringer. We can get healing XP. Who's injured? Oh my goodness. Do we really film in these conditions? Half our actors are dying. It's a very intense healing animation. Free XP. We didn't even have to fight anything. Summoned. Great. Now that we don't have to fight anything, we're getting great stats. Thanks. Oh, not lured? What about the search pricing? Come on, you want that phantom? Oh, you one's actually exposed here, right? Adjacent tile physic. 15 minutes remaining until we have to wrap filming for the day. I guess we weren't actually in danger because we could have just danced back. Gotta get... There's so many targets that everybody's so hurt. What has been going on on this set? Is anybody supervising this? out of nowhere. Garrick 5 was rushed to completion so many safety violations just to show off the new special effects? feel about this. Stoned. Priest, okay. Well, we can raise our sword rank. Aridos is weak to Stone Edge. We can get XP on whoever we want. Well, we can kill with a crit. It was possible. You think you could stand up? To Lab Rochelle? The I'm light a monster! Bringer? Got a summon. There's lots of spooky enemies here. I think we got that phantom.
you're a bishop. You can't use this one. What's going on here? What's happening? The light's justice has failed. Submit! I'm taking over this series now. None of you have what it takes to defeat the Demon King. I'll use the Legion, I mean the Demon King's own weapons against him. It's the only way to win. None of you get it. None of you get it. Okay, that's a little scary. None of you get it. Also a little scary. None of you get it. You've all shied away from the shadows. Cowards that you are. Stop fighting it. The light's justice has failed. Submit! Submit! It's the only way to win. Garrick versus Grotto 5. Gorgonzola. Nobody saw this twist coming. That's a good weapon. Will they attack the summon instead of Erica? I think they will. Defeat enemy left to... Are we sure this wasn't a stealth pilot for Shadows of Molder? That... That D is rising. Help! Help! Dark magic mastery level! I think... This might actually be where... Garrick versus Grotto 5 Gorgonzola ends. On a cliffhanger. Monster Petrify 3. What will happen? Only two enemies remain. Will, mo will he be Molder the Merciful? and allow this defenseless animal to live another day. Will he slay it in cold blood? Nobody really knows what's going on on set anymore, I'll be honest. Garrick's not even in the movie. Half the crew is like, dying. It's way too hot. What will happen? on the thrilling finale to Garrick vs. Grotto 5 Gorgonzola. Find out next time at 7 a.m. JST, so actually in about 12 hours from now. Amelia's burning up in the suit. What do we actually have to do going forward, right? It's... There's only three maps, right? It's the Reeve one, it's Darkling Woods, and then it's the final chapter. Do we do it tomorrow or do we delay it? <laughs> I've been sitting here for 12 hours.
thrilling finale next week. Thing is, okay, I'm gonna be honest about the filmmaking industry. I feel like people get fatigued, right? I feel like people get fatigued. We've been on set for like 24 hours this weekend. The franchise fatigue. And people have been saying we've been going downhill since Garrick vs. Grotto 3. I think we do the thrilling conclusion next week. I think we do the thrilling conclusion next week. The Magvel Cinema- The Magvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, so the only stream next week is going to be the thrilling conclusion to the Magvel Cinematic Universe. Quick question for any interns. I is there a Garrick vs. Grotto 3 Return to Renee poster? If there is, we can look at that and that'll be the last thing we do. There is? Okay. Mini spreadsheet review. Mini spreadsheet review because we're running out of time. It's in Ma Magvel memes too. Did we have time to vet the spreadsheet? I'll vet, I'll lock it, and then I'll vet it myself. This crunch culture is killing the industry. Just killing the industry from within. Magvel memes 2 is safe, you're looking at it right now. I, I trust you, I believe that it's safe. But just in case. I have locked it. We can just have random people editing the script. Alright, mini spreadsheet review. Magvel memes too. I'm not looking at- okay, alright. So we're just gonna look at the Garrick vs. Grotto posters. And then the thrilling conclusion to the Magvel Cinematic Universe will be next week. And then we'll do the full spreadsheet review and everything. I- I'd just rather not rush things. I'm also, like, dying. I don't even think I went to the bathroom. Did you know that the film industry has abusive working conditions? This would actually be illegal in real life, but YouTube is not real life, so you can just do this. Here we go. Adventure has a new destination. Garrick vs. Grotto 2, Dragons in the Desert! Got a 7% on Rotten Tomatoes, too predictable, too many side plots, too much sand. Worst one in the trilogy by far, released last year. Should have been the last of the series, but got enough funding to make a third. Well, the third one saved the series, right? Metabots, what's going on? <laughs> Name me. Where's Garrick vs. Grotto 3? Where's Garrick vs. Grotto 3? Oh, here it is. Garrick's it. Ewan's in it too. Prepare yourself, Sir Orson. Garrick vs. Grotto 3 returned to Renee <laughs> on screens April 7th. 65% on Rotten Tomatoes, that's positive. Still too predictable. Oh, Lara Shaw was a good character, probably carried the movie. Ewan was a pretty bad actor. Yeah, but it was his first film. Garrick vs. Grotto 1 was the best one, but Garrick vs. Grotto 3 is a close second? No way. Garrick vs. Grotto 3 was the best by far. The Water Boy. 25% on Rotten Tomatoes. Thought the spin-off was unnecessary, no references to Garrick vs. Grotto Trilogy, bad acting for you, but great message about the importance of refreshments. Okay. I will agree. The movie did have a great message. 
it is important to refresh. Cheers. We can leave on a message of positivity. Refresh. And I hope to see you all next week for the thrilling conclusion of the Garrick vs. Grotos, the Magbell Cinematic the Universe. We'll do the final maps. We'll try to do up to the Tower of Volney at least. I think we can actually finish it. Uh, and then we'll do the mini tier list just like we did last time. And that's going to be my Saturday, probably all of your Fridays. Did... Did they ever fix the graphic that was supposed to end the stream? Because it didn't work last time. Did they ever fix it? They didn't. Who's in charge here? Who's in charge?